Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Picking up from where we left off, we are in a disaster situation. So, um... I got caught in force march by Heinrich Kemmler, and he's brought in two additional armies to come and assist him. Most of the units in these armies are trash, most of them. However, there are the odd Terrorgeist, Mortis Engine, that kind of stuff. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. And we've got a beat-up army, a low-tier army, and then a half army. I guess you could call it a full army. Let me put that in there. So we've got three full stacks versus just under three full stacks. We need to not control large armies here. I think that's the right call. Um... Let's do this. Because otherwise it's going to end up in pandemonium. We need to loot... We've got a big speed advantage. We need to make use of that. And one thing that can really ha hamper speed advantage is if there's too many units on the battlefield. Because, like, the bigger the map, the more room the cavalry has to move. And then the more units there are on the map, the uh, the less maneuverability they are. How much today? Well, thanks. Okay, so I've been thinking long and hard about how to go about this. I have to make sure that that wizard comes in first. That must happen. So to do that, we need to make sure that his timer comes before them. I want these to come over to here. Yep, both of them come over there. That should ensure that this guy comes in first. Now, to ensure he comes in first, I need to also sacrifice the unit. I'm going to get this dryad to just go just suicide into the enemy forces here and Orion and co are gonna wait over here I'm not gonna move that guy down this way just yet I think he'll be okay um, this one go there stay there hidden okay and we also need to hide all of our um, all of our cavalry because what we're going to be doing is sending this one to just go and annoy them for a little bit. Heinrich Kemmler should use up a lot of his winds of magic. His zombies have plus 8 regen and melee damage. Okay, thanks for that info. Um, uh, Heinrich Kemmler should use up all of his magic on his army in the early stages of the campaign. because uh, The battle, because they're already damaged. But he doesn't realize that. That he can't heal them. Alright, here we go. So the Glade Captain here just Stepping needs to go off. and annoy them. As much as possible, just go and annoy them. So we're sacrificing this one here at the start, so that, um... Yeah, they've got, um... Well, that's a big, big heal as well. We sacrifice them at the start so that we can get in that uh, tree man because I need to heal Heinrich Kemmler because, yeah, look who's coming in straight away. Duty and honor. Seeking quarry. Okay, I may need to lure these fast units over to my, um, is that Krell? Yeah. Alright, yeah, not yet. It's my cavalry. This one's getting wiped out. Good. The woods rage. Blade Captain. Okay, I think I got wiped out. For okay, these bats are on me. I need to lure them over here. They're too fast at the moment. Because we've been caught in force much, and also bats are pretty quick. If we lose our Glade Captain, we're in big trouble. Nine seconds until that dude comes in. Okay, Orion needs to move over there, because that guy looks like he's heading up that way. Captain repositioning. Okay, maybe not. Okay, the Hex Wraith is right behind them as well. Good. We should be able to deal with that. You get in here as well. Wild Riders! Isha Wilson! 
words. Ride, sons of Karnov! As you say, your orders! Damn, I'm charging. Oh no, they didn't charge. It's just bats, no big deal. Orders acknowledged! Orders received! Top priority also needs to be to get rid of this Strigoi. Really top priority. Okay, that Hex Wraith only got a thousand damage and that's not much. Hawks, Talon, Huggers! Down over here. Quickly! Very well! Good, taking out a lot of fast units here. That's really good. Come on, take out these Understood. damn fast units. You not shooting, are you? As you say! Ride them down! Wild Riders! Go! With haste! Yes! Hurry! Armed and ready! Flatten them! Okay, this guy's come in now, and he's hidden. That's good. You just stay there. I'll get Orion over to you. Orion! And you as well. Go, 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 go. Alright, this dude's coming in. Come on, I gotta finish up with this. Before he does use his uh, breath attack. Go, go, go. Get out of there. Wild riders. These ones here are crumbling away. Let's go. Swiftly. Right. Looks like we got his attention. Where's Orion? Orion? You gotta go that way. Okay, you start coming over here as well. It's good that we've got his attention, but... Yeah, that's fine. You can finish that off. King in the woods. Yes, yes. Okay, come on. At speed. Wild riders. Got to concentrate on this battle because it's so important. Losing this battle would be a big fucking deal. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. He's going after Orion. That's really bad. With speed. Strength of Kardos. That's really bad right now. Orion. Shit. Wild Riders. Forever loyal. Swiftly. With speed. Come on, I need more time. I need more time for this guy to get here. Following the trail. Blessing of Carnos. At once. Come on, Orion, move your Orion. ass. Hungry for battle. It shall be done. Very well. Okay, that's Go! it's gonna suck a little bit, but at least that slowed him down for a few seconds. Try to get him to fight the tree man for a bit. Get over there, Orion. Struggling a little bit there. You land. Alright, he's going for the tree man. Good. You just stay back. You just shoot at him. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, alright. Three man tanks. Get in there. We need this guy to die. Really, really important. Definitely the most dangerous unit in the battle. I wish this guy had left. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. One of them in there. Go take this dude out. Orders received. Forever 
Okay, it's gonna take a little bit for those other guys to get hit. Yeah, just one. Otherwise, they're gonna get interrupted. Oh, look how little damage we've done to him so far. It shall be done. Alright, we got some skeleton spears over here. Not that big of a deal, but they're isolated. Just went out of the way. It's just getting in his way. One, but he's going down. It's a good thing this one's so far away and they're too slow. Come on, take him out. Take him out, Orion. There we go. Take him out. It's a big deal when he goes. How much damage did he end up doing? Yeah, a lot. Alright, let's try to cycle charge a little bit here. Quickly! Okay, Strigoi is just about done. It did do a lot of damage to us, but he's the most dangerous unit on this battlefield. Alright, we got some reinforcements over here. Put them together. Alright. Hex rates coming in. Ah, uh, sorry, can rates. Go, go, go. Charge into him. Can spears here. Okay, gotta get out of this blob here. That's not so good. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. Alright. Alright, I think this is so far a reasonable start. I don't need to stay, but they have to stay. And if you're hidden, you stay there. Alright. Now. Come on, Cav, get out of that. No, there's only a handful of them. They're gonna get stuck. Okay, try to go around. Get them distracted. I gotta make sure that these over here get healed. Alright, the... This one here can't really heal too much more. Uh, but uh, same thing with Orion, actually. Let's go back over there. Try to get this guy into the forest and hide. You just out heal your damage? Yeah. Well, we got him in the end. We got him in the end. Yeah, that Strigoi, we fought him before. He was the really annoying one. Right. This this should be fine if we fight this on its own. Alright, Orion's gonna end up with about 6,000 health. Okay, I'm glad that that Strigoi idiot is gone. That's a big deal. Uh, we need to get rid of these yes. right now before they do too much damage to Orion. Just leave, leave the ancient tree man to fight it, he'll be fine. Alright, Orion can't heal anymore, so... Now we can use our magic for, um, for Awakening of the Wood. And I'll, now that all their fast units have been... Oh god, I think they found us over here. We should have Orion try to kill that dude there. 
Alright, this guy is probably going to leave the battlefield fairly soon. Krell, and he's not decaying, so... I think leveled up enough. Don't worry about this right now. Alright, now just focus on, yeah, Awakening of the Woods. Just do as much damage as possible before this guy here leaves the battlefield. Because he's done what he needed to do. He gave Orion a second chance. We took out that Strigoi. And he's done 9,000 damage, which is, yeah, okay. The woods rage! Seeking quarry! He's still got a bit of fight left in him, though. Alright, this spearman over here, it is a fresh recruit. So, our, spe our um, cavalry here should do a bit better than it, but we, we shouldn't send everyone in. I think that's the problem, though. The thing is, I want to try to dish out as much damage as possible, but cavalry just gets stuck. Pull them out quickly, they shouldn't get too badly stuck. Yeah, look, look how badly stuck they get. This is the problem with cavalry charges in Warhammer. Oh man, I think Krell was fighting us. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good there. Krell should go and fight this Dryad, actually. That would be the best thing for, for him. Orion. How are we going? This guy... Yeah, it's done some damage Tentures to us, but... The problem is, we just get stuck. Sound Trying to cycle off. charge can just be an absolute pain in the ass when you do it with multiple units. Orion. You don't want to do it just with one at a time. They're just too weak. Get over here. This Dryad... Should be able to fight fairly well. All done. Okay, so we're keeping the Glade Captain nearby because it has a um, ability to give extra melee defense, which is you know, helping him survive a bit longer. Orion. One Dryad. I don't think one Dryad unit can beat Krell on his own, but if Orion supports a little bit, maybe. Understood. Hungry for battle. Especially with um, Helm of Discord. Alright, so let's see how well Orion. this goes. With speed. For the glades. Krell's actually doing a decent Boy, job. Swiftly. Now try cycle Boy, charge with Orion. With speed. Oh, damn it. It's really hard to cycle charge when he spends so much time turning around. Swiftly. Damn it. Our bodies and charge. Woods. There's still other units over here that I need Orion to fight, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to... I'm not even sure if he's going to survive the battle now. These guys over here, this one needs support. That one didn't do very well. Hmm, I'm struggling a bit. Lady of Lauren. We've done okay so far, but... In many I'm ways, the worst is maybe yet to come. Well, at least Krell isn't go. healing, so that's something. Okay, need you to go back in there. Ever Gotta be willing to sacrifice. Oh, that's something for Orion to do. Look at this, there's a necromancer out here all by himself. Go, go sort that out. Forever loyal. It is done. Wild Riders. Orders acknowledged. Yes. With 
taste! Our bodies and charms. We grow restless! Play captain! Krell trying to chop down my tree. I wouldn't like that. We accept. Yeah, sorry guys. If you're asking, if you're asking stuff in the chat, this is not really the best time because I gotta fight this battle. Okay. Your command, as you say, at once. Uh, I really gotta concentrate. Turning my head away for a second can be the difference between victory and defeat here. The margins are just so small. All right. At least they didn't heal Krell. Awaiting orders. That? Once it's gone up. Wild riders. Quickly! For Apple Lauren! Mm, I might be able to get one or two hits Orders off nothing major, received. I think. Wild riders! Swift! Ride! With haste! Alright, this is good. This is where we gain Unbreakable. quite you a bit of balance of power back. Lord of the Hunt. All right, get out of there. Too many other units. Highborn Captain, ready. No, I've still got Orion's abilities, but you got to just um watch out about timing with that sort of sort of stuff. Okay, you need to just remain hidden for the time being. Just stay in there. Hopefully, they forget about you. I got to uh, try and find isolated units. That's what's going to do it for us. Now that Necromancer will heal, but at least he looks like Pellet Region or something. Ah, uh, the Curse of Undeath was active. Yeah, it's just the Curse of Undeath. They've still got some Winds of Magic. Gotta use our speed as much to our advantage as possible. Then we got ammo here, but we need to aim for important targets. Heinrich Kemmler wouldn't be a bad target, I suppose, for the uh, for shooting. I don't think we've got enough ammunition to kill him. But we might be able to get his regen cap dealt with. Oh, I did some damage. Okay, some reinforcements arrived. Skeleton spear should be no problem for him. Uh, yeah, it's it's doing some damage to Henrik Kemmler. So that's good. I can't think of a better unit to take out than old Kemmler here. Stop dodging my shots. have much armor these shots should be okay against him yeah he'll regenerate it but short of getting um orion over there i don't think anyone else is going to be able to do much about it dryad seem to be doing okay there Blade Captain. i think shooting him at short range is probably best so Alright, got all the cavalry together again. Cool. Alright, alright. Now we just need to look for isolated targets wherever possible. Something like this is pretty good. Alright, maybe, maybe while he's in the forest, just come over here and provide them with melee defense plus 10. That way, yeah, these guys won't even be able to hit them very well. Alright, now with the cavalry, we cannot win in an attack head-on. That will not work, so we have to make sure that we find isolated targets. 
Now, it would be best if we don't kill off the zombies because eventually faster units are going to come in. Once, basically, the, what we should try to do is take out the best units on the battlefield first. Once we've done that, then focus on the zombies. Ready to ride. Now, the best units are always going to be the fastest units. And stuff like heroes. Uh, spearmen are also good for these guys to take on because the cavalry is going to struggle with them. Did you get a shot off on Heinrich Kimmel? Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Got him, nice. Swiftly. Let's take that one hit, let's move. Blade Captain! Wild Riders! Hunting! Good, extra melee defense. This one's not gonna last much longer. Nice rear charge. We kicked them down the hill so hard that I think they they died to full damage as well. But once again, units get stuck. Makes cavalry so freaking bad in Warhammer. They just get so stuck. Look how many of them got killed just trying to get out. Uh, we, we can't stick around here. We can't stick around. There's going to be too much fighting going on here. Get out. Just let that one keep fighting, but get, get the cavalry out. I think we're trading off in most engagements pretty well, but I think we need to do a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Okay, that one's fighting uphill, but it's done a lot of damage. And it's still got some oomph left in it. Yeah, try to pull back a little bit from there, and let's go and fight in... Hungry for battle. Like the forest, so you get extra melee defense. Because you can outrun these idiots. Yeah, don't charge into that. That's so far proven fairly fruitless. God. No, this unit here is just too badly stuck. Yeah, just get more reinforcements soon. Eager for battle. Yeah, I just need some fresh reinforcements. So this one here, did it do much damage? Not really. Alright, we got a unit of Graveguard with great weapons over there. That actually might be okay for our guys, our cavalry to go and attack. As long as it's fairly isolated. That's the big thing. They've got to be... Could use our entire army just against one of them. At least this one here doesn't have any experience, and it's also on Force March. Yeah, we'll get some reinforcements coming in soon. It'll all be Dryads for a bit. We've still got, still got quite a lot of Dryads still to come in. Get rid of these grave guard before. Let's nice get a Ryan over there as well, because he can improve their melee attack. It shall be done. Arm done ready. So this actually works. These guys are fairly high damage dealers.
Okay, they're doing pretty well against that, I think. Yeah, pretty damn well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The thing is, when you charge in there, they get so stuck, but if you can kill them quickly enough, the problem is they lose their charge bonus. Just get out, get out, get out. They did, they did well enough, don't stay. Okay, you, you two get together. Okay, luckily the unit was so badly damaged that it didn't really have any mass. Get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. Alright, if we have a look at this unit here. Okay, we traded off really well there, because that's a high value unit. Trade off really well. Okay, these two over here. Alright, two Dryads versus two Spears. I expect our Dryads to win, especially with support from... From the Glade Captain. Normal Skeleton Spear does so much better than Graveguard. It's because they're anti-large. Graveguard actually aren't all that good. Because those were great weapons going up against something with not, not much armor, so their uh, effectiveness was severely reduced. Graveguard with great weapons don't really have high melee attack. The woods rage. Okay, I want to try to get... I need to get rid of Heinrich Kemmler. Guys isolated here, but Spearman. Try to utilize that helm of discord. Kind of wish it was on this one in this battle. It's too late now though. Is it working? Hard to say. Hard to say. We've taken out a lot of units. A lot of important units, but we've also taken a lot of damage at the same time. Okay, the Helm of Discord on them. Hopefully. We dropped their melee defense so low. And we just smash right through them. Enforcements over here, but that actually could be good. I'll get the cavalry over there. All right, so let's have a look over here. Hasn't done much damage to us yet, but we haven't, we haven't finished it off. Come on, you got to get in there, finish it off. This is the problem. After, but cycle charging with with these kind of cavalry here just doesn't work so well because of the low mass. At least it's crumbling. Just get it down to disintegrating. Still hasn't done much damage. Zombies. Glade Captain. This could be our chance to get Heinrich Kemmler. God, we still haven't gotten rid of this unit. Right, I gotta get him out of here. Get out. If they don't win on the initial charge, it's a big freaking problem. No, this is not good here. Alright, pull this one out. We're about to get bloody surrounded. So this guy do its worth? Not really. It's not good. And yeah, you can see a whole bunch of them just got stuck. That's why I don't like to pull them out. Look at that. They just won't leave the fucking... I tell you what. This cavalry in this game, they just fucking so annoying to use. When they just get so stuck like this. Look how stuck they are. He's got AoE heal. Wild Riders! I'm doing my best to get him, but he just heals so damn fast. Ooh, here's an opportunity. Also, that AoE heal only happens when they're in. When he's in melee. Where's Orion? Let's try to kill Kemlo. Kemlo's kind of isolated. Hurry! Eradicate them! Hunters! 
Come on, Orion, get over here. I need you to fight Kimla. Good, smashed up that you know the zombies, which I did say we should leave the zombies mostly alone, but go do what you gotta do. Yeah, you keep Kemler busy, uh Krell busy. I'm going after Kemler. Nice hit, Orion. That's it, that's it, that's it. It shall be done! This is what we want to see. This is going to make it a lot easier to crumble them. Yeah, you get in there and help as well. Don't let him get away. Go, Orion, go! Keep all this shit back over here. Keep it back. We're beating the crap out of him. Oh god, they're here. God, Krell's so bloody strong. Nope. We're just gonna have to try again later. We've got too many units coming in here. They're gonna pro provide way too much support. It's gonna be too difficult to get him. We've got him close to his heal cap, though, so that's good. Just get out of here. Get out, get out, get out. We did a lot of damage to him. I don't know if we traded off super well, but we did do a lot of damage. Oh, my unit's terror routed. Pretty much off the battlefield. Get out of here. There's too many units here. We have to get them isolated. It's not going to work unless they're isolated. Alright, come on. At least he can only regen so much now, but fucking hell, this is such a pain in the ass fight. Get the dryads out of here as well. Okay, we got a new lord coming in. Okay, that's good. This lord can help us take out Kemla. What are, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not done with you, Kemla. I just needed to lure these guys away. In name. I'm still going after him. Go over here. Still going I after you, Kemla. I want you dead. He's, he's going down. He's going down. Here, have a double one of these. One him gone. Got a nice big hit, Orion. Come in. Ah, oh, dip shit. Come on, get it. Oh, there we go. We got a nice big hit on him there. That works. Oh, nice big hit. Nice big hit. Big hit. No, I didn't want to go for it. Get all the cavalry together again and try to get all the dryads together. God, we've almost got him. It would be good if we kill him before he hits his regen cap. That would be good. Because, yeah, once he's dead, his units will start crumbling a little bit faster. A little bit earlier, I mean. Especially shit like skeleton spears. Come on, you could do it. Could use his javelins, but he kind of dodges it. Okay, just, just shoot him. He's trying to dodge us. Shoot him. I think you got him. Come on, a little bit more. I stand ready. <laughs> God, oh, it's so slippery. So slippery. Come on, let's go, 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 get out of there, Orion. Lady of Lauren. We've almost got him. Orion. Winter 
comes to all. There's this one here. Oh boy. Boy, they're making me work for this one. They're making me work for it. Hand of the forest. He is going down. Yeah, that was actually quite lucky this one came in. Uh, we could give it a heal. I've got enough magic for uh, two more heals. But since it's an archer unit, it's still essentially full effectiveness. When it's damaged like this. Almost got him. It's not crumbling. A oh, little bit more. A little bit more. You can do it. Wipe them out. One more hit. Look at him try to dodge us. Blade, Captain. Got him. Fine. Okay. Lady of All right. That's going to cause a couple of the units here and there to, to crumble. So that's good. Kemla's down. Alright, now, let's try to get um, Orion to kill this Necromancer here. Rank 27, be worth a lot of bounce power. And he hasn't dished out much damage or anything. Oh, I'm glad that's gone. Getting rid of Kemla's a big deal. Is today saving a disaster battle? <laughs> Pretty, it's, yeah, something like that. Alright, Orion should have no trouble taking out this dude, especially with the Helmet Discord. Blade, Captain. Yeah, get in there and help. They'll take a few seconds to get here. Good, get rid of this fucking necromancer. A little bit more, one more hit. Okay, I think Orion didn't get take any damage on that. Yeah, he hit one of the uh, the lords, but that was, that was it. Is it crumbling? And it disintegrates. Nice, necromancer down. Alright, what's coming in still? Yeah, look, there's still really good units still to come in. But, you know, we've still got a lot of reinforcements as well. Kill for some more wins, but this is all I got. Alright, a Hex Wraith is in. Uh, these guys did really well against the other Hex Wraith that they fought, so as long as it's isolated, it should be fine. Go! Son of Kornos! Understood. Swiftly! Okay, since there's a grave guard there, pop that down. Have my spear. Hunting with speed. Tal for Axina. Swiftly. At once. Lady of the Deep Wood. All right, last heal. Here we go. Can I overcast it? No, I don't have. And let's charge him in the rear and be done with these units here. Understood. Charge. And hopefully they actually disintegrate quickly.
Okay, I gotta get out of it. At speed. Yes. Your command. Okay, huge amounts of melee infantry coming down this way. Quickly. Don't want to use these guys in a blob. Good. They got rid of got rid of those ones. So, yeah, keeps fighting in the forest here. Keep him fighting. Remember. All right, they can definitely take on a crypt uh, ghoul quite easily. Alright, where's that Hex Wraith? Let's go looking for it. So this is a good opportunity to use our abilities. Like this. Zombies. Mm. Right. Keep this one close for the melee defense. Okay, I'm gonna go hunt down that Hex Wraith. It should be... Oh, there it is. Looks like it's going straight over here. With speed. I will. Cavalry. Okay, yeah, like I said, going for the Hex Race, but we have to fight it away from their main units, but we got to give them bait. We should be faster than them. Yeah, we are, and they're on Force March as well, so that's good. Good, I can tell they're actually fighting in the forest there, so they're getting extra melee defense boost. Protector of the forest. Oh, a terror ghost is here. Oh, a terror ghost is here. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, this one should be a lot weaker than that other dude. Need to get it back over there. Alright, Orion needs to fight this, because he's anti-large. Crap, I ran into that unit. I need these guys back over here. Don't you dare route on me, come on. You're fine. Oh yeah, this one's way easier to take down. Yeah, shoot it as well. These guys over here. Come on, hold up for me. Blade, Captain. I think Orion may have only been hit once so far. That's good. Comparatively. Come on, take out this terror ghost. Yeah, Orion may have been hit just once. And even then, it didn't do much damage. Come on, take him out. Take him out. Good, taking out Terror Geist, that's a big deal. I doubt that Terror Geist really did much. Yep, it's gone. Good, good, good. So just stay in the middle there, Orion. Keep popping this shit down. And we got backup coming. Alright, another... What is that, a Felbat? Yeah, Felbat coming in. Okay. Still got more incoming. Uh, no, try to lure their infantry away. I only needed them to come over here because I thought the... Um, I thought the terror ghost was going to be more of a threat. So we're just keeping these ones close by because they provide um, various different buffs, but don't shoot because the trees will get in the way. Wild riders. All right, I'll show you guys how much reinforcements are left. Uh, well, one full army at least. <laughs> uh, but hopefully we can army loss it, and then there is. All right, that army there is almost fully in. Wild riders. That broke, that's not good. Hopefully it rallies before it leaves. It comes back over here, can this fight. Hungry for battle! For the Osprey! We're gonna land. Good, came back. This guy here doing some good damage. Orion. If we get enough of a blob going, I'll put down the hands of Orion. How'd that bat end up doing? Yeah, just a complete waste. Alright, they got a black coach over there. Um, that's a little bit of a problem, but it is anti-infantry, so maybe our guys can actually handle that. Come on, get in over here and help out. They're mostly just trash here, but the more they send over here, the better. 
All right, now we're seeing a large number of reinforcements coming in, which isn't necessarily a good thing, because we could end up with an elite army on the battlefield. Um, all corpse carts for the time being, so I'm just going to go straight for it. None of them are mortis engines. So we've got... Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go take them out. These guys aren't exactly great Swift against single entities. Oh, okay, it's not a corpse cart. Yeah, yeah, just... They're not great against single entities, but these are also not great against cavalry. Oh, takes race to here. Get him out. Swiftly. Yeah, you should probably shoot them. Attack. Ah, buggy. Wild riders. Yeah, look at this. It's um. We're just we're just kind of weak. Too weak. Alright, we're, we're getting the hex right down. It's not doing that much to us. We're okay. Ryan, you really shouldn't be fighting. Oh, we're starting to get terror routed here. Highborn Captain Ready! I'm ready to put that down. Raiders of Apple Lauren! Come on, get rid of this damn black coach. Shouldn't be that hard. Alright, All right, I think I'm gonna need to pull the cavalry out, because I need it to come over here and deal with this hex rate. Otherwise it's gonna aim for Orion and kill him. My tree man's just about had it. I gotta get him out of here. I will go. Try to get him off the battlefield. Unbreakable. Okay, I should get a bunch more um, dryads coming in in a moment. What's this? Send it in to come and help. Yeah, this this dude's had enough. At least I'm fairly sure the enemy have no more winds of magic. Okay, here comes some more dryads. Reinforcements. Don't let him die. Now, if we lose the battle, he dies anyway, so the most important thing is to win. Orion! Ready for the hunt! And our cavalry are worn out. However, things to keep in mind now. Because the, the third army is coming in, we have at least wiped out one full stack. That being said, some of our units have been wiped out. Lord of the Hunt. How many dryads do we have left to come in? Eh, a few. A few. Not heaps. I am reborn. I need to take it. Fucking thing here. Alright, you come over here. Eager for battle. Right, you stand over there, get rid of to be dealt with. Okay. Alright, go and have a scout over here, I need to know what's going on. Still a full stack of archers? Yeah, we've still got a full stack over here. In reserve. Still got a few. What's this? Interesting. What happened there? Oh, I got terror routed. Came back there. Wild riders. Orion. All right. Looks like that hex wraith is done with. All right. What what are we doing with here? All right. Yeah. There's a lot of really good units coming in as well. We got to really keep that in mind. Okay, where did that black coach go? Blade, there it is. Let's shoot that. Actually, shoot freaking Krell. No, 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 shoot the black coach. Because at least Krell we can avoid. Okay, get them out of there. Orion. Okay, bunch of dryads coming in. 
dude, I really need you to like leave the battlefield now. You've done everything you can. Okay. If I turn him around, he'll get hit in the rear and then he'll leave. Riders ready. Play captain. Okay, there we go. He's been good, but we're out of magic, so I can't really do much more with him. Alright, we got four dryads on the battlefield, and I'm sure more are on the way. Swiftly. Three left remaining. Two arms. Blade Captain. God, I'm working my ass off here. Following the trail. Still so many good units still to come in. For Orion and Ariel. Hunting. Wild Riders. Okay. Well. With these four dryads, we should go in over here and just continue the fight. Oh, it's zombies though. No, no, no. Avoid Watch fighting zombies because it's going to bring in really good units. Let's focus on only their good units. Blade, Captain. Oh, I took it out. Nice. Target acquired. Okay, Black Coach. Yeah, we should focus on just their good units. Because if we take out a zombie unit, they're going to keep bringing in good units. Blood Knights. Okay, um, Dryads are okay against Blood Knights because Blood Knights are anti-large. Our guys here aren't going to be great against Blood Knights, so I'm just going to leave them there for now. Uh, can they outrun them? Yeah, they'll be able to outrun them. Talon of Karnos. Oh, the Mortis the engines forest. there too. We need to make sure we've got archers ready for the uh, Mortis engines when the time comes. Alright, I've only got a little bit of ammo. So what are we going to do with that? For our lady. Quickly. All right, these guys here need to aim for targets. From now on, no spearmen for them. Uh, now, these guys here are anti-large. We're not, but we can overwhelm them with numbers. The we thing is, when fighting cavalry with cavalry, <coughs> you don't really get quite as stuck. Because you don't knock them on the ground. And uh, these two here can provide some extra defense for support. With haste. But yeah, we're, uh, we're going to take some damage, but I don't, well. I don't know what else is going to work here. As you say. At least if we're fighting in the forest, they lose 20% of their melee attack, but we Pretty gain eager. stats because we're forest stalkers. Here we go. Bring them down. Here Lord we go. Is acknowledged. Blade Captain. Hurry. Hopefully they don't get a charge attack. off. Did they? I think they did. Well, we got him pinted. Poor sandwich, motherfucker. <coughs> and they're on force march as well. How much damage have they done? Not that much. We're doing way more damage to them than they are to us. Way more. We just got to kill them quickly because these ones are coming in. Kill them quicker. Let's get these ones out of here. Swiftly. Right! Lady of the Azrae! King in the woods! Now! As you say! Wild ah, riders! Fucking enemy reef, Blade we just didn't Captain. do enough damage, piece of crap. Come on. Alright, I need you guys to fight the uh, the Blood Knights. With haste. It's all fine until these other guys got here. Look at what they did, Seeking they routed all my quarry. goddamn units because they're Orion too scared now. Me. With speed. Mostly just terror routing, so they should rally really quickly. Blade Captain. Yeah, we're, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay, they're going back. Right, Dryad's incoming. Okay, keep them fighting. Let's hunt. Trample them. Wild Riders. Cavalry. All right, so the Blood Knights did end up actually doing a fair bit of damage, but they're an elite unit, so you kind of expect that that's going to happen. So. I'm just trying to get free kills, so it's just really difficult to do it. Yeah, they're racking up some good damage. But what are you going to do? They're a good unit. Come on, take him out. 
We have to get rid of their fastest units. What's coming in next? Uh, Black Knights. Also, we've probably reached the point where these guys here are just too exhausted now. They, um, we just need the other armies to start coming in. Potentially. But, you know, I can't tell them to withdraw because we're on Force March. But I'll just do as much as I can. Alright, and the Blood Knights are dealt with. Good. And they're going to bring in Black Knights, which are a lot easier to deal with. Let's, let's get back here. We've got some more reinforcements come in. It's both good and bad. Okay, units are spread out all over the place. But yeah, the... Uh, it is done. The riders are just so exhausted. Child of Kurnos. I've still got another hero to come in as well. Hey, T-Bot, Tom and Total War, how's it going, dude? I still think we've got a good chance of winning, because we have de dealt out more damage to them than they have to us. Just, not by a huge degree, that's all. Alright, so this one's coming in. It's not anti-infantry, so we should be okay to fight it when it catches up. Lady of Lauren! it will. Alright, turn back around, fight it. Swiftly! The woods rage! Try to stack them buffs on them. Alright, I gotta get all my cavalry together again and keep these guys busy. But one thing that we definitely don't want to be doing is um, having our cav... Uh, ha just getting rid of... Um yeah, they're, ch charging off. No, they're coming back again. One thing we don't want to be doing is getting rid of zombies. Not yet anyway. Save that for last because that'll be relatively easy. With speed. Just get rid of their fastest units. Okay, they keep pulling back. Are they doing much damage? No, not really. A little bit. What they're trying to do is get us stuck so they bring in what their reinforcements. They're Swiftly. not being stupid with us, that's for sure. Lady of Athel Lauren. Orion. Good. Wild Riders. The hunt begins. Unbreakable. How about this. God, don't you hate it when you select a unit and it gives a move order instead of an attack? Alright, at least they're kind of in the forest. And if we keep these here, we get melee defense and melee attack, so they just fight the best they can. That's all we can hope to do here. Alright, we've got a corpse cart bale fire coming in. See, strict camera, give me back over there. These guys can't fight anymore. I don't know if I can win. The enemy is so damn strong. Right, get rid of these corpse cuts. Come on, you guys. Stay with me a little bit longer. Well, we've still got our archers. I shouldn't give up just yet. Don't give up hope just yet. So what's Balefire do these days? Flame resistance, alright, that's no big deal. Ready for the hunt! At least Krell isn't over here. Krell's a massive pain in my ass. I'm trying to cycle charge Orion as much as I can. Oh, still so many good units to come in. Orion has done a lot of damage to battle. Still got one more of these to do as well. Okay, take out these Black Knights. They're actually the biggest problem for us. Because they're, they're causing me to bloody rout. Look at these guys here. Alright, you two. You two. Fight this Necromancer. God, they route too early. Come on, we're coming. We're coming with the reinforcements. But the problem is they're so scared now. How many reinforcements do we have left? Oh, still got a bit. Protectors of the forest. 
Alright. Well, when things start to go belly up over here, this is when we'll, um... No, 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 you over here, over here. We're getting rid of their last general here. Good, he rallied. That's good. Come back over here. I need the cavalry to take out their cavalry. Come on, dudes. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you've almost got rid of their last general there. That's it. Come on, we're not done yet. Lord of the Hunt. In Lauren's name, seeking quarry, Orion sends me. We grow restless. Come on. Eager for Orion's battle. taking damage. With speed. Glory to the eternal realms. Okay, back off, back off, back off. Go! Do this instead. I will. We accept. Oh, I nearly will fucking killed that dude. Okay, I gotta start getting Orion out of here. Because this area here is falling to pieces again. Alright, did that do a lot of damage? Yeah, it did. Come on, kill this guy before he regenerates to full. We almost got him. So keep sending them back in. Come on, get him. Alright, cavalry. It is done. Get back in there. We got him. We killed one of their lords. Nice. Moving out. Target acquired. Oh no. Setting off. Yeah, you can get out of there. Wild riders. Yeah, in a big blob like this, you shouldn't really use the cavalry. It's not going to do anything. Yes. How did these guys end up doing? They did. They did some damage. Okay. Blade all right, more um, Black Knights, Lance and Barney coming go. in. All right, I think we need to start getting to the point where um, we're setting up over... Oh, good, my other one of these came in. That's a good unit. Okay, get Orion over here. You get over here. We need to take the fight over to here. And what, what I'm thinking is, when our Glade Guard come in, we need to make sure that they're coming at us piecemeal, a little bit at a time, and hopefully we've got just enough ammunition to kill them, like, one bit at a time, hopefully. So this is, this is gonna get overrun here. <laughs> We're really running on fumes, though. I got one dryad left. So let's come in. Then after that, we'll have uh, a full stack of, of archers and some garrison forces. Alright, here we go. King in the woods. Okay, Orion is getting chased over you here, which isn't spear. good. Moving out. Okay, Orion is low on health, but he has done seventy-four thousand damage. Hungry for battle. Come on, go, 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 go. Very well. For the All right. Infantry reinforcements now. This is what it's Glade come to. Captain. Annihilate all! Following the trail! I've actually done quite a bit of damage. The woods rage! Hawks talon hungers! Get rid of this fucking unit here. Alright, the reinforcements that are coming in. Missile where should ready. we be fighting? Probably. If not. Oh, this is actually not the best spot. Um, actually, it's, it's about as good as With we're gonna haste. get it over there. You need to get the calf rattled or kill at this point if you want to win the battle. Hmm, maybe. But they need to get some good trade-offs. I'm not confident what I've got left is enough. With speed. Eager for battle. Alright, I've still got um, a lot of ammunition on Orion, Swiftly. but he's such a finicky unit to use this way. Alright, here we go. Cavalry. I definitely think that the battle up until this point could have gone a lot better. Warriors of Arium! This hill is a big problem, but there is nowhere on this map that's going to be good. Like, over here would be fine. I should have put the reinforcement spot there. Um, fuck it. We, we need to get over there. This, this spot is just not a good place for fighting. They're going to be running down the hill on us. Orion. Most of their cavalry has been defeated now, at least. And you can get... No, no, no. Just outrun it. You know what? You guys. You should be able to beat these Kern Wraiths. It's hardly even left. 
Okay, yeah, because like most of those units that are coming in are going to be very weak to um, Glade Guard. That's why we got to be. Try to rip through the race. Yeah, but it'll just pin them down. Oh. We're fine, we're fine. Just This will get rid of them. Alright, also, this one here still got ammo. What should we use it on? Where's Krell? Let's go find Krell and shoot him. He's still out there. Come on, you can do it. Take it out quickly. Look, it's already crumbling. Get out of there. Yeah, getting these guys here off the bat. Oh no, reinforcements coming in now would be bad. At once, as you say. Try to lure them away from here. x rays coming in. Orders received. Swiftly. Captain repositioning. Okay, we got Kevin God coming over here. Me. Oh god. Lady of the Glade. Gunning straight for Orion. Swiftly. The hunt begins. Shit. At speed. I can't I can't switch the movement Kevin of the reinforcements the once they've already started coming in. Because there was no way to predict that this was gonna happen at this point in the battle. No! Great Captain! Yes! Swiftly! Orders acknowledged! Swift! With speed! At pace! Now! Ready! Draw them far enough away. These ones here don't have that much experience. Let's draw them enough, draw them enough away. Should be okay. Very well! We accept! By Kernos! Okay, we're going in. It shall be done! Captain. Try to take out these cavalry here as best we can. Yeah, you move around the flank here. With haste. Swiftly. Yeah, I really do need these guys here off the battlefield, don't I? Oh, shit. Very well. Lord of the Hunt. Yes. To war. There's Krell. Great captain. At speed. Oh, not good that they're on here at the moment. Ever ready. Don't, 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 don't. I hate that. That they fucking land after they use up their ammo. I hate that so much. Okay. They're not doing anything here. I gotta pull them out of this. God damn it, this is tough. This is really, really fucking tough now. Get Ryan out of that. With speed. We accept at speed. Oh man, I think I might end up losing after all this. It's just the enemy forces are just so strong. It's just nothing I, nothing I do makes any fucking difference. I flank him. Oh man, here comes Krell. Orders received. Let's hunt. Lady of the deep wood. It shall be done. And this fucking Krell over here, just For not taking any ladies. goddamn damage. We got Back. these guys over here. Come on, come on, get I over here. Hurry up. All. I think I will actually end up losing. All of this, it all of this, is just done. still so much to come in. And I needed to get rid of all this junk before they got here. Those other units. Yes. And we're running on so much fumes Ready now. Good. Lady of Lauren! Kill them. Oh man. <laughs> I, I did the best I bloody could. I did the best I bloody could, but this Hunting. force was just so fucking strong. I, I, stand ready. I did the best I could. I'm not out yet, but I don't All think it looks off. good. With that hex right there, and these guys Son over here, it just doesn't look good. Attack. I've done the best I could though. We just don't have enough now. There's still too much. I'm just, I'm out. <laughs> I'll do the best I can. We got terror guys still to come in. Come on, you gotta shoot these hex wraiths. I did the best I could. 
Don't give up. I'm not giving up. It just it's it seems hopeless now. I've only got Glade Guard. It's not enough. It's just not enough at this point. Nothing we've done has just made any real difference. That's the problem. Not giving up, but holy crap, it's just so hard. It's such a friggin' tough battle. Come on, get rid of the hex right there. Get rid of the damn hex right there. We might be able to run. How are we going out here? Let's see, look at it. Here. Gotta get rid of this one here. Move. No, you keep fighting that. How are we going? Still got talons of Kurnos, but I wanted to use that for later. Come on, Orion. For the eternal realm. Hawks talon hungers. Yeah, this one. If you can get out, I want to use your talons of Kurnos. How are we going over here? Ready and able. Deep word archers. Blade guard. Come on, if we can just get rid of their fast units. Kurnos commands it. Then I might be able to make a run here. Okay, we got rid of all their fast units. There's still hope. There's still a tiny little bit of hope. Let's go, go, go. We gotta get back over here now. We are tireless! Their fast units are gone. There's still some hope. <laughs> Tiniest modicum of hope left. Gotta get back over here. You dryad, hold that back. Tiniest modicum of hope. Fucking terror geist here. Swiftly! Ever ready! Don't rout! Move, 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 move. Withdraw! Ready for the hunt! With speed! Oh, there's another Orion. fucking Black Knight! <laughs> okay. Uh, you! Ready Hold it hunt. back! Our bows are yours! For we are Fuck! Reinforcements Let's walking face. forward? I just Hungry didn't do enough battle. at the start, I think. Fire will. So I hunt. Yes. End them. Oh, I think the you're gonna die, falls. unfortunately. I am reborn. At once. Yeah, we're getting slaughtered over here. Unbreakable. At once. Swiftly. Great captain. Terror guys didn't come in. That'll need to be shot. God, 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 God. Oh, man. Defenders of Athel Seeking quarry. No, 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 watch out. You got. I must comply. Oh, it's just. I, I've. That's. Ah, come on, man. I'm not in good formation here. Oh, they don't have much left to come in. Get rid of this. You chase that away. Get that, get that away from here. Come on, Orion, get over here. Tree King. I think that was the last of my reinforcements. Yeah, yeah, Hold on, for fuck's sake. Target acquired. God damn it. This was this is definitely the toughest battle in this campaign. Holy crap. I just can't deal with their fucking elite units with tier one shit. Oh, uh, this is where Orion's gonna go down, I think. I don't think he can handle this. Yeah, this is where Orion. If Orion goes down, we rout. Um, I've. I can't handle what's left. There's too much. Unless the army losses happens for them in the next few seconds, I don't know what I can do. We're, we're definitely a goners. There's just too much. Come on. Yeah, Orion's gone. Army losses will be inflicted on me any moment. I did my absolute best to try to win this, but it was just too much. It was just too much. Yeah, I got nothing left. We'll get army loss any moment now. Bowman, ready! No, I did use the home of Discord. It's too late, he's gone now. We're too crammed up over here. I can't get out of it. Um... 
I don't know. Don't don't give up just yet. <laughs> don't give up just yet. But you know, <laughs> they've still got a full stack on the field. We're gonna get army lost, and we're just routing constantly. Yeah, it is. It is, is a big F. I, just, I couldn't win it. The bounce of power was just too out of my favor. I did everything I possibly could. The cavalry just couldn't do anything against undead. Um, we're gonna get army lost any second now. Warriors of Ariel. Come Attack. on, shoot something, please. Yeah, we're gonna get army lost any second. But I'm completely goofed up over here. There it is. Oh, that was that sucked. <laughs> An hour and twenty minutes to end that way. We were just so badly outpowered. Was this the toughest battle ever? No, not the toughest battle ever. I mean, I've had tougher battles where I just couldn't win. It was just insanely tough. It was going well up until the last load of reinforcements because that was their most elite units, the stuff that we just couldn't deal with. So here, here's what's going to happen. Um, they're probably going to revive a lot of units. Orion's army is wiped out because it's on Force March. The Tree Men's army is wiped out because it's on Force March. But the other one was not on Force March. But is this game over in the campaign? No. No. Because here's the problem. Here's the problem. Um, uh, oh god, look how many units revived. All of their lords. Yeah. Yeah. Our units were like all tier 1, and their units were elite. We just needed more time to build better armies. That's what happens when you do 10-10 in game crisis. But we'll push back. I can recruit really quickly. We just gotta keep on at it. We're gonna have to be relentless. Time to migrate to Cathay? No, man. They gain a tiny bit of ground. Losing that battle is bad, but... At least we got rid of Tyrion. It's not game over. It's not game over. But yeah, it's a bit of a setback. God, I worked my ass off on that battle, but... I definitely think it was winnable, but just a bunch of things that I wanted to happen didn't happen. Um, Orion took too much damage fighting the initial Strigoi. Uh, the cavalry just couldn't find good engagements. Which I was relying on them. Um, the Dryads couldn't find good engagements. The Tree Men did a good job. Um, the Archers were the biggest disappointment. I just couldn't use them properly. They they came in at the worst possible time, when the enemy reinforcements, well, enemy troops were right on top of us. Unfortunately, that was just the worst. That's what really got us, the Archers. Because I was relying on them to take out like the Terror Guys and stuff at the end, but it just didn't happen. Alright, well, we're going to lose a little bit of ground over there, but I think we're okay. So, where do we end up? Lose a potion of speed. Orion's gone, but he'll come back. That guy's dead. Okay. I veto this. Okay, well. She's still alive. Her hero's still alive. So, that's good. Oh, we didn't have the um, thing stolen. Cease. Hmm. But we're okay. We'll be okay. Orion will come back in a few turns. And I'll get him a better army. Because it was all just tier 1 shit. Okay? It was all just tier 1 shit. Now we can, instead of getting Glade Riders spears, which had no anti large, we can go with Wild Riders, which hit way harder. Way higher, harder. Alright. No, we're okay. We did a lot of damage to them at least, that's, that's why they feel like they're backing off. Uh, Moldly Disgusting Corn Dog did a $2 super chat. I just found your channel, you seem like a nice man. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate that. Alright, uh, they've made a huge mistake here, I don't know why they've done this. Um, so this is an easy auto resolve, I think. Uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna lose a few troops, but that's okay. We try Great Stag, Jim Stack. Well, I gotta get to tier 5 to get Great Stag, but yeah, I would like to get those in. If we're gonna put Cavalry in Orion's army, Great Stag would be ideal. Um, but yeah, all I had was tier 1 Cavalry that would beat up. <laughs> so, yeah, I did the best I could. Alright, well, at least we took out one of their armies, so that's good. And we can recruit units, I think, faster than they can, as long as we're wiping out their armies. Alright, I got Treekin over here. And what are we doing next? I don't remember what I'm doing. Alright. Well, I'm glad this one here survived the battle. It would have sucked to lose everything. And also, the, um... The Glade Captain attached to Orion got killed. That sucks. But, we can use a cunning one instead, I guess. Lauren, a I was really hoping I'd win that battle, but it's just, it was just too hard. Alright, but we might be able to punish them a little bit. This army here... My powers are yours. Could this army here, with 19 units, defeat just this one? Problem is, Glade Guard are not good. They're really not a good unit. Even with the extra range, it's not good. Do not mistake me for a fool. I think what we should do is play it safe and just recollect ourselves. Lose a little bit of ground rather than lose more armies. So just get the hell out of here. They're not going to be able to pursue us. Rather than suffering more defeats, let's... uh. Let's lick our wounds a little bit. We gotta lick our wounds a bit, because we, we suffered a pretty bad defeat there. Alright. I thought you can sweep in Women's Rate. No, you can, but it's really difficult to sweep. You, I would never have been able to sweep with the with the uh, Hawks. That never would have worked. Alright, let's see. What do we do next? We're okay. Alright. Let's put this one in this army here. Right, they're gonna take the Tower of Lysi in, but oh well. Alright, what else are we gonna do in here? Yeah, we gotta we gotta recruit more to replace what we lost. I wonder if Treekin spam will be okay against vampires. Alright, whatever. Let's bring it in. And let's transfer those dryads into this army and send him back here to keep recruiting. That battle exhausted me. I tried that hard for for such little results. How is he um, replenishing? He's not in friendly territory. Oh right, and we've got Argwalon coming in. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot coming up through this way. Certainly uh, not. It's not that big of a deal though. Okay. Azrae. All right, I gotta, I gotta come this spot. Sans pure ninety one zero two is Jet Marathi coming for that ass. Uh, yeah, Definitely yeah, not. not a big deal with that one though. Thanks for the chat. All right, all right, all right. So, 
Let's keep going with the tree kin, although I'm not a huge fan of tree kin that are unleveled, but the only way to get them leveled is to recruit them and then get experience. Good. But see, yeah, we can replace armies pretty quickly. So we'll finish this army up here, and then we'll start working um, on getting Orion's army back. So I'll recruit him at uh, Taurus Arroy. Alright, all of these heroes were supposed to attach into Orion, but he's gone now. Okay. What are we doing next? Okay, I'm looking to replenish enemy territory. Oh, okay, thanks. That's useful info. That makes sense. Alright. Still need more global recruits. Well, at least Etain is gone. So, I gotta be grateful for that. Because that's what it cost me. Um, I came down here last turn to um, to destroy Etain. But I just didn't get away fast enough. Because um, Heinrich Kemmler was here. And I thought I could force march back. And I was maybe one tile too, too far away. Too close, I mean. And he caught up to us. All right, all right, all right. We're okay. We're okay. We still got heaps of armies. It's just like got to recruit so pretty much. Yeah, and I want more elite units, but it takes time. It takes time to build it up. All right, over here. What do we got? Yeah, keep working towards open branches. That's how we get more units. If I can't get loads of elite units, I get loads of shit units. Whatever the case is, just just get those troops. These guys here really aren't causing me that many problems. Uh, Victor Austrian did a six shekel super chat. Are you winning, son? That's really hard to say, but thanks for super chat. We're surviving. We're surviving. It's painful, but we're surviving. All right. Uh, I, w I was considering having these guys expand out this way, but the territory itself isn't worth anything. And as soon as I do that, we're just going to get invasions from sea constantly. Are these guys any really strong? No. But also, it's about giving them experience. Noctilus isn't that much of a concern. Nagareth, we have to declare one. Do we have any more enemies this turn? No, we're good. Do you still get penalties for the loss of Oak of Ages? No, you just don't get benefits from the Oak of Ages, that's all. There's no penalties for losing the Oak of Ages. Um, what are we going to do here? Well, another thing is that these armies aren't exactly ready. And these port settlements, they're equally not useful to us because I can't recruit from it. Shrine of Kurnos would be okay. If we take the Shrine of Cain, we can prevent other people from picking it up. Alright, I'm confident that what I've got here can hold out for the time being. Mm, not that confident. Alright, maybe maybe this. Maybe I need to send more troops over here, because I only can recruit two at a time here, and this one can't hold on for long. So why don't you transfer these two over, and then leg it over to here. And what do we got? I'll transfer all of these into you. And you start making your way down here to, to give them some support. This guy needs to pick up the rest of his units as well. Your request is reasonable. Okay. It's going to be tough to deal with what they've got left there, but uh, we'll see. Picking up more troops from over here. Let's we'll just back off. We'll put it into, like, this one. Alright. Can't do much this turn in terms of conquest. We just got to... We got to read. We got to look at our wounds. I can't possibly attack these vampire armies. They're too damn strong. Nothing but tier 1 armies. Can't do much about it. Started late today. I started on time. Mm. 
You had talked about sending some armies to the Cathay Tree Settlement once the Wild Hunt is back on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, given that we lost some ground there, probably not going to do that now because um, if I weaken my position here to go and uh, fight in Cathay, I think that could be a mistake. Because it's not really going to help us that much because what we need more than anything is not more tree settlements. We need more recruit slots. And so... And we need fewer enemies. So if we go over to Cathay, we're going to end up with more enemies and only a handful of recruit slots. It's, it'd be a huge mistake to do that right now. We need to be comfortable here, which we're not. We're not comfortable at all. <laughs> we're very, very uncomfortable. Is it not worth the pink building in the Vale to recruit treatment? You have to do the Ritual of Rebirth to do that first. I'll, I'll show you. I can't do it yet. We are working towards the Ritual of Rebirth. I've gotten all of the... Um, uh, the Hearthlands around working for us, but you just have to wait. The only thing that we could do to speed up the process is to, um, fight more battles in the Hearthland. Uh, there's also that, um... That other one over there. Problem is that causes a battle against Hyles. Well, hang on, what? Yeah. Look at that, they're not expanding, it's just ruins. Yeah, can't win that. Oh no, they are expanding. Okay. No, not my Shrine of Assyrian. Oh well, we're never gonna hold it. Seems none of them are worth each other. Yeah, it's pretty much all the world against me at the moment. Everyone's just coming over here. So yeah, like I said, we just we gotta we gotta do two things. We need more troops and we need better troops. Better troops take time. So yeah, we just uh, just gotta keep swatting them aside as they come through here. But we're in we're gridlocked. I can't possibly expand right now. Why not just get a lord to sack one of the gates to have battles? Nah, those battles are not fun. So I don't want to do that. Don't want to fight a 30 minute long battle just to get half a level up. Because if I keep order resolving, I just keep damaging my armies. Our replenishment rate's not good enough yet. Although with the tree, uh, what's it called, branch rates here, we can get our replenishment up, but only for a few armies. Arguilon coming in here like crazy. <laughs> Man, there is so much coming at us. I hope in um, Bretonia that Luan Leonco is taking away his territories. That'd be good. Oh, Knights of Kalidor were destroyed. Alright, we're still good for money. Oh, great. Oh, here comes Bellacool. Shadow Legion. Mm. So yeah, we still have this one here. Alright, I might actually send this one back over here. Let's let's do this one with loads of armies. Two full stack should manage it. Because, yeah, if we do this one, it'll give us um, some points towards this. What is this giving us? Allegiance points gain, so that's pretty useless. This is just really bad at it being a good defensive position. My influence is weak. Alright, at least they're not sending. Oh my god, there's a lot actually. Heinrich Kemmler's coming in. What's our ambush success what do you chance? Need? 70%. Okay, that would be good. Yeah, it'd be a mistake to tra charge after him here because I'd never get away. This is too much here. I think not. Should we back off? From Toralia. Proud daughter of Athel Lawrence. 
think we should back off. Let let him recapture Torilia. Yeah, let's back off. Let him capture Torilia. He'll be sitting inside the city. And then we go and take it off him. Because I've also got Noctilus coming down here. So yeah, we're losing ground here. I really needed to win that battle. That was a big loss. So go into ambush so that we lure them into traps. Okay, I want this one over here to pick up one unit from her. My journey begins. Yeah, all the way around. And sit there. Going and then we put a just one branch race in there. And these ones actually need to make their way back around to go and visit um, Orion when he comes back. I'm going to bring this one over here, and this one, I'm going to bring it back. Alright, that's the force march, that's okay. This will be a way to get some experience. Yeah, I'm not going to return the guy in Veil, that would be a huge mistake. Attack them, which will give us forest health plus 10. Oh, diplomatic relations minus 50 with high elves, oh well. We should just be able to auto-resolve this. Yeah. Oh, only two of them came in. Okay. Alright, that's good. That'll that'll really help out with this. Because, yeah, the Ritual of Rebirth, getting that done, would be very helpful. So, as I said, I'd show you this. And you can see that the Temple of Isha can't be built until the Ritual of Rebirth is done. And that's what we're trying to get done. Just takes time. You know, we're recruiting higher tier units, but uh, just it just takes time. Alright, get another Ancient Tree Man. We got plenty of money, so need to globally recruit. Should be recruiting in this province here, this region. They can't reach the White Terror Poet, so just keep recruiting. Put this one here. Put all the damaged units in, pull all the undamaged units out. Because <coughs> they're sitting inside the settlement and put them in ambush stance. Let's try to heal. This is going to Orion. Okay. So yeah, we've got this one coming in as well. How can I assist you? I am denied. These are dark times. Pretty sure that settlement's going to be lost, but we'll see how that goes. And then, yeah, we've also got um, this army coming in. And yeah, we are getting overwhelmed. We are getting overwhelmed a little bit. So we'll need a channel two to recover, but that'll be okay. Alright, that's all I can do this turn. Any new enemies? No. Because, yeah, it's not the upkeep that's the problem, it's the recruitment. I can't recruit fast enough. 
All right, let's move on. Do you know what would be funny? If they push us all the way back to Avalon, and then we send every single army to Cathay, and just be like, all right, starting again from Cathay. Because <laughs> then all of these armies have to travel all the way to Cathay, because there's not that many endgame prices there. One of the main reasons we came to Ulthwan was that I didn't think that the, uh, the endgame prices would come here this quickly. But yeah, we've... I mean, we've only got, um... Heinrich Kembler and Arguelon on the way here. Slash Mark on the Torfino army. I can't do anything about it. Yeah, they, they used a hero action on him. I can't do anything about it. If I disband him, it'll still do it. Alright, so they've gone and done that. That's fine. Hopefully he occupies it. No, he just sacks it. Okay. That's fine. I tell you what the most annoying thing about the vampire... Oh my god. The vampire... Oh shit. <laughs> that is so much. That is so much shit coming through here. The most annoying thing about the vampire accounts is the fact that even when you kill off their units, they, they end the battle and they just get the units back basically for free. That's so annoying. They really need to turn that down. It makes fighting the vampire accounts almost pointless, even when you win. You have to catch them on Force March. The Trekian Army Lord should get the yellow skill that buffs them. Yes, but I'm also trying to get the open branches because we need global recruit slots. I have to recruit faster. I need more global recruitment slots. Look how many armies are coming at us. We need more troops. You know, a, a small buff is one thing, but being able to just pump out more units faster is what we really need. I'm going to have to abandon the White Tower Poeth area. This is just too much. Moto Man TD did a photo of Super Chat. I think you might be disliked. Yeah, a little bit. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Almost time to leave Ulth 1. That option is available to us, yeah. As long as we do it during the Wild Hunt, we can leave. Um, I don't want to. I want to stay here. But we just we have to be pumping out more units. I'm pumping out half a stack every single turn, but it just doesn't feel like enough. Because what they're doing is they're clumping up, they're making it so that if I attack them, I won't be able to get away. So it'd be a sacrifice for nothing. Because nothing to keep in mind, the longer we're here, the stronger we're going to get. Because, like, soon we can get Sisters of the Thorn. Eh, whatever. Soon we can get Zotes. Eh, whatever. Um, can start getting these ones here, Blade Singers. I think they take two turns to recruit, so I'm not super fan fun of that. Titan Gaming did a 10 dollar super chat. Just curious if you tried Terra Invicta, the space combat seems like something you'd have fun with. Uh, it's on my to-do list to play, but I haven't played it yet. Thanks, Super Chat. Do appreciate it. A discordant song. Yeah, here's the problem. If I go down there and attack this, then we can't get away. So they're just pushing us back. These settlements aren't worth anything to us, really. Uh, Veldstead became men for two months. I would make a run for the forest in Chate because it's far away from most ultimate disaster crisis. Yeah, look, I'm going to stay here for as long as I can, but if they push us all the way back to the Gaian Vale, then yeah, I will have to go. Um, but for now, let's see if we can get through this. We'll see. A lot of these armies are fairly low tier. But yeah, there's, just, there's a lot coming at us. I have to fall back from here. We'll never be able to hold that position. Because we're still replenishing as well. Okay, you move back as well. Keep recruiting. All back. Okay, now. This guy needs to sit inside of a settlement. You sit out there. You get in there. Shift 
Yeah, the skewing branch would be good for sure. Um, extra armor piercing damage for tree king units. Let's do that. Alright. Ambush dancer over here. Because, yeah, we want to go into ambush dancer. Just try to lure them closer. Lady of the Glade, at your service. I definitely think the Dryads are better than um, Glade Guard. Glade Guard do not perform very well, from my experience, in Warhammer 3. They do not trade that well. Yeah, that one's always got screwing bash. Yeah, we need ambush success chance. Elif Graves did a two euro super chat. Maybe get sort of cane. I don't see a downside. No, I do see a downside. No. Thanks for the chat. Uh, Maxim Lozarch became member for six months. Cheers. I'll need to catch the vote for part one because this campaign looks interesting. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the support. Yeah, the, the Sword of Cain would be a mistake. It's not that good. Alright. Alright, yeah, you come back over here. We need to keep recruiting more Treekin. We're sort of phasing out Dryads now and just going ham on Treekin. So yeah, you can see I can raise armies quickly, but how quickly is the big question. That's why we need as many global recruit slots as possible. No one's coming here by sea. Alright, what else we got in here? Oh, that's crap. That's it. See, what I want is for him to occupy the settlement so I can take it off him. Because if he's sitting inside the settlement, he can't use his revive mechanic when we take him out. And also, vampires are terrible at defending settlements. Alright. Stay there in ambush. We'll just... We just gotta catch them when they're trying to come up this way. Uh... Bellacore army up here. I'll send this guy to come and help soon. Yeah, you catch over here. This will actually save us a lot of money. Okay. Alright, technology. We just did Kurnos the Hunter, which that helps a little bit. Weapon strength for elf cavalry. Um, hero capacity for spell singers could be good. More heroes is good. Reduce construction cost for... Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to reduce the Winds of Magic cost for Lore of Life spells. Which is really good for us. But yeah, I just gotta wait until they get in to that position. We're, we're fairly close to this here. To being done. Because that stuff's easy. Four turns until we hit tier four. It would be a field battle anyway, wouldn't it? Um, okay, it'd be a field battle if... No, no, it wouldn't be a field battle in either case. If... Because that's a major settlement. If Heinrich Kemmler occupies it, it'll be a walled settlement. If Arguilon holds it, it'll be an underway settlement. The treatment sound is very annoying. I know, dude. I know, but I just... I need them. I need them. I know it's annoying. Just gotta see what they do. Man, they're really pushing us back today. Really pushing us back. Is it possible to turn down Screaming of the Lords? No, we actually tried it um, yesterday. You can't isolate it. It's super annoying. Do the Crisis fight each other? They can, but they don't prioritize you. Ah, uh, pro 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 yeah, prioritize them. Sorry, stumbled. Yeah, they're just advancing really slowly. They're not being super aggressive now. But they've got so many armies that I can't attack them. Either. Agent blocking still possible? It is possible to agent block, but we don't have enough capacity for heroes. Come on, occupy that settlement. If they occupy it... Close defeat. Um, if they occupy it... 
that'd be good. Okay, good. Kiss that army goodbye. This is what we needed. Yeah, yeah, you sit right in front of it there. Okay. Oh. So, I think what we should do here is just sack the settlement. Yeah, sit. Oh, yeah, right in front of it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's good. This is a great opportunity for us here to knock off, hopefully, quite a few vampire count armies. And yeah. this is what I was waiting for. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Ambush attack. Yep, sure, if the situation calls for it. Yep. They're coming down. You can occupy it. That is not a super strong army. Okay, I, th I, th I think this is going to be a good turn coming up. Hmm, seems like a few of them are heading towards the guy in Vale. Losing that would be a catastrophe, so some of these forces are going to need to move back. I think we're going to kill off a lot of armies this turn. Aren't there another three vampire count factions coming? Uh, they're not necessarily on their way. It, no, um, Manfred is dead. Manfred's killed off. He died. Um, as for Sylvania, uh, they might be on their way. That could happen. And Gorst is way too far away. I wouldn't worry about Gorst. Way too far away. Alright. So that's looking good for us there. I think we might even be able to occupy it because they just don't have much force here to retake it. That's fine. Seems like... I bet Grimgore's strength ranking 1. No, Clan Pe Pestilence! I'm glad we didn't go to Lustria. Conga line of vampires. Nice. And because we're the attacker, uh, and we can ambush attack, we can get rid of them that way quite easily. Oh, right. What a gift. What a gift. And this will be really good for experience as well. What a gift. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a gift. Take it out. It's gonna take him a while to recover from this huge mistake. Yeah, give me replenishment. Even if it's only a little bit. Oh yeah, here's our, here's our, um, this dude. Um, what do we need for you? This makes me feel really good about this situation. Alright, any units getting wiped out? No. Probably gonna take a few casualties, but... Given how much um, strength we've got... Oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. And it's okay to lose Dryads now, since we're replacing them with Shrieken. Kind of. It's giving us a good amount of money as well. Keep the replenishment going. Alright, now what we could do is we could maybe fight a Siege here. We'll probably just have to sack it just because of the sheer number of... Yeah, there's, there's too much here. Never. 
Because if we fight the siege, does anyone here have 100 wins? You do. Uh, for them, what care did a five dollars chat? Yesterday's live stream was legendary. Today is a must see TV. Keep it up. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's cool. it's okay. All right. Yeah, this um blade guard here is a bit, uh, a bit out of place, but that's okay. So yeah, if we launch the attack on the White Tower of Hoes and fight it manually, I think I could. Uh, no. no. Hang on. Let me just think here. No. Do not mistake me for a fool. This army here is actually pretty easy to beat, I think. Manually. Because he doesn't have any area of effect stuff. None at all. I could use Dwellers Below to just absolutely destroy him. Move up. You've only got 50 wins. Oh, they're blocked by, um... Maybe you. Good, open branches. Wait, hang on. Okay, we'll, we'll get that next level up. Oh, we got two anyway. Good, extra ward save for tree kin units, and we got extra global recruit slots. I don't think they're all available though. Pyrrhic victory. Yeah, only three of them are there. All right, just back off. I need, I need all four so they get experience. It's kind of more important than... I'll fight this one manually because I think I can do a really good job of it. But yeah, this guy's going to do it. I just need... I think this one here wasn't quite there. It's a bit cramped. There we go. Now it should be fine. Oh, wait. I don't need to use ambush attack. No one can reinforce him anyway. He has 100 wins. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, uh, hang on. One, two, three, four. There we go. We, we're not going to need 100 wins to win this. Yeah. Still a perfect victory. With the four armies. Have to fight this one manually. Yeah, I know. I don't need to use ambush attack. You're right. Okay. So, it has to be fought manually or else we're going to take too much damage. But because they don't have any mortis engines or area of effect abilities, we blob up. We pop down the dwellers below. This guy here, I'm not sure who has it. Um, but one of them does when they come in. And we get rid of this army quite easily because it's on Force March. So yeah, catching them on Force March, that's the ideal situation. But for the vampires to lose these four armies here... I wouldn't say it makes up for our defeat with, um, with Orion. But it definitely helps to be a bit of a band-aid for it. High casualties, what? Um, it's because our armies are damaged. Damaged armies perform worse in order resolve than they should. Alright. All of our reinforcements coming in from over here. Alright, this this will be easy. But we've just got to wait for our troops to show up. This will be easy. And tree can work really well with uh, dryads. I got probably an hour and 20 minutes in that fucking battle. <laughs> I tried so hard. But it, the problem was, like, we just had nothing that, um, that really was good against the enemy. We took out a few units here and there, but the cavalry just couldn't do its worth. And then the dryads just couldn't do their worth because of all the elite units that were coming in. And this is the problem when you do, like, turn 10 endgame crisis, when you've only got tier 1 armies going up against elite armies with loads of cheats. Sometimes you just can't do anything about it, which is why I've been auto resolving so much. Right, this one here, get that out of there.
Good, our dwells below dude is here. Okay, we don't want to withdraw too many units or else um, it'll take longer to inflict the army losses. So we'll just uh, accept this. Alright, let's move up now. No, we shouldn't use any magic aside from dwellers below. That's what's going to do the value here. Okay, I might need to cast a spell on them to begin with, just to get them to charge at us. At least this guy here, if they charge at us, we can use that ability. It's going to ask Wind of Death. They don't have Wind of Death, and Wind of Death won't uh, affect these guys anyway. Right, we'll just use Awakening of the Wood just to get them to activate. Sometimes you need a second one. waking up. I don't have to find the forest, but it would be best. Okay, here we go, here we go. They're coming. Here we go. We're not trying to hide, but fighting in the forest here gives us quite a big stat boost. And it also gives their large units a big stat beat debuff. So it really helps to compensate the difficulty. Yeah, okay, here we go, here we go. That's good. This is what we want. As soon as he gets them juicy tree men, the AI stays are numbered. Oh yeah, once we can start pumping out loads of tree men, I don't think that the vampire accounts can do much about that. But we're not at that stage yet. We need to do the ritual of rebirth, that'll allow us to get tree men before we hit tier 5. But, it takes a bit of time. That's it. That one lands and just immediately dies because it is terrible in fighting in a blob. Yeah. They just can't do anything here. This guy is not going to land on us. Dire wolves. Nah, can't do anything. My dog says hi. She's sniffing at the screen. Okay, well, tell your dog I said walk. <laughs> Sorry, walk? Or dinner? <laughs> For those of you who don't know uh, about dogs, those are usually the trigger words to get them super excited. <laughs> Alright, what's this Blood Knight here doing? Yeah, it's doing a bit. Nothing major. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Say Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, download all the gay porn you can. <laughs> Alexa, Alexa, play Justin Bieber. Alexa. By Thrones of Britannia. <laughs> so 
So yeah, that one dwells below is worth about 23,000 damage. And let's keep doing it. As long as it's not hitting our own units too much. Well, I actually only got one more cast of it, but it should be enough. He's taking a bit of damage, moving into the center. He did 56,000 damage with all that. Cool. Alright, now with the tree men. Yeah, I can't kill the enemy lord. We just gotta grind them down. It shouldn't take too much longer. Most of the. Oh, yeah, here. Corpse Carp Ale Fire. Let's take that out. Or maybe actually go for the black coach. That thing actually does some damage. These blood knights are still constantly charging. Unless they're different ones. Coach gone. The army losses should be any moment now, guys. Any moment. Well, I've still got a waking of the wood. Maybe I can use one of those here on these zombies to speed this up a bit. But yeah, the tree can seem to do all right at this stage. You know, we've got forty percent physical resistance. Most of the stuff is only doing physical damage. It'd be much better if we can kill that lord, but I've got nothing that can reach it. There we go. Alright, and it was on Force March, so it gets wiped out. Now that's a much better result than Order Resolve, so that's good. I'm, I'm feeling good about getting more of these tree kin. Feeling good about it. Alright, how are we doing here? I can't do anything about it, I just gotta wait for it to decay. Is this another Blood Note? Yeah. So, considering it's only turn 30, they'll have a hard time recruiting these units, but they could raise the dead and find them somewhere. Especially in Ulf 1. Are you just trying to defend, or are you going to try to expand a little bit? I, I'm trying to expand, but there's so many armies sent, being sent at me um, that I did expand a little bit, but I got pushed back. This is what happens if you overextend, like if you push too hard, which is what we kind of did. But uh, I kind of needed to push in order to get rid of Tyrion, which we, we did that. So that's good. Imagine Tyrion coming down here alongside the vampires. That would have been a pain. So even though we did lose Orion's army, it was you know low-tier trash. Apart from the hero, I really hate that hero died. 
But you know, he'll be back soon, and I'll get him a better army. We keep, we keep persevering, you know. Have you didn't get that bugged map? That bugged map happens in Avalon. I did get it yesterday, but I was able to auto resolve it. Hey, uh, Legend, serious question. Can Kyra see your armies in ambush stance and accordingly? Is it a faction thing or listener difficulty AI cheats? They can't see. If you're in ambush stance, they can't see you. Yeah, that's the only way to truly hide from the AI. Cool. Barely lost anything. We'll take some replenishment. Because now we've got this battle here to do. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned that it's going to sail straight to the guy in Vale. So, but we've got some forces over here ready to come over here if they do that. I forbid this dance. Oh man, look at all that ammo. What? Oh, it's because they have endgame crisis, right. <laughs> Alright, well we need to destroy... Where's that guy with 100 magic? This guy. Good, this guy's almost immortal. Yeah, we'll get you tree kin or something some sometime. Um What do you have? Dryads. Uh definitely not Nakai did a find some shit. Do you think Blood Knight Doomstack could be powerful since they have region and combat? Uh yeah, it could be. The problem with cavalry based doomstacks though is uh cavalry can really struggle against single entities, even if they got regen. And they're terrible in siege situations. Uh because they're very bad at punching through enemy forces, and, uh, they can't cycle charge properly. So, what's this one got? Alright, so we go this one, and then... Ancient Bark. Ugh, six armor. Oh, well, it provides physical resistance as well. Yeah! Open branches. More global recruit slots. That's what we want to see. This guy's already got it. Alright, this one laid siege. Right, just back off. The other guy would be better at it. Does the AI have to research tech or they don't have them? The AI does research tech. Oh, hang on. The de AI does research tech. Alright, we'll just order that. Uh, but Endgame Crisis, they, um, they get all of the tech for free. They just get it all instantly, so just stack it. Don't blow it up. They won't ruin Dweller. And then, yeah, we need to back off. If we... If we take this settlement, it just gives them an opportunity to attack us from here. So we need to back off. Alright, you're very badly damaged. Move back over here. You're actually even more damaged. But no units got wiped out. So that's good. Take some time to recover, but no units got wiped out. Yeah, no one should be able to reach us from that distance. And even if they did... A no, they're not going to be able to reach us. Okay. Alright, so that's good. That's good. Let's see what else we got going on here. Alright. This army looks like it'll reach Evershale over the end turn. These are dark times. Oh, it took a Eric Peterson, Peterson did a chill some chat. Can you briefly explain crap stacking? It's real simple. It's the opposite of doom stacking. It's recruiting cheap units that can have a lot of utility and are cost effective. That's all. It's not about crap stacking. Is not a crap army. It's about taking a tier one unit and spamming it and getting some effectiveness out of it. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a different way to play apart from Doom Stacking that can work. So, for example, Nasty Skulker army is a crap stack. It's a good army with crap units that you can 
get good um, victories out of. They could punch above their pay grade. Rather than a Doomstack is an army that can just basically beat everything. Crap stacks can't beat everything, but they punch above their pay grade. I think not. I refuse your thanks. All right, this looks doable. I'm gonna get you to launch the attack here. but only two. That's not that big of a deal. What about if we fought this manually? I think we should fight this manually. We outrange them. With them. Yeah, we fight this manually. How come the endgame crisis aren't attacking each other? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, Ionat Gianta did a five pound super chat. Hi Legend, have they changed something regarding small sieges? I don't think I've fought one in two days. Haven't played a while, so I don't know what's new. Yes, they have changed it. They've made them far less frequent. In order to encounter a minor city siege, a garrison building has to be built. Thanks, Super Chat. Alright, so... This one here's got Talon of Kurnos, so it, these units here outrange even the, uh... The Deepwood Scouts. Okay, actually, we should just have one long line. This is not the sort of battle that you want to be checkerboarding on. Um, we need to be standing about here. But we've also got to wait for reinforcements to show up, so maybe... Um, we'll see about pushing forward. Alright, put heroes up front. You stay back, don't really. Oh no, stay up front. We can do something I so at least I can ready. heal them if they get damaged. Lady of and try to delay them until the reinforcements come in. I will comply. Okay, move up to about here. We will obey. The forest speaks. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they want to shoot at us. Oh no, they do. They do. Uh, okay, they're coming at us a little bit too early. Let's get back over here. That's kind of my fault. I triggered them. Somebody orders some trees. Quickly, I away. Ready to hunt. Okay, this guy's getting too badly shot. Get him out of there. Yeah, I've noticed that um, blade guards just don't seem to perform in Warhammer 3. Look, they're just somewhat refusing to shoot. I really want to phase these ones out, they're just not good.
Missiles ready! It says they're shooting, they're just not shooting very fast. Need to be hitting these ones over here. The dryads are fine. This isn't going quite as well as I would have liked. Is it just me, or are our archers guard. just not shooting? Kill them! Moving fast! Protector of the forest! Glade guard! Lady of the glade! Okay, now they're kind of shooting. We never miss! Glade captain! Yeah, I definitely want to phase out uh, Glade Guard. Don't want to recruit anymore. They really let me down that other battle, and they're letting me down here as well. Children of Ethel Lauren. I should have already dealt with all this stuff on the approach. Hunting. So I hunt. Some units are maybe a little bit too damaged. Let's pull them back. Moving. Bowman, ready. Oh, where that army loss is at? Blade guard. There we go, got him. Alright, just uh, heal the single entities as much as possible. And I think we will occupy this. Because I don't think there's that much force coming down this way. But yeah, I was a little bit disappointed with how the Glade Guard performed there. They just didn't really... That really should have been ideal for them. Yeah, stop shooting. I'm just going to get friendly fire. They're all dead anyway. I think that's our first battle against Argwalon. It was not much, but uh, we got through it. Okay, that's the end of our magic. If the Wood Elves are here, can you send a Lord to the Oak of Ages and see if it's empty? I could, yeah, but uh, I think going back to the Oak of Ages right now would be a mistake. Like, I probably could send an army or two in there and maybe recapture it, but I'll just end up losing it. So for the time being, I'll just leave them with it. How's your forest built for stock going? I'm not worrying about that at all. I don't have enough heroes to worry about doing that. I've got a few of them, but not enough to make any difference, so I'm not going to bother worrying just right now. Yeah, we're going to occupy this. Okay. Because I just don't think that the vampires are going to do much of a counterattack now. And that was good for experience. Only one rank up, but that's what, okay, this one's getting there. That might help a little bit. Wasn't shooting very quick. Alright, 
Cool. And then put these other armies over here in defense. Oh, good. We can recruit dryads from here again. That's that's really good. All right, you transfer all of your units over to this one. And yeah, you'll recruit some dryads. Okay. Now we've got to be ready for Bellacor. No, it's not Bellacor himself, but it's, uh, Bellacor's army. We've got more than a full stack, but only by a little bit. If I send this one over here, we'll surely win. Um, so I guarantee it. Beginning my journey. Okay. So yeah, if this one just walks down over here, we should be fine there. Okay, that's good. Alright, I would like to deter Arguilon from coming over to the guy in Vale. So I'm going to sit in here and just locally recruit two. This guy's ready to roll. Probably need him over here. Best, I think, put him in ambush stance so I don't see us coming. And this one may recruit some more... Okay, I got an idea, I got an idea. Hang on, is there a an office that increases recruit rank? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, so Orion will be coming back in one turn, so I want I want him to have his army kind of ready. So let's just grab this one here. And we're going to globally recruit the units that we're going to put into his army next. So we tried using Glade Rider Spears. They got smashed. So we got access to Wild Riders. We don't have Wild Riders with shields because we don't have the other unit, other building. So looking at Wild Riders, they have 20% physical resistance. They get Frenzy. Let's have a look at the stat difference between uh, Wild Riders and... Glade Riders with Spears. So, more armor, more leadership, less speed, should still be fast enough, more melee attack, less melee defense, more weapon strength, more charge bonus. Not a huge upgrade, and more health. Not a huge upgrade, okay, whatever, get him. And then these heroes are supposed to attach over here for Orion. No rest. No surrender. I foresee great. Oh, I think I didn't attach them properly. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. So a lot of levels up to distribute. That's good, let's do that. Right, I think it would be better if the the tree can replenish over the dryad since we're kind of phasing them out now. Yep, that's good. As these dryads get wiped out, we'll replace them with tree kin. For the most part. Except for regions where I can only recruit dryads. We've just got to be recruiting. Um, so this one's got dryads, get piercing thorns. Alright. Gotta get to open branches. Need more global recruit slots. Yes! Got another one, so we can get another unit. That's good. Yep. Alright, any new enemies? Let's have a look here. We have no new enemies. It's just, um... Yeah, this is fine. Just gotta deal with it. Okay, let's move on. So we're gaining this at a rate of 5 per turn. If this one comes down and we fight it here, we'll get extra, um... Uh, forest growth, so that'll be good. 
So many tree sounds. Yeah, I know it's annoying. I know it's annoying, but <laughs> I need every single army that I've got. I can't just disband them just because it's a little bit annoying. Defeating Nakari constantly would be good because he increases the experience rate of all of our lords faction wide. And considering how much we need to level up our lords, that would be very handy. Oh, look! Okay, Eltharian declared war or vice versa on the vampire accounts. That's really good. Eltharian now is going to die, obviously, but he's at least kind of our friend because <laughs> he's the enemy of our worst enemy. Good. So that was a good thing that happened there. Probably because they trespassed on his territory or whatever. Is Greater Arcane Conduit 10% spell mastery only for the Lord, or is that for all spellcasters in the army? It's for all spellcasters in the army. Yeah, spell mastery is um, army wide. Yeah, they want to attack by the sea. If we can hold on to this and push down further, that'd be good as well. Minor victories. Yeah, you know, it ebbs and flows you, with this sort of campaign. Uh, there's been very few, this is Total War campaigns, that haven't had this kind of ebb and flow where you gain some territory, then you lose some territory. Then you gain some territory, then you lose some territory. You just have to try to make sure that whenever you lose territory, you don't lose your armies. Like what happened over here. Alright, they're backing off. Look, yeah, they're starting to recruit loads of garbage. Yeah, I don't know why Eltharian made that war declaration, but that was a godsend. Because that'll just keep them busy, and now we can maybe even justify pushing forward. Come on. Land. Alright. If he's sitting in the Tower of Lycian, I might actually be able to justify occupying it. We're gonna, we're gonna push back. I think he went to Ambush Dance. Do Endgame Crisis keep spawning more and more Doomstacks? Uh, okay, no, they don't spawn more Doomstacks, but they will just uh, recruit whatever's available. How the fuck did they know I was there? But it doesn't matter, at least we can get them. So where are you going? Alright, they want to get a white fire tour. That's okay, any minor settlement's fine. Just don't go attack uh, the guy in Vale. Skaven Dan became member for three months. How would you rate the Wood Elves enjoying the campaign? Thanks for, for the uh, super chat, dude. Uh, the membership, appreciate it, dude. Um, I think the Wood Elves are one of the more fun races in Warhammer 3. Um, they, they're strong, but they have extreme weaknesses. But yeah, Talson is strong enough to be able to handle this situation. There's no faction that can handle it, like, easily. Um, although we handled it pretty easily with Bellacor, but that's because Bellacor is so far away from them to begin with. And we had plenty of time to set up. Am I having fun? I am having fun. It's tough. It's tough. But this is what I want. This is what I want. I want to have the tools that I need to win, which I definitely feel like I've got, but I want to go up against extreme amounts of enemies. This is what I like. I don't like the vampire counts, so I'm, I'm sick of their bullshit. <laughs> Alright, look. It's not that big of a deal. If they go and take white fire tour, it's fine. This army over here, I think your ass is grass. Your orders are acceptable. Okay, here's what I want to do. I want to... I don't want to push this guy outside the area, so... I need to... I shall comply. Yeah, I'll use you. If you come around here, <laughs> if you come around here, yeah, okay, that's good. I go forth. Make it so this guy here doesn't get a chance to escape. He'll definitely run, and no! <laughs> Damn it! He was supposed to come over here. 
Because if he comes in here, we get more forest growth. Uh, it's only like one, but still, whatever. Alright, who needs to level up the most? I think you do. Your request is reasonable. No mercy. This will be an easy order to resolve, I think. Yeah. Yeah, nothing's... We're just sending way too much for them to be able to handle that. Oh, cool. That really wasn't that big a deal. Yeah, it didn't count towards the forest health though. We gotta spill blood in this these areas. Oh well. It's 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 happening. Just gotta wait, uh let's see. Six more turns. As long as we don't lose any ground of these ones. Six more turns. Alright, time to get our revenge on Heinrich Kemmler. Luckily most of his army is trash. Can we make it there though? Let me just check. Yeah, we can make it there. And I don't think there's other armies around here, but I'm not sure for certain. And our armies are in good enough shape that we should be able to handle this. Let's go. Been keeping track of their armies, I don't think. Too much to worry about. Yeah, according to what we can see here, we're going to take this and not lose anyone. Okay, one of our armies isn't showing up. And since experience is critical, I think it's this guy here. There we go. Easy win against bad Gandalf. Good, you only need to get wiped out. One dryad. Right, one dryad is not a big deal, considering this. And this is the best type of time to attack him, because if he's sitting inside the settlement, he can't replace his uh, units. Nice. And you know what? With this, the victory that he gained over us here was just undone, because we've gained back the territory. However, there is a bit of vampiric corruption here now, so move this one back into... Mm, looks like we're just gonna have to take some attrition. I don't like that though. Um, no, I'm not gonna. Uh, but we need to stay here to support her. Uh, attrition. We need to support her. Alright, so from here, yep, just keep getting more dryads. Uh, Davy Jones, 06, said a five dollars widget. Hi, Legend. I saw a video that archers are currently bugged right now. They either don't fire or fire super slowly for some reason. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm gonna not recruit any more of those glade guards. I, was, I might get way watchers, but those glade guards were not performing for me at all. Thanks for super chat. Start getting some more magic because I'm here with the good old stuff. So, Marathi down here. Okay. I forbid this dance. Alright, if I camp all my armies here. So, this guy can recruit dryads in this area. And this might prevent this one from landing here, but we should go into ambush dance as much as possible so that maybe they will land and we'll just get them. And you just go stand back over there. I can do just that. Alright, and this one here. Yep, you've done that. That's good. Get the skewing branch. Cool. Alright, so Orion's back. So, pop him back in there. Lord of the Asprey! 
And while his army isn't as experienced as it was before, it is a higher tier unit. I think what we'll do with Orion is this army is not good against um, uh, vampires. All right, sending him up against vampires is a mistake. However, he should be okay against Vampire Coast because their units are like all zombies, and he should be fairly good against this kind of army. So that's where I'm going to send him. He's still got two more units he can recruit, so sort that out. And we'll just send him out there by himself. And if he gets wiped out, so be it. Nope. No big deal. And you may recruit more Treekin. No, wrong one. Oh, I'd love to get Blade Singers, but... Three turns is just not justifiable right now. Alright, we're we're almost done with that. That's good. Getting some more high tier stuff would be great. I don't think we can justify expanding right here, but setting up a trap for them. If this lands here, that'd be good. So same thing with like drawing them up this way. And since, yeah, our armies do need some time to recover, I think that'd be a good idea. Okay, this guy here, I'm actually going to send it to... Yeah. Send him back here to replenish, because otherwise... It's just, it's just a waste of units. Waste of perfectly good troops. Alright, everyone else, stand... Yeah, just exactly where you are. In ambush stance. Stay there, there in replenishment. And just see what comes up through this way, through there, and through here. Yeah, we wanted to deter them from landing at the guy in Vale. Okay. Yeah, there must be a lot of vampires here. Buildings, events, technology. Hmm. I gotta get back to the Shrine of Assyrian if we want to strip this out. It might even be better, though, to abandon the Tower of Lycian and just fall back to here. You know what, let's, rather than recruit from here, let's get higher replenishment. Um, yeah. Alright, but it'd be good to have... Oh, you know what we could do next yes. turn? Why don't we do a quest battle with Orion? He should be able to handle it with this. The reason why we haven't done it previously is because he's had to fight constantly, and he hasn't been at full health, but he's at full health now. I'm glad he didn't lose his uh, Helm of Discord. Um, I believe I have an Armor of Destiny for him. We'll give the Helm of Discord to someone else. Relic, so do we got... let's have a look at what other weapons we can give him. This is better. Talisman of Endurance, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Enchanted items. Maybe you want a potion of healing if I've got any. I don't think I do. I did have a potion of toughness, but I think I lost it. Uh, okay, let's take these two here. No, 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 this one. Let's use them for something better. Fences Blade. Um, yeah, put that on it. That's better. Obsidian lodestones is shit. I'm not a huge fan of that one. Let's just see if we can get something better. Sword of Strife is okay. Potion of Speed and... I think I've got any other enchant- Oh, uh, mm, Ruby Ring of Ruin. Not the biggest fan of that one, so I think I'll fuse it. You always get more of them. Two Ogre Blades. Right, I'm going to fuse those two Ogre Blades and get a Talisman of Preservation. Nice, that's better. So that's that's given him quite a bit of uh, ward save there, so that was good. And then in terms of enchanted items, I could go Crown of Command, but that's a shit item. Um, should fuse that with something, if I've got anything, which I don't. Earthing Rod is shit. 
Wand of Jet is shit. Another Helm of Discord. That's good. Okay, you know who you could use the Helm of Discord? The Glade Captain. When she gets leveled up. When she gets leveled up, because the other one did die. Alright. You're almost at Forest Dragon. What do we need next out of you? Yeah, I definitely want to upgrade to Waywatchers as soon as I can, but let's see. Yeah, make those units as best they can be. This one here is almost immortal as well. Don't think any of those are going to help. Good. Arcane items are so lame. Some of the arcane items are lame, for sure. Not all of them. Alright, cool. So next turn we'll do a quest battle. I uh, had some unassigned skill points. Oh, here we go. Open branches, more recruit slots. Actually, let me just refresh that. Should get Arrow of Kronos first. Gotta get those open branches. Okay, how are we going for globally recruiting? Okay, we can get another recruit. Good. Because, yeah, money's not a problem at all. Fighting so many battles is just not an issue whatsoever. And let's move on. So, yeah, we'll do a quest battle next turn for Orion. And that'll give us extra replenishment rate, which will help a great deal. Doing right. Yeah, yeah, I said I was going to do Orion's quest battle next turn. Oh, come on, man. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Why don't you upgrade the Phoenix Gate? Our wood sorry, a Woodoff army went into ambush down south of White Tower. Yeah, I saw that. That's why I didn't push down south. If Orion... Cavalry-based army is not great against Slaanesh because they're fast, but I think we can beat him. Because, yeah, 7% extra experience for all armies would help us out so much. Sixteen global recruit slots. Yep, so we're halfway. We can get up to thirty. So that means we can produce an army and a half every single turn once we get to that point. Any tips on how to get rid of enemy artillery? Uh, you could wa waste its ammo, or you could charge it with uh, um, cavalry. Spirit leech is actually surprisingly good against uh, enemy artillery. It comes not to us. Yeah, this is why I went. Uh, didn't land. Orion has a missile attack. Yeah, but his missile attack is kind of derpy because he. It's not super long range, and it takes him a long time to shoot it, and sometimes he'll prefer to go into melee. It's just a bit der derpy. Speed for whole army from the car. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that would be good. Ulthuan went from heaven to hell in the 20 turns. Yeah, I brought all the shit over to Ulthuan. All the high elves are like, fuck, this is a nightmare. Imagine if that happened to you in your high elf campaign. You're not at war with this endgame crisis, but they just come and smash you. Alright, that's good. Force March as well. Nice. Good. None of the units got wiped out there. Uh, 
that's a shame. If I fight it manually, they'll probably just run off the battlefield. At which point they'll get wiped out. But I won't get any experience. Yeah, when the tree starts speaking tree, you know you gotta be worried. Grumbrand was like, time to smack Malekith. Yeah, he probably would. Ah! <laughs> Do you see what I see? <laughs> Why? Our bodies and jobs. Hedgehog a beast. Flaxida. So, how about them enemy armies, huh? We cut it. Hidden foes. What the hell? They're underneath the map here. That's where they are in the dead center. They're right underneath here, but... Hang on. Um, do we have a dwellers below? They're right there. I do. Get over here. Because you see, I walked past and they did some damage to me. They're right there. <laughs> it doesn't do any damage. Oh, for fuck's sake. Marcel's Heft did a five a pound super chat. Hey, Legion. How do you find the difficulty since patch? Despite the recent patch, I feel like the game doesn't offer a challenge. Depends on what, what faction you're playing as, but uh, there's definitely an increased challenge. Um, but it's still not that big of a deal for sure. Thanks, Super Chat. Yeah, look. Look at this. We see this big circle around us here. can't look underneath the map because I don't have debug camera. Sometimes if you go near, oops, near a rock, you can not. It's not possible to do anything about this. I'll have to auto resolve it. Can't do anything. Yeah, the enemies spawn underground in that map. I can't get at them. What's going on? Okay, so what's going on is that we ambush an army of Arguilon, and the enemy, in this particular map, the AI spawns underneath the map, and we have no ability to attack them. I can't do anything about it, so we're going to have to auto-resolve it. Can you quickly enable so we can see them? Well, you gotta you gotta get the mod. Isn't there a way to 
into the ground from the mountain. Not that I'm aware of. I just, I'm going to have to auto resolve it. I just don't have a choice. lose two dryads. Yeah, I know, but still. I could have fought the battle manually and lost no dryads. Are they seriously going to land? Interesting. You could decline the ambush to reroll the map. I'll, I'll just take the, the loss of the unit. It's fine. Use debug because it's not going to change the outcome. It's just going to we can just see where they are. Could you put a twenty minute timer on it? No, because I'm the attacker. If I put a twenty minute timer on it, after twenty minutes I lose. Right. Trust me, if there was some way that I could fight it that wouldn't take us like forty five minutes to just set up some sort of mod, I'd do it. But the order resolve was fine. On. Okay. Well, now's a good time, I suppose, to do a quest battle. Now that, uh, okay. Alright, time to do a quest battle. Let's see, what do we got? Which one should we do first? Which item would be best? Oh, what's his global, what's his bonus for getting that sorted? Control all provinces. Missile strength faction wide. So that's where they put it, because they took it out of this. Right. Which one should we do? Cloak of Isha is good. That'll give him healing. Horn of the Wild Hunt is probably the best for his particular army, and that'll probably be the easiest one. So, Horn of the Wild, let's do that. Do this. Make it easy difficulty for the AR. Well, I've already done it. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's done. Now, if I recall, a Cygor shows up pretty early on. It's been a while since I've done this battle. I think you need to get all three to get the missile bonus. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a set bonus. You got to get all of them. But I was just wondering what it was. These beasts call themselves hunters. Ha! Do they not know they face? Kill the shaman ASAP. Wild riders. Good thing we got Vanguard deploy. Of our army. Ready for the hunt. Hungry for battle. Nuifa. Hunters. Right. Sell the horn. Okay, most of these units are right not down. that tough. Come 
coming, or I need to kill this dude here. Okay, this one's taking too much damage. Let's pull it back. I need to try to get around their flanks a bit more. Ah, right. Corrupted. Oh, God, that's actually really powerful. Come on, I've got to get in there. Okay, these two here need to back off. Taking too much damage. Same thing with this one here. Back off a bit. Come on, Ryan. Go on. I need you to take that fucker out. Put a Saga into the battle. Where? Uh, that's ages away. Don't worry about it. Oh, I, oh no, no! Shit! I didn't realize they come from here. Go, 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 go! Get it out of here. I will. Go! Come on, Orion! Oh, this fucking lord! Really get out. Come on, come on, come on. Need help. This damn corrupter. How much damage is this? It's fucking map wide as well. <laughs> I'm going to have to replace my entire army soon. It's on 30,000 damage. I'm trying to go straight for him. God damn. Imagine not being able to win this fucking battle here. Come on. Kill this damn lord for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm going to replace my entire army already. Ready. I, will crush them. Wild Riders. I think we're going to win, but we're, we're taking a lot of damage. Because, like, Mortis Engine effects are devastating to cavalry. Like, bringing an all cavalry army here is, like, the worst thing we can do. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, we're going to have to replace a bunch of units. Come on, man. You, how many times do I have to tell you to go in it? Fucking hell. Get these other guys out of the way. Alright, I need to get some guys after the, uh, the Saigor there. Well, it's a good thing we're not relying on uh, Orion's army, and we can replace it so quickly, so it's not that big of a deal how much we have to replace here. Come on, get rid of that, for fuck's sake. Almost got rid of it. Hey, you need to heal. Well, I only just recruited her, so if she ends up dead, so be it. I think she's possibly going to die unless I get rid of him in the next few seconds. Comes to all. Come on. Yeah, she, she's going to die. Orion. Wild riders. Holy me. crap. Is this the easiest quest battle for Orion? It would normally be, but I brought the worst possible army I could have for it. Like, an all-cavalry army in this situation here is... Yeah, she's gonna die. It's okay, she's a fresh recruit. Oh, I just killed him! Yeah, Mortis Engine effects are awful for cavalry. I'm mean, not awful, they're really strong against cavalry. So, our army died so quickly, because they're, like, fairly low health. And did you see how- it was a map-wide, um, effect. I tried to get the, um, tried to get Orion to snipe him the entire time, but Orion just wouldn't lock on. Look at this. Well, at least the, uh, Mortis Engine effect stuff's gone. Would an army of Dryads done better? Uh, probably what you want in this sort of army here is, like, a bunch of archers, so that you can snipe the enemy lord. But I feel like they really upped the amount of, uh, Mortis Engine damage in Warhammer 3. Look, we're fine. We won the battle, and look. All of these were fresh recruits. I can just replace them. 
But yeah, this was a lot harder than I thought it was. Not harder, but it was just devastating. He's got it. Because, yeah, the cavalry just did a shit job. There we go. But it's fine. All the damage we took, we can replace it instantly. Well, nearly instantly. This one, that was the first time it entered battle. It sucks that it died, but it's not that big of a deal. Friggin' Mortis Engine, though. It was all the cavern monsters that kept arriving from engaging the target. Yeah, because it was, um, he was stuck in the middle of the units. I kept trying to get in there, but, uh... No, that happens. We're fine. Just back. Is this the quest battle? I remember the decay murdering half my units before they could push, push the Lord. Yeah, that's what happened. It was the mortar sent. Look at this guy. Four hundred and one kills. Those are not tier one cav. No, these are tier three cav, but they have low health. Yet. Oh. Well, we just need to recover. And at least that's done. So we got the uh, Horn of Konos. Hopefully the other battles aren't so punishing on us. And now at least we've got casualty replenishment. So even though that fucked up our army, uh, we should... Our other army should recover a bit faster now. Wait, what? I live to serve Ariel. Right, I'm not in the right region. There we go. Yeah, I see there's a disciplined one there. That would be good for the army for sure, but it's a beast wizard. And what he needs is life. So I'll recruit and disband that one, and if a disciplined life wizard does show up, then I'll recruit it. But until then, just make sure we've got one. Alright, we know that there is a... Oh god, there's a damn quick corruption up. We know that there is a Wood Elf army right there. In ambush stance. There it is. Alright, well, part of the problem here is this all this corruption is a bit of a problem. Yeah. At least we've got more replenishment coming through now, so that's good. I'm gonna get rid of this unit here, it's just out of place. We're pretty comfortable here, otherwise. Alright, I can't go into ambush stance here anymore due to the uh, corruption. Is it getting worse? Yeah. Events. Vampiric corruption. Uh, like, just events corruption. You get in here, you need to locally recruit more of those. And yeah, with the extra 10% replacement, we'll be back up to scratch a bit quicker, but I can't push forward just yet. Not strong enough there. Um, this one's got dryads. So get that going. Getting close to open branches, which should be good. Good, this guy here has achieved his immortality. Good for him. God, that would have been so easy for Orion to beat. If we had attacked it at the beginning of the turn. Oh, 
These are dark times. Alright, I want this guy here to launch the attack because I need open branches. But this is a good spot because we should get some forest health for this. Good. Yeah, that's easy. Alright, you stay here in encamp stance. What are you doing? Triads. Okay, that doesn't belong in your army anymore, and we've seen how shit they are, so I don't want any more. Um, sit in here, and I don't want to recruit any more dryads, but I'm not going to get rid of them. And, uh, oh no, you can't recruit here. Hmm. This guy's recovering. A new one. This guy, I think, has already got the um, this thing that he needs from us. All right, transfer all of these over to this guy because he's not going to be able to use in camp stance, and pick up the tree man, a uh, treekin. Because yeah, we're starting to phase out the uh, the dryads now. All right, this is a bit of a weird situation here because while we could go out in the water and get him. I don't think that would necessarily be a good idea. Another thing is that we could use this army here to... I'm going to the Lord. To go and occupy Lothurn. We'll definitely lose it. Definitely lose it. But somebody will occupy it and then I'll take it off them. Yeah, money is not an issue, so just do that. And then, obviously we don't want to lose you, so I don't think we need these items anymore. And you've already got open branches, that's good. Alright, off you go. Okay, this one doesn't need any more recovery, but I have to stay out here in encamp stance. Don't want to go out in the water, we'll be sitting ducks for all these other guys out here. A discordant song. But we need to recover before we push down. So what I'm hoping happens is like this one comes over here and just like occupies Lothurn. Um, but if just in case they don't, it's only cost a little bit, so just just do that. And we just need a little bit of time to recover out here. Yeah, I got extra replenishment rate in this province. Okay, now over here. What do you need? You come back and recruit dryads. You, here, you, a time to recover after that, and you, not much to here, I don't think Optimus can reach us. No, he can't reach us. Protector of the Oak, Lord of the Forest. What do we need with Orion now? Extra speed would go a long way, I think. Speaking of which, for Orion, we should give him that follower that we got. Not follow- uh, the banner of swiftness, so that he can have super high speed. I do want to come over here and get the White Tower of Hoeth. It'll help 
um, get rid of all of the vampiric corruption, but there's still too many armies over here. Lady of the Glade. So we'll see what happens here over the end turn. If they... How strong is... is um... Oh god, how am I going to find them? <laughs> how strong are the vampire... Oh, he's still really strong. Yeah, we gained... Um, two points from that battle. We are almost there. Yeah, you should transfer more units into this guy, because we'll get more recovery. Gotta get that replenishment rate up. Okay, we're almost at open branches, almost there. Alright, Orion's not going to be at full strength next turn. Lose army. I reckon if it's just that army, Orion could beat it. Is that rank 26? Rank 23? Yeah, I reckon we could beat that. I'd have to work pretty hard. If we have a look at their fast units, we are... We're faster than them. Okay, yeah, we can manage. Still another level up, this one over here. Right, this guy needed to get open branches. Cool, that means more troops. So this one here. Bring him in. Cool. Moving on. Is the goal to go full stake night doomstack for Orion? Yeah. We're just not at that point yet, and I don't want him sitting around with um, lower tier units. So Orion's going to go face off against um, Nakari. Looks like he went to ambush dance. Yeah. Kind of sucks that Lothurn is not a high value settlement anymore. Not too worried about Dark Elves, they can't really do much. Kill the gross pink man? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> oh, not rats. Oh, not nuclear rats. Just when you think things are going to start to calm down. Fucking nuclear rats. Clan Scryer has arrived. Just when I thought things were going to calm down a little bit, fucking Clan Scryer's like, I'm here! If you did this campaign again, knowing what you know now, would you go another route and still move to Ulthuan? Mm, I might have gone to Cathay. Um, I think Ulthuan was not the best decision, necessarily, but it definitely wasn't the worst. Um, Cathay might have been better, just due to the um, lack of endgame crises that uh, show up around there. But then again, there were no endgame crises supposed to show up on Ulthuan. I didn't expect them to come here so quickly. I think that's a big problem. Just they got here so quickly. Yeah, 
Well, I know that Nakari's there. We've hit tier 4, that's nice. Yeah, discipline showed up here. What would you have with me? Good, we'll be fully replenished pretty s next turn. I live to serve area. Yeah, I know Nakari's standing there. Orion! It seems like they backed off a little bit here, but I really don't know what else is down this way. So we could go and occupy the White Tower of Poeth, but I really don't know. This one just sitting here is just waiting I'm for us to leave before it lands. Because it knows that if it lands, it dies. How many armies do I have? 18. How many factions remain? Yeah, that seems like about a hundred. Okay, because we got to keep in mind, if it drops off too much, we'll just have to start paying for our armies again, <laughs> which we don't want. Then at that point, we need fewer armies, but better armies. We're working towards it. Okay, so we've hit tier four, and in 14 turns, we'll hit tier five, which will herald the, well, begin the construction towards tree men. So, I think I might skip Sisters of Thorn and go straight to... To them when the time comes all right what else are we gonna need in here so I haven't got this building here but not really super essential don't need that at all yeah grab that and then probably just leave this one blank so that we've got room for this one since I don't really need... Oh, I could get Way Watchers. Way Watchers. Alright, don't worry about the money building right now. Let's get... Yeah, and just leave that empty. Don't worry about the money building. It's not like we're strapped for cash. The forest calls. Right, if I can reach Nakari, then he might be able to reach me from here. You have orders? Okay, I think what we should do is go into ambush stance here. Have Orion just sit in here, that way we'll fully replenish, bring you back in. Alright, we can reach Noctilus, his army's nothing that special. Set up a trap for Nakari, but over here, Noctilus can now reach us. The question here is whether or not 17 plus 14 units can take on 20 plus 4. We should be able to handle that. Especially if we put another Lord here. What about this dude? Don't make it. Right, bring this guy over here, because he needs to defeat Nakari to get rid of that anyway. And then you come over here in ambush stance, and we'll see if we'll see how that goes there. Okay. Okay. Now, um, Clan Scryer is showing up, so that's just great. I have no idea what's going on down here. There could be so many armies. I just don't know. Skaven. Hmm, hard to say. Highborn. All right. Here's what I think I should do. The Tower of Lycian is not important. Let's allow them to get to the Tower of Lycian, 
Right, so we'll go back over to here in ambush stance. Let them occupy it, and when they occupy it, we'll take it back off. Them. The tower flies here, and it's not important. We need to get the jump on them. So, and then this guy comes back over here, and you can recruit. Cool. But they'll probably look at that and think, oh yeah, easy win, and they'll come over here and uh, get wrecked, hopefully. Um, over here, we are still replenishing. I just need more time to heal. If they keep sending armies up here, so be it. Alright, so this one here. Come around over this way. And I'll put somebody else. So I recruit locally, because Orion's still in the province. And then this one here can recruit globally. I'll give that one another triad. Is it still replenishing? Yes, yeah, replenishing. Um, and this one here can... Actually, no, you know what? This one. Just, just get rid of the dryads. Just get rid of the dryads and replace them with, um, with them. All right, all right, all right, all right. So that's fine. How can I assist you, Azrae? Okay. All right, let's see what happens over the end turn here with Nakari. But yeah, um, it would be good to send Orion up through here and just go and fight out that way for a little bit. What I might do is create a bit of a kill squad here, and then when we've got the Wild Hunt event, I might send them to Cathay. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. Pretty uneventful turn. This one here might also land over this way. That'd be good. But yeah, we don't want to fall into the trap of coming down here, attacking an army that looks like it's easy pickings, and then finding out there's like 20 armies sitting in here, because I just can't see at this point. So having some Waystalkers standing down here and just keeping an eye on for us will allow me to be a little bit more aggressive. But while I just don't have the line of sight, I can't risk it. Because that's how we lost that battle with Orion. I went down there and there was too much. Then in camp stance. I'll still give it a shot next turn anyway. One of the good things about Orion is that his defeat trait sucks. So if I end up giving it to Nakari, no big deal. And because his army's fresh recruits, if I do end up losing it, not a big deal. Is using heroes from that vision just not worth it? It is worth it, absolutely. I gotta get the heroes though. Gotta get the capacity. We're working on it. We're working on it. Don't forget, it's only turn 36. So hopefully they occupy it. Can't see what they did. Thanks seeing trees instead of what actually happened. And you got bushed. Alright, how bad's the order resolve? Pretty good. I'd say just Yep, that looks good to me. And let's take the punishment. Uh, 
So yeah, we can go up there and knock out Noctilus pretty easily, I think. And maybe even start pushing them towards Toran Rock. Although these settlements along there, they're not worth anything, really. Why don't you fight Clan Scry manually so then use the nuke? Because I didn't think to do that. <laughs> I think they occupied it. I think they occupied it. I can test check in that diplomacy though. Yeah, I didn't think to do that. You are a hundred percent correct. Forest Dragon Doomstack win. I'm not opposed to that. We'll see. Got to get to tier five first. Fourteen turns is a long time. Yeah, that's it. Come on, land. Why do they insist on staying out in the water? Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, no. Nukes regen, man. Yeah, but they take a long time to regenerate. So, wasting it on an unimportant battle is a good way to just give yourself a break if a tough battle is going to happen. Alright, so... Time for a tough battle. We're at full strength. We can reach... Oh, I can't reach him. I can reach him if I do something. Alright, it'll cost me a bit of extra money. But if I ruin dwell this... We got some more enemies to declare war on. That just popped up over there. If I ruined well this, worry about the money. Then. Oh yeah, I should have enough movement, although it says my army's stronger than him. Um, I don't know if he'll stand and fight. What a bitch! Ah, oh, I can still reach him. Do you know what would be funny? Oh shit, you might steal one of my units. No. Oh shit, we could auto resolve it. Okay, what do you guys want? Do you guys want auto or manual? I'm gonna, just gonna put a poll down real quick. You guys let me know what you want. You got like one minute. Hang on. I'll let you guys decide. You got one minute to vote. Because, yeah, the auto resolve is fine with me. You got 30 seconds. Check map. Well, it's not an ambush battle, but yeah, I'll check the map. Map's fine. Ten seconds. And time. All right, 62% for manual. That's what it's going to be. Farm him with manual. No, we're only going to get one battle out of him because he's already retreated, so he'll run away. Okay, so in this process here, here's what we're going to do. Our army is inexperienced, and so is his. The units that we should be focusing on first are the fast ones. So Furies, Seekers, um, Chariots. Get rid of them first. Makari's pretty quick. Uh, I'll have to try to... I might have to just remove them from the battlefield. Or hide them. Let me just see. Uh, if I could hide them over here, that'd be good, but I can't deploy there. 
Um, I could run them to the back corner here, because I don't think I'm just I'm just not going to be able to use them in this battle. Too slow. We got 111 speed on Orion, and Nakari has 129 speed. So yeah, if he wants to fight um, him, he totally can. But looking at Nakari, he has no ward save. 9,000 health versus 8,000 health. Okay, I'm going to have Orion stand close to our heroes. So they can provide some support if Nakari wants to go straight for him. Alright, what we want to do here, we're going to set up some units over... No. This is actually kind of a small map. Yeah, it's actually kind of a small map, which is bad for us. Alright, and uh, we'll see how we go. Alright, escort them over to here. With speed. You have my spear. They're taking a defensive that position. Works. Okay, that's stupid of them, but that's fine. Whoa! <laughs> He's moving pretty damn fast. Alright, these ones here are armor piercing, which is not very useful against things with fairly low armor. But yeah, Chaos Chariots of Slanesh, they are pretty easy to take out with cavalry. And this is worth a fair bit of bounce power for them, so good to take that out. Chariot's absolutely shit against cavalry. Alright, with Orion, shoot Nakari. Although it will wake him up a little bit. No, 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 no. Shoot Nakari. Nice charge bonus. Oh, what the hell? Nakari, like, bobbed his head and dodged it. Okay, he's active now. Ryan kept missing. Okay, okay, we, we did well, but we gotta get back. Come on, Ryan. He's fucking huge, you shouldn't have any problem with him. Yeah, take that out. Alright, we barely took any damage, that's good, and we did a good amount of damage to them. The Demonettes then. So far hasn't landed a single hit. Running over here is fine. For the eternal realms. <laughs> what, what is he doing? Arm down ready. Now! Wild riders! Protectors of the forest! What is he doing? Multi-layered sandwich here. But every time they recharge us, we recharge them. Armed and ready. Attack! Forever loyal. Wild riders. Okay, just watch out, Nakari's coming back. Ever ready. Right. Okay, pull out of this engagement. If Nakari comes over here, it's gonna Wild hurt. Okay, Ryan's having a little bit of trouble over there. Alright. That's okay. Swiftly. Wild Riders. Good, those Seekers of Slanesh get wrecked. Watch out, they're coming over here. At speed. Uh, just withdraw them from the battlefield. Don't don't chase after them. Okay, bit of a blob here, which isn't ideal, but they're just in rampage mode. Okay, get these guys around. Let's 
gonna hurt a bit. Some of them back. Charge! It shall be done. Gotta be charging. Always be charging. Hunters! So some of them are rampaged. Yes. Armed and ready! For the eternal realms! Wild Riders! Glory to the eternal realms! Wild Riders! King in the woods! Wild Riders! For Apple Lauren! Okay, this one here is taking too much damage. Get it out of here before it gets wiped out. Don't have to recruit anymore. Wild Riders! Okay, Orion, finish off Makari. Off. We got incoming here. No. Over there. Hunters, withdraw. Your orders at once. By Carnos. And I am Wild Riders. Armed and ready. And there's the army losses. Good stuff. Alright, I don't think any of the units got wiped out, so that's good. That's good. Yeah, run down as many as you can so you get more experience. But yeah, the defeat trait for Nakari is definitely going to be good for Orion. It's probably one of the best ones you can get. Still got Pro Victory though. <laughs> so, not much difference between manual and auto, I suppose. But yeah, the map wasn't great for us because it was really difficult to actually wrap around and flank. This is why I say that cavalry are really shit on small maps, and this was a small map. Because if you're in, in, if you're unable to flank, that's like the main thing that cavalry can do. You know, if the enemy army can stretch from one side of the map to the other, you there's no way to flank them. One of the reasons why cavalry aren't that great in newer Total War games is because the maps are small. This is why they're so good in, like, Medieval 2 and Shogun 2, because the maps are big. Nice big open spaces with varying degrees of terrain allows for cavalry to maneuver around units without hitting the fucking edge of the map. Alright, let's take... Let's take Replenishment. Alright, give me that nice defeat trait. Yeah, we can't ever lose that, so that's good. Master of the wild hunt. You have my spirit. Alright, we want him to replenish, so you come back over here. Orion! You There's a Slanesh corruption. There's no public order here, so no big deal. Um, upgrading this is completely worthless, so just don't even bother. King in the woods. Two levels up for him. So that was a good battle for him. Alright, what does he need? Yeah, extra speed. Get that speed even higher. And it would be good if... Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, the Snesh Corruption there doesn't, doesn't bother me. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Alright, and we need to go and finish off Noctilus over here. He won't be able to run away this time because he has already lost the battle. Cav is King in Attila as well. Yeah, in Attila as well. Yeah, the maps are pretty big in Attila. Yeah. No Lightning Strike to whittle away armies. Well, you don't really need Lightning Strike in Warhammer 3 if you've got access to Ambush Fence, so you just don't really need it. It's just a waste of a few points. Ambush Attack is way better. 
Right, I'm fairly sure the Skaven occupied that settlement. I'm still very low. Uh, so looking at Clan Scryer. Yeah, they occupied it. Okay. That's what we wanted them to do, so I can go over there and smash Your them. Your request is reasonable. What do you need? Lady of the Azra. A few units here and there. Insolence. Rastiad Adelora. Getting close to the Ritual of Rebirth. Oh yeah, another battle in the um, Pathlands was good. Hmm. Right, Tower of Hoeth. I'd wither first. Given the number of armies in the area, I think we can justify occupying it now. Our armies are not in the best of shape. No! This guy here should launch the attack. He's he needs experience. Uh, White Slain did a ten pounds image yet. My high of noble just killed himself getting the influence. I think you have infected me with your bad luck. Oh, you mean he got a wound, dude? They can't actually die from doing that, but yeah, it happens. Yeah, thanks for the super chat. Look, I I feel like um. The way that luck works is that you're lucky if you don't cheese. One of the drawbacks to being a cheeser is that you're cursed with bad luck. So, it's part of the way the trickster gods work. Uh, you're at nicely full strength. Alright, back off. I might actually put you in a camp stand so this guy can come down here. That's dead. I think it is Hearthland, not Hearthland. Uh, look, I don't know how it's pronounced. Hearthland, Heathland, I don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, he's still within range there. Now, by emptying the area here, maybe these two will finally land. Okay, decides the victory. How many units are going to get wiped out? Anything? No. Okay, good. Just auto it. No one wants to see a siege. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Okay, and let's see if they get... Alright, we also lost the global bonus to uh, replenishment. Look at that sure as shit. And over here, let's just get um, the waystone. Because this will give us casualty replenishment plus 10%. Try to heal up a bit. And pick up a Dryad. And have this one here pick up a Dryad. Although, actually, you can stand inside the settlement now. Get more replenishment. Alright. We do want them to land. Get this over with. So, go into Ambush Dance there. And you as well. Go into Ambush Dance. Because what we want to do is just... We want them to see that there's nothing here. Make them overconfident. So you go into ambush dance as well. You local recruit here. Oh, I only get two of them now. And hang on, I think I might get another global recruit slot. Uh, not with that one. This one here. There we go. Good. Extra global recruits. Recruits. Recruits for me. And. Yeah, look at those. Look at that. <laughs> 18 recruits in one turn. That's what I like to see. All right. All right, these guys over here, they can still recruit locally in this area. So... I don't feel the need to expand this way. They're just Beginning mostly defending. The odd army will come down here every now and again. So you stay there, get some replenishment. You're okay, going to ambush dance down here and have this one recruit some more of that. Okay. 
Now, these ones here. You called? Skaven is sitting in there. I think we should sack it. Oh, should we risk it? It's so close to getting immortality. Maybe once you're immortal, I'll, um, I'll risk it. So, I think we should just come down over here and sack it. Going Fury Fair. How are you increasing global recruits not so much? Well, like I was saying before about experience, every character or every lord has access to open branches, global recruit capacity plus one. That's how we're doing it. I definitely don't want to fight this manually. Because <laughs> it's a... Wait, what is it? It'd be a field battle, wouldn't it? They'd have a nuke. Strong army. Yeah. Glade Guard won't do so well. I can't be bothered. I'll just nuke Bye, it. Uh, if I bring the other army down... Maybe I'll have to actually occupy it. Oh man, I can't believe how much damage that order resolve is going to do. I may have to fight this manually. Which means we're probably going to get nuked. How should we deal with this then? I think I'm going to have to fight this manually, or else, yeah, the damage is going to be too severe. Alright, here we go. Do you keep the global recruit slot if you disband the Lord? Yes, you do keep it. As long as the person doesn't die. Yeah, you know what? To that person that said he should have fought that battle manually when they attacked, that's really going to... I really wish I had done that now, because we're going to lose like a couple of units due to a nuke. There's no two ways about it. Unless I can keep an eye on this, and just the moment it starts to come down, get out of the way. Because you only get a couple of seconds. Luckily, these units here are not slow. The other thing is that if we hide... And just use these two to begin with. And as for them, I want you to actually come in when I tell you to come in, or come in from the rear. Alright, let's try to figure this out. Don't shoot just yet. Yeah, we gotta figure out a way. Oh, it's too late. They're already shot. I will comply. At once. Feed Athel Lauren, Lady of Athel Lauren. Ready to hunt. Move back. I think they're gonna shoot at us. Moving fast. Acknowledge. Don't fire at will just yet. Let's see if we can get them to turn back around this way. Good, good, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Okay. I 
Alright, now this unit over here, on this flank, I'm gonna have it come out in about a minute, stand out in the open, and I reckon they'll pop down the nuke on it. That's what I'm hoping for. Meanwhile, we drop these guys around over here. I can switch them back over there at a moment's notice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot the uh, warp lightning cannons. That's good. So when that hits two minutes, their nuke should be ready to go. I don't think they've got any menace belows. I love how they just outright refuse to shoot us. Right, here we go. So this one comes out over here. As soon as they see it, they should be like... Let's drop a nuke on it, especially if I'm standing still. But we've got to keep an eye on it. Yep, there it is. Oh, is that a menace below? It. Fuck, it's a menace below. Move, move, move. No! Didn't realize they were going to do a menace below on this battle. Shit! Shit! They're coming down. Go, 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 go! Run! Alright, honestly... Consider everything considered, that is not that bad. Alright, now switch them back around over here. Bring in them reinforcements. How'd you go against the artillery? You only got rid of two, you gotta get rid of more. Blowing that. Come on, heroes, get over here. Ready and eager. Archers ready. Yeah, that nuke could have been a hell of a lot worse than it actually was. I'm pretty happy with that. Good, we can slow them down with this as well. Almost gotten rid of the war platinum cannons completely. Shooting at us. Time and now should be fine. Okay, get rid of those Giselles over there. Slay them! Oh, rattling guns, rattling guns. Get me out of there. Time to attack. Okay, these guys need to focus fire on specific targets. I gotta get rid of these Giselle, uh, rattling guns, they're doing too much damage.
Bowmen ready! Children of Ethel Lauren! Yours to command. I think we got this. I think the worst of this is over. Cool. Now we'll just spend a bit of time healing our single entities. Yeah. I think that went about as well as it could have. And uh, th that was a pretty high powered army that we took out. Do you think treatment spam is better with Durthu or Draka? Uh, I think it's better with Durthu. Uh, actually, it's better when playing as Draka in Durthu's army, if that makes sense. But Durthu is definitely the tree man man. Draka is best off with Dryads. Okay, this one here is finished healing. Get around. Cool. Decisive victory as well. What turn did he get to the disaster? Turn one. Has Gorst arrived? No, Heinrich Kemmler has arrived. Gorst is not going to arrive here. It's way too far away. He would have to... No, he's just not going to arrive. No, no way. He's way too far away. You know, we're going to see the closer endgame crisis factions first, such as... Um, Clan Scryer... Um, Greenskins should show up at some point. Oh, do you know what would be... Had a, would have been great is if we had the mission to confederate um this is a twilight but hasn't got it yet. i know there's vampire count armies over there so i'm gonna back off i just needed to get rid of that army to get rid of that army. Now we got to get out of here. Force marching to here, we should be safe. That guy's not going to catch us, and this one here is too weak. But yeah, that's why we had to fight the battle manually, so that we didn't get fucked by him. Doesn't have lightning strike. That's good. But she's on a dragon now. Cool. She's so close to immortality. Speed would be good. This one's reaches immortality. That's great. So I can justify giving it some more equipment.
good. And more speed is always good for them. And view. Yep, get that dwells below going. Nice. And you get more health and more stats. Good. Alright, and we're healing at a... not a great rate, but uh, something. Good, more global recruit slots for us. You have aerial yet? I'll be able to get aerial soon. We've just got to do the ritual of rebirth. We're going to be doing that pretty soon. In the next couple of turns. Alright. We're recruiting over here. Yep. Oh, yeah. And now we've got an extra global recruit slot. Look at that. Full army in a single turn through global recruitment. That's what we want to see. Be able to build an army every single turn now. As long as I got money, which I do. Back down this way as well. Yep, you're looking good. How would you like some other stuff? So yeah, Orion will need a couple of turns to recover, and then once he's recovered, maybe we'll do another quest battle because that'll be good for replenishment as well. There's another encounter here. If I do that encounter next turn then we can probably do the ritual of rebirth straight away all right we'll do that yep all right this will give us access to waste stalkers and more global recruit slots I can't recruit any more, <laughs> more lords. Uh, I don't have... No, I'll just have to leave that empty. Because I need one turn global recruit. Okay, over here. It's good. How can I assist you? You need me? Soon I'll be able to get Waystalkers as well. Hopefully I can recruit them in one turn globally. That would be nice, but I'm not 100% sure if I'll be able to. Alright, cool. That's us done for the turn. Let's just double check for any more wars. Nope. And we've still got completely free upkeep costs, but the number of uh, factions out there in the world is reducing, which means um, we could end up in a situation soon where we don't have free armies. So we'll just have to see how that goes. I do con you did a five dollar super chat. I'm gonna immortalize your face into a bunch of NFTs for every battle you lost. Wait, you never lose? Good afternoon. I lose battles. That's up to you. But thanks for super chat. Is your strategy just a turtle to you can produce doom stacks? No, not really. I'm trying to just do whatever I can. I'm pushing back. Um, the more territory I have, the more that I have to lose before they get to Avalon. But Doomstacks will pretty much be required soon if uh, if the number of factions drops down a certain amount. Do you think Greenskins are in a good spot in IE? Yeah, I think they're fine. Greenskins are fine. I think they play pretty well. Why Zami doesn't have upkeep? Uh, because one of Talson's effect is for every war that you're in, your armies will be reducing upkeep cost by 4%. So if, let's just say you're in 20 wars, then that's reduced upkeep cost by 100%. Which we're definitely in 20 odd wars now. I think for the number of armies that we've got, we need to maintain about 30 wars. And I think I'm in about 80 at the moment. So I could I could basically double the number of armies I've got. But once once we start taking upkeep costs, we're gonna to need to switch towards having lots of armies that are shit stacks to fewer armies that are doom stacks. 
25? Yes, 25, whatever. Why are you not building the gates? Why isn't the defense worth it? It doesn't provide any defense. We don't we don't get anything from a gate building. Ah, good. Arguelon and and them are now at war with each other. That's good. God, how many armies does Kemla have? Fewer than me now. What do you believe is the weakest faction in IE right now? I actually don't know. Did they land? No. Need them to actually land. Don't know where the vampire coast one went. Hit tier 3, start getting garrison, I thought. I'll show you. I'll show you. But this is good. If Argwalon is at war with, um, Talson, uh, not Ta um, Talson, with, um, Heinrich Kemmler, that could be good. Unless, uh, unless, of course, Heinrich Kemmler wipes out Argwalon, that's not good. I want Durthu. Keep single settlement, pet factions alive, if you get that at that stage. Yeah, but the problem is other factions are wiping other people out. Nurgle's the weakest. Mm. You could argue Nurgle being the weakest. Yeah, you could argue that. Nurgle is very weak. Dryker, no! Oh well. We can revive her at some point. Alright, so we can see here we're at 94. If we do this, this should be worth 10 points. The hunt calls. Shit, I just realized. I'm in Force Marsh. Make way. Snipe for all missile units, all armies for 5 turns. I'd much rather fight a weaker opponent. <laughs> this, this is not worth it for five turns. If it was permanent, I'd do it. There we go, Ritual of Rebirth time. Let's do it. Enemies muster. Where are they? There's one. There should be three. There's two. And there's number three. Cool. And once that's sorted, that'll be... We still gotta wait eight turns. Once that's done, as long as Orion is not sitting inside of a settlement <laughs> on that eighth turn, we should get Ariel, and Ariel's good. She's a good girl. Alright, we've got extra replenishment coming in through here, that's good. This should be a pretty easy engagement. Okay, yeah, you keep recruiting this. It looks as though they're really trying to come up this way. That one didn't want to land this time either. Lady of the Glade, at your service. Can I offer assistance? I'm under less pressure with these guys, so they'll go and sort this one out. I acquiesce to your request.
Easy. <coughs> Excuse me. More vamps on the way. Yeah, I know. I know. Acolytes of the Keeper. I've got this one over here. Some bitch. There. Easy. Good, take that replenishment. Brass Cleaver, that's good for Dryad and uh, Forest Spirit armies. Uh, okay, and then uh, we've got this one over here. Now, these two units are pretty badly damaged. They'll probably suffer in an auto resolve. Lord of the Asray! That would be good for him. This is alright. Yeah, we'll grab that first. And let's see what else we've got. I thirst for the And then yeah, let's do this. This army here is good for an ambush because we charge straight in right away. Oh, we don't get anyone wiped out. Okay, that's good. Uh, the Legend Gib Zero did a membership for 10 months. Uh, March of the Ents on Ulthwine. Yep, that's right. Thanks to the chat. Uh, membership, dude. Appreciate it. Okay, we can just order that. Nice. Alright, that sorts out the Ritual of Rebirth stuff. But I could use some time to heal. Orders? Yeah, so you just come back over here and heal. And that's good. That's all set up. Uh, yeah, this one's coming down here, just be ready for that. This one, you just come back over here. Alright, so I said I'd show the Phoenix Gate, right? No garrison, no garrison, no garrison, no garrison, no garrison. No garrison. None of it provides any garrison. None of it provides any value. Who cares if there's corruption? There's no public order. Adds walls to the settlement. Who cares? Um, so you have to you have to actually put a proper garrison in there to be able to defend it properly. And I can't be bothered. And yep. All right. While I don't really want to expand down here just yet, I do need to be sitting inside the White Tower Poet with the extra replenishment. Who's the most damaged? This guy here. And staying in this region provides an extra 10%. Although, there's no more Vampiric Corruption, so we can stay here in an ambush dance and see if we can catch him. If anyone wants to come and land over here. <laughs> it's getting a little bit tree man -y over there. Alright, alright, alright. So, yeah, we saw that there were more Clan Scryro armies over here. So, it's, it's going to make it very difficult to advance. Let's have a look at who the strongest faction is. Grimgore. Grimgore's number one at the moment. So, Cathay. Because all we gotta do is like jump over here. And then don't don't fight them. Uh, go and fight a Cathay faction. Assuming there's any Cathay factions out here. We just need one battle. 
they're, they're still around. Uh, if we have a look, we can find out how strong Eshin is. Hopefully they're not too strong. Holy shit! Eshin's getting kicked out. Okay, do you know what we're doing? We're going to the jungles of Cheyenne. Uh, as soon as I can. So I just need a few more armies. Or should I just go there now with what we've got? Okay, here's what we do. We'll go there next turn, because we need some movement to get here. And we'll tell this one here to basically fuck off. Wait, 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 wait. Right, it has to be within a magical forest region. We're going to the mountain, uh, the, we're going to Cathay. Next turn, if all goes well. I'm going to send a whole bunch of tree kin. I wanted to send tree men, but I'll settle for this. Got a bunch of armies over here. This should basically tell this one to go away. We're gonna go as well. Also, the um, the landmark at the. Uh, Cathayan one is really good. Of course, it'll take a little while to get that sorted, but that's okay. That is okay. Alright. So yeah, with um, with them seeing all these armies here, this one will probably just hightail it out of there. But yeah, we've got the uh, the hunters on for two more turns. We get over there next turn. Don't attack the, uh, the jungle. Because, like, why would we want to lower the settlement level down? It might be tier 5. Let me have a look. It's not. It's not. It's only looks, it looks like it's at tier 3. Possibly even tier 2. Well, whatever. If I take it, it'll go down to tier 1. So, yeah. It'll weaken our position over here a little bit, which is why we want to sort of intimidate this one to go away. Alright, now, over here... We know that there's a whole bunch of Skaven on the way. Whatever they're recruiting here, it'll be garbage. Oh, they got another nuke! <laughs> oh, damn it! Oh, we... Yeah, they got... Yeah, they got another nuke. Whatever. Just go into Ambush Dance over here. You can stay inside the settlement and recruit this turn. But yeah, I'm excited to finally get out of Avalon and do some fighting elsewhere. So yeah, we'll see if the Skaven want to push up this way, but I saw there was a lot of armies over here, so I just wasn't keen on fighting all of that. Of Athel Alright, going to ambush chance. Don't push out this way, especially since we're about to leave, because it's going to make things more difficult. The forest has spoken. Alright, we can now get Waystalkers. So, we'll recruit two waystalkers and set sail down here to just scout ahead for us. Yeah. Don't worry about their traits. The forest is whispering. Watch it. And that way, Defending I'll at least know what's going on and I'll feel more confident launching attacks out that way. Once they come down here. Because uh, this is somewhat unknown. Does perceptive trait stack? I uh, would assume so, but I'm not sure. It's not important enough for me to care to check. Nice. It's coming along nicely there. Get some time to recover, and... Let's 
move on. All right, do I have any more enemies to declare war on? Yes, I do. We have the Western provinces, who for I just discovered. For what reason am I disturbed for my experimentation? Add a couple more over to here. And let's go. Let me just double check that, actually. Yeah, that was it. So they're worth the high as well. Fine. So this campaign gets harder the more factions you defeat? No. No, dude. I, I, look, here's the thing. If it got to the point where there were only like 20 factions left, I wouldn't need as many armies. But yeah, it wouldn't be the worst thing ever to have a protected faction, just like as a sack city, just left under siege or whatever, just to preserve. The thing is, if you're using an army to keep it safe, then you might as well get rid of the army, because for each war it's 4%. For each armory it's 4%, so... Oh no. Can you send all the armies the same turn? Yep, I can send as many armies as I want, because it reduces the cooldown by 10 turns. We can actually... Uh, teleport multiple times in a single turn with a single army. Caravan of Blue Roses isn't overly strong as well, so if they are starting to become dominant in Cathay, it shouldn't be that big of a deal for us to hold them back. But it, it's good that Clan Eshin is getting kicked out. I'm actually very surprised that Cathay actually managed to defeat them. Funny thing here is that that fucking greenskin is still alive, right? If I defeat a greenskin army three times, I'll be able to confederate Daith. I believe he's still alive. Yeah, he's still there. Victor Ostrin did a 15 shekel super chat. Leaving a few factions with nothing but gate settlement is a good idea. Maybe, but I believe that they can actually um, occupy. They can actually recruit from a gate. But thanks, super chat. I have seen factions do that. Okay, the army upkeep is because of the heroes. Alright, they they weren't deterred. But I have enough troops here that I should be able to repel them if they... Alright, hang on, let's just sail out this way. Plus, if we have a look here, he can't properly reach the guy in Vale anyway. Giving us time to recruit more. All right, did somebody say we want a trip to China? Let's go. Let's have a trip to China. Off we go. Hang on, let's have a quick look in Athel Law and see what's going on over here. We haven't seen here in a little while. Hmm. 
Is Corone still alive? I hope they are. Yeah, they're still alive. Barely. Mm. I could retake the Oak of Ages. It's only... Oh, it must keep getting sacked. According to this, it looks like it's tier 2. Yeah, that's tier 2. Damn. I don't think we're ready to come back here yet. We need proper doom stacks. We're not ready for that. Okay, over to here. Alright, they had a few more troops here than I thought they would. What's this? Could that potentially be Cathay? That one there might be Cathay, that, which will allow me to confederate them straight away. There's also Cathay over here, who I believe we just met them. No. Hmm. Alright, we'll use two armies for that forest encounter. That should be more than enough. I've never fought that forest encounter before. I feel like this is Cathay. It says Lizardmen? No, no, no. The region is Lizardmen. Oh, uh, no. It is, uh... Zinchian. Hang on. It's demons. We should really do this later. I didn't know. Now I know at least. Yeah, the reason why it said defense is a great plan is because that's the region. They own it. We're at war with them. Yeah, we are. They're not going to attack us. Okay, we're going to send the other armies over here. And all we're going to do is win one battle against Cathay. So I'll, I'll swing my, my way around over to go fight them. Four armies fighting together. Buddies forever. Alright, come on. Off you go. So, it would have been nice if we had just popped down over here. So, I could have gone down this way. But, I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to swing around here. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to go to Terra Vashong and then come down this way. If we have a look here, they're at tier three. Yeah, so that would be better if we could just confederate it at tier three as opposed to having to capturing it and um, pushing it down to tier two. That would not be good. Norska encountered. I am already at war with everyone. Okay. Yeah, a lot of stuff over here. Alright, um, well, I'm gonna need you to come over here and deposit these units. Yeah, look, gotta love it. <laughs> That's fucking insane. Arbis can be asked. Okay, good. Over here, keep getting more dryads. Yep. Okay, what are we doing with Orion this turn? The hunter. I got like nothing. To serve Ariel. 
I kind of feel as though um, Orion should be trying to do the quest battles, so why don't we just recover for another turn? That way I'll be at full strength, and I'll do the quest battle. I could go to Toranlek. I may have to fight it manually, though. They've got nine units, probably sitting in the Shrine of Cain. Could we go to the Shrine of Kurnos? Don't really want to go around this way, because it'll, um... Mean we'll encounter more vampires, where this way here... No real endgame crisis, apart from dwarfs, and they're not going to be a problem. Um... Yeah, let's go to Toranlek. Uh, there's an army there. This will fail. No. Uh, I think I can beat it. I don't think I'll be able to auto resolve it. Oh, I can. And auto resolve. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Let's have a look at this map here. Do we have dwellers below on this one yet? I do. Okay. Alright, I think I can win it. I think I can win it. Um, probably gonna take a lot of damage, but I think I can win it. Get Sword of Cain. I don't like the Sword of Cain. I don't like it. Is there any way to increase local recruit capacity for Wood Elves? Not really. No, they get their, of their um, stuff through Global. That's how they do it. There's, I think there's some technologies that'll increase it by one or two, but nothing major. You, you're not going to recruit much locally. You don't want the sword, but does the sword shrine building bring something useful? Yeah, we'll build the shrine building, for sure. I think it gives us global bonus to post-battle loot. Which is good. Since that's pretty much how we make most of our money. So, this is what I reckon we do. We use Dwellers Below. Do I have one point or two points into it? One point. We use Dwellers Below from over here. Just, like, wreck their army. Put these ones here. The ones that are damaged. Should try to stay out of it. Hungry for battle! And then when we've killed, like, a sufficient number of them, these guys charge in over here and just start capping points like crazy. Swiftly. With speed. Orion. Because, yeah, with uh, 100 Winds of Magic, we can... Oh, I should put this one in here for the Winds of Magic battery. It's like an arcane conduit. Alright, let's have a look here. And like I said, just try to kill off as many of them as possible. They don't really try that hard to dodge Dwellers Below. Another reason that makes it so good is because the AI is just... They'll like dodge it after it's cast. By that point, it's just too late. Like, that one cast there... It, this is already done its work. Look, look at the fucking damage on that. And people are like, Heart of Winter, it's really good. But Ice Magic, man. Overcast at a Heart of, Heart of Winter can't do that. So yeah, we just use this to thin them out a little bit. Shit, watch out. Alright, we've already used up enough magic that we can't do it again. Let's come back over here just for a moment. If I put her in here, she'll act as a Winds of Magic battery. Blessing of the Ancients. So that... wait. Yeah, there we go. We've got two of it. This will just generate the magic a bit quicker. Bring it back. Heart of Winter, way too expensive. It is way too expensive, and it takes ages to begin casting. AI usually moves out of the way eventually. Let's cast that. 
Not the best cast, but taking out some of their best units. shooting you're just wasting your bullets all right so I've used up about half of our wins I've done 30,000 damage already I can't pass from that range Okay, I need them to to reorganize a little bit better. So that I can hit more of them. Yep, that's it. Nice. Hit the shades as well as the uh, dark shards there. Nice. Okay, bit. okay, let's get Orion up in here. See if we can get some units to clump around him. Because it didn't, didn't look like the shades were shooting at him. So if we can get some of them to clump up, that could be really good. Before I dwells below. Now, luckily, they'll only build tier 1 towers around the place at the moment. So we don't have to worry about rushing in here right away. Does the infinite... Rat cast range to work. Apparently it does, but um, I actually don't know how to do it anymore. But some people say that it does still work. I, it's a different method, I just don't know what it is. Okay, Orion. Just don't get shot too much. Yeah, they're seemingly just refusing to shoot him, which is good. Oh yeah, look at him go. <laughs> Smashes. Smash that bitch. Imagine the scourge of Kane existing this long into a campaign because Avalon got wiped out by me. Come on, kill it. Good. They're just refusing to um, to shoot at him. Okay, well, whatever. He's just getting loads of free kills then. Yeah, get out. Get out of here. I, I own this settlement now. Get the fuck out of here, you stupid drinky bitch. Get out of here. Hellflayers should be easy to beat. They're anti-infantry. And he's anti-large. Go for it. Come on. Hit him. There we go. Good, and because they're demonic, they disintegrate instead of routing. Good. This is going really well. Can't put Orion up on the wall.
Guess I could heal him. He means he's racking up good kills. If I can't get good dwells below, well, I can get some healing at least. You know, Ryan's got a good number of health, so a dwellers, a um, a heal is definitely not going to waste. Uh, that was a bit of a waste. Oh well, no big deal. Because yeah, while we're in this area here, we're not really getting shot that much. Plan was to blob them up. Yeah, but they refused to blob up, though. They're just refusing to. Oh, those are Chaos Warriors. <laughs> Kernos gets its revenge. Down. At least we get rid of these spears. Wonder how close we are to the army losses, and even if I should bring in my other forces. I'm not sure if I even need to. I think most of the enemy forces are gone now. If I could just get these ones here to shatter. They've broken a couple of times now. So once they're on their third time, they'll shatter. Which will really hurt their bounce of power. Also notice, Orion just doesn't fire while moving, even though it says that he does. He just ab absolutely refuses. I'm gonna fire at will. So won't do it. Okay, move up here for the last dwellers below. Okay, I've got enough um, magic for one more heal. And then that's it. Oh, they're shooting at him. Get him out. Oh, look at this, they got dude standing outside there. Alright, we should be really close to the army losses. This is why I try to order resolve these sieges. They're just such a uninteresting situation. Oh great. The gate's open, but he has to bash the gate down. Or or cap it. If I cap this <laughs> I couldn't can't uh, get out until I've uh Actually captured it. Doesn't matter if the gate's open or not. Get out of here, tricky bitch. And that's it. Get out of here. Although a shattered unit can just um walk right through even though they hadn't got it captured. What a lot of bullshit. Might as well shoot at them, got ammo. Alright, really doesn't seem like there's much left. Problem is they got some Chaos Warriors over here, which would be worth a fair bit of bounce power, but they refuse to take it off the wall.
dark shots worth more bounce of power and they're easier to kill. Uh, I've got Talon of Kurnos, I might be able to use that. Good, more units are shattering. Things I don't want to bring in the cavalry because I want to do a quest battle next turn. And if I even just bring them in for a few seconds, I know they're going to get slaughtered by towers. But then again, Orion's sort of getting a bit exhausted. I might have to do it. Alright, let's, let's get on with it. I was hoping Orion can do the whole battle himself, but... Wait, I think we just did. <laughs> there we go. We actually did it. Cool. You had any issue with Glade Guard not shooting on fire at will? Yeah, I ha I've had some problems with them. I want to I wanna phase out my Glade Guards because of it. They, are, they actually really perform badly for me in this campaign so far. Sometimes they just sit there staring at the enemy for ages and they just won't shoot. If you go to the archway of the gate, no nearby opening, you get infinite range. Okay, I'll, tr I'll try that next time we'll see how that goes all right so hopefully orion will heal in one turn just occupy it whatever. i didn't have enough um movement to stack and occupy it because we need to stay here so that we can get replenishment all right all right quest battle next turn we'll lose a little bit of magic but that'll be okay my thirst for the hunt Good. Good, extra replenishment as well. Good, that should get us pretty much to full strength. And good. Dwellers below. Really, really good. And it's on a unicorn now. That's good. Alright, what else do we need to do? Yeah, don't go to this one. Alright, this one here. An affront to Orion. Yeah, we should just send, I think, two armies should be enough to order that. Go stay near your own forest. Yeah, it's fine. We're under less pressure up in the north, so a bit, a few casualties there shouldn't be a problem to deal with. Getting the Sword of Cain or not worth it? I don't like the Sword of Cain. Um, I think making your um, your one character stronger is not worth the penalties inflicted on you. And it, it's more of a meme than anything else. It's I just don't like it. Alright, so... How have we gone for recovery out here? I haven't fully recovered. We'll just stay here in ambush dance, and we'll see if they push forward. At the end of the day here now, we don't need to conquer more of Ulthwan, because we're going to start conquering China. 
Same thing over here. Just stay in ambush stance. If anyone comes up here, fine. Got full health though. But oh yeah, that's right. We've got these ones coming down here, which will help us see what's going on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Alright, they've already moved anyway. Alright, we're globally recruiting as much as we can. Almost. Okay. It's fine. Stay put there. All right, uh, let's let's move on. How are um, the uh, green skins out here doing? Let's have a look. G G G G G G. Green skins. Oh, broken axe is getting its ass whooped. Hmm. Oh, good. Good. Maybe I should come back over here soon. Maybe. Okay, moving on. Whatever, we're in... We're in um, hang on, I didn't check to see if there was more war decorations. There isn't. Okay, good. So what I'm hoping here is that those vampire accounts keep pushing over there and get wrecked. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to push down here. I know there's a lot out this way. Although the vampiric corruption in that area is kind of benefiting us because they're taking corruption damage. Did you lost Oak? We lost Oak straight away. The end game crisis, we bailed away from it straight away. Yes, 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 yes. No! Good. Alright. Shouldn't be suffering any serious casualties. No. Good. Everyone gets to participate. See ya. Good. And we'll get replenishment. Won't affect that army, but it'll affect the others. Good. Kill it next turn. Did I just see Ursin revive us alive? Yeah, definitely it's, it's not even turned 40 yet, I think. So. It's just that a lot's happened in a short spirit space of time due to the game setting. Uh, kind of annoying they're getting away, but at least we got a battle out of it, so they're getting the experience. Uh, we can see the Skaven are going to be on their way. Uh, it might be a good idea to actually go and attack them. I was hoping they're going to attack the Vampire Coast. So yeah, 
we'll make our way over to the Shrine of Cain, but on the way, we will uh, do a quest battle. Which quest battle should we do next? I'll probably just do them in order. So that means if we want to leave, well, we can't now. We're stuck out here. Do or die. What are we doing? Okay, if I jump in the underway, there is a chance I'll get intercepted. But if we do this, we'll, we'll get that done quicker. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could get intercepted by, by that army. I might be able to beat it. It's only rank 5. Because the sooner we take that settlement, the sooner we confederate them. None of these guys have ever seen... Oh, hang on. Few of these guys have ever seen... Where was this? Yeah, I wish we find. Alright. This, this may not be the best call ever. But I'm gonna do it. Okay, one. <laughs> please, please don't intercept me. Just let me go. Three out of four, and good. Okay, next turn we hit Wiley Village, and then they become mine. Because I should still have that mission, right? Win battle against Grand Cathay. Nice. Grand Cathay. Isn't that a bit up yourself? Why don't they call themselves pretty okay at Cathay? What do you mean Grand Cathay? <laughs> Alright. Good, we're pretty much at full strength. Alright, quest battles. Let's see which one is next. So in terms of levels up, the Cloak of Isha is for at rank 12. That one fucked us up, but that was due to circumstance, not necessarily the strength of their army. The Cloak of Isha will be good for him because when he drops below 25% health, health, he can just regenerate on his own and give himself extra ward save. So that means keeping him, keeping him at low health can actually be quite beneficial for him. Extra melee defense. Um, magical attacks could be useful. Alright, I'm going to do the battle for Isha. Cloak of Isha. And this is going to help our replenishment rate for two turns, which is nice. Okay, I remember this battle. Just rush at them, I think. Wait, don't these guys, like, become Chaos Spawn shortly after the battle begins? Nah, who cares. <laughs> Pretty okay, <laughs> Yeah. Because they've got so many missile units, our cavalry should be pretty good against this. Does forest health accumulate when the AI owns the forest, but you own the surrounding areas, or do you start from zero once you get the forest settlement? Um, you can increase the the forest growth if you don't own it, I think. I'm not sure. This naive and foolish Glade Lord has allowed his life <coughs> to be poisoned by the Prince of Pleasure. The Dreaming Woods are a forbidden place of great malice and deception. And in his folly, our erstwhile brother has been twisted by the dark deeds within him. There can be no further mercy. As I am born from Kurnos spirit, 
so shall these dark servants be purged by it. Let them face the rage of the forest! Okay, so we got Vanguard deployment for the most part. Keep these back for now because they're just, um, actually you're fast, you can stay with this. Drums! Ready to rise! For Apple Lauren! We grow greatness! Wild Riders! Okay, ready, city. And go. Yes. Good. The wall. Ride them down. With speed. Smash them. Swift. Hunters. Swiftly. Annihilate all. Captain repositioning. For Kane. So what I did with that there was like feign the charge into the center so their spearmen didn't um, really react to it very well. King in the woods. I am reborn. Go! Ride! The hunt begins! Wild Riders! Orion! Kynos is in me! Wild Riders! Kronos is in him. Man, that is gay. Hunters! Now! Orion! Should have used that actually. Deepwood Cavalry! By Kronos! For Apple Lauren! Very well! Wild Riders! Them more than will hurt me, but no. Wild Riders for the Eternal Realms. Hungry for battle, Yurifa. Wild Riders. Did they turn to Kalespore? Let's be mistaken. Yeah, the spearmen were always going to be the biggest problem. Uh, but I don't want to hit them with my own ears. Let's, let's bring you over here. Maybe we should have done that from the start. And um, just do some heals. How are the Wild Riders treating you? Uh, they're okay. They're okay. N nothing spectacular, but they're okay. Oh, right. The entire army is unbreakable. Some of these units are unbreakable. Gift of Slanesh. Oh, there we, there we go. Yeah. They will turn into a Chaos Spawn when their health... Yeah, I don't know when they're gonna do it. Awaiting orders. With haste. I have no idea. Deep word cavalry. Oh, there we go. There's quite a few chaos born. Is this quest battle bugged? Kind of looks like it might be. Because there's no, like, missions up here. Oh, 
far as I'm concerned, they're done. Uh, we'll see. Did we win? There's nothing left. Good. It's not bug. Good, we didn't take too much damage there either, so we can keep pushing forward. It's a game one quest, it might not have objectives like that. Yeah, I just don't know, because ever since the Sunfang quest, I've been skeptical about some of these. Yeah, let's get the replenishment. We want to stay nice and healthy. This army feels a lot better than the Glade Rider one that we had, so definitely feels better. Alright, what did that replace on him? Is that a talisman? That is a talisman, which means he lost the ward save one. Uh, but the cloak of Isha is... Is pretty good. Still. It's not... I don't know. It's not, it's not as good as the talisman of preservation, but I can always give that to somebody else. I will grant your request. Good. We'll replenish pretty quick. And... Yeah, let's get to the Shrine of Cain. Away I go. Oh, stay in ambush, dance. My will is yours. Get there next. Oh, 17. Short oh. At least it's not a walled settlement. Should be fine. Um, LF Graves did a five years of a chat. Uh, best thing about playing Worm 1 Lord deployment before quest battles. No idea why they changed that. Yeah, I know. That was, I don't know why they did that either. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. Okay, that looks good. Keep getting me them levels. Definitely don't need to stimulate growth. Good. Alright, we got a whole bunch of Skaven coming down here. And they're on Force March at the moment, so it presents a really good opportunity. Uh, Sans Pure 91 did a 2 little super chat. Who's more powerful than Wormer 3? High Elves, Dark Elves, or Wood Elves? I would have to say High Elves are the most powerful. Then the Dark Elves, and then the Wood Elves. However, I would say that in terms of fun, it goes Wood Elves, High Elves, Dark Elves. Alright, here we go. We need to... Bad plan, the forest has spoken. Alright, I'll give you that talisman of preservation, just don't lose it. You, This one here can lose it. I'm not going to use ambush attack because I want to hit all the armies in this area and then just get out of this province. Look at this one here. Recovered. Raise the dead. Uh, okay, how bad is it? Mm, that's pretty bad. Oh, fuck's sake, I don't want to fight it.
<laughs> Let's back up. I'm pretty sure I've still got movement. I think we're going to have to occupy the settlement. At your service. To arms! Okay, only two units get wiped out. I'll take it. Yeah, bit of damage, but we're okay there. Oof. Lady of the Azrae. Like how I can't select them. Right, I need to just do a little bit of scouting before. Following your orders. Gladly. Did we lose our campaign? You no, no, we did. All right, there's not that much in the area here, so we should be okay to occupy this one here. It it did raise the dead, but it raised a lot of garbage. All hail, Colonel. What do you need? How many armies are present there? Two. None shall live. Salutem. Sagris. Hrok Ardis. By Kernos. Whatever, I'll take it. Clears out a hell of a lot of Skaven, and it's only Dryads. They're easy to replace. Uh, one thing I didn't take into consideration, though, is that this guy here Do might use Lightning Strike. And I can't reach him now. I refuse. Yeah, don't stand in force march because he might use lightning strike. And if you use lightning strike, we're just gonna have to grind it down. Orders? Doesn't seem like they've got other uh, oh my god, pestilence is here too. No, Well, we'll find out if what I did was a mistake or not. Hopefully that guy just runs away. Okay, what do we need from you? Some more ammunition could definitely come in handy, and... Yeah. That's really good. Okay, good. Alright, take all the items off these tree men because they may very well lose battles over this turn here. Okay, hang on a second, hang on a second. No. Hang on a sec. Um. What is this foolishness? I can force march these guys oh, back up this way, and he won't be able to get past Tower of Lycian. These are dark times. These two here are immortal. This army would not perform great Such against it, but we could heal those units before the fighting begins. How can I assist you? Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm gonna i I'm gonna force march them back over here. That's gonna leave that lord on her own. 
But it's going to make it so that one can't get there. I could recruit another lord. Or the tree lord, but I'll... I'm going to risk it. I think she can handle it. She's a little bit damaged, but I think she can handle it. And, we, yeah, going to get replenishment there. Lady of the Glade, and... You come over to here and recruit another Dryad. Your farm beat needs some time to recover. Okay, how about you come down over here? We could probably use a bit of help if we're going to push. Same thing with you. Come down over here. Might need to help push. Oh, we can get Zerts now. We get, oh no, Zerts take three turns to recruit. No, not good enough. No, we need, we need to be spamming out units, and I don't really care that much for Zerts. Okay, this one over here, recruiting Dryads. Cool. Right, we are at full health here, but we can see that there's a shit ton of crap over here. To stay here in ambush tents, they might land here, at which point we got them. Um, so we just gotta lure them into traps. Okay. A little bit risky there with that one. Alright, we got loads of recruits coming in there. And how are we going in cafe? Did we already, we should already move? Let me have a quick look. A Zerts Doomstack material? Uh, you could potentially do it, but I didn't like them. Mr. M... Uh, Mr. Mr. Did I attend on Zoom chat? Hey, Legend. I'm new to Total War in general. I've been playing a bit of 3 on Game Pass, and I got 2 off Twitch Prime. Which is better for learning the game? Well, this might come as a surprise for you, but playing Warhammer 2 is better for learning how to play Warhammer 2, and playing Warhammer 3 is better for learning to play Warhammer 3. <laughs> uh, both games have a lot of similarities. Um, look... My recommendation at this point in time is if, you, if you're completely new to Total War, play Warhammer 2. Okay? It's a better game. Warhammer 3 will eventually get there, but um, pro you're probably looking at about 6 months. So if you're completely new to Total War, start with Warhammer 2. It, it's, it's a lot more polished. Warhammer 3 is a bit, a bit wonky at the moment. Alright, I think I've done everything that I can here. This one's looking good. Yeah, we can now get Sisters of the Thorn, which I don't know if I'm going to do anything with that. Alright, let's move on. But, you could, if you've got both games, you could try both games, see which one you enjoy, because maybe you'll enjoy three more than two. I don't really care if they take Toran, like, back. But when I say Warhammer 2, I do mean Mortal Empires, not Vortex Campaign. So it goes like this. Um, Vortex Campaign is better than Realm of Chaos. So base base game Warhammer 3. But Mortal Empires, so that's Warhammer 1 and 2, is better than Vortex Campaign. And Immortal Empires, which is what I'm playing, is better than Vortex, but not better than Mortal Empires. And Warhammer 1, you should only buy it because it's DLC, but don't play Warhammer 1. Warhammer 1 sucks. Oh no. I think I may have actually goofed. I think I may have just gotten those ones killed. Because this one might be able to force march over here. God, that, that area for me is cursed. She's got the Talisman of Preservation. I'll see what I can do. But if they bring both armies over here, I don't think I can beat them. Uh, 
I didn't see that other vampire account army. I wouldn't have occupied it if I had seen it. All right, let's see what happens here. Are they going to do it or are they going to back off? Typically speaking, they usually make attacks first. But let's see. Please. Let's see. I just need more polish. Totally agree. Totally agree. Just needs more polish. It'll get there, but it's just not there right now. Like, if, you've pl if you're a veteran of Total War, then you're probably playing Wormer 3. That's fine. But if you're completely new to it... Okay, they're backing off. That was lucky. Yeah, we need to back off as well. Okay, that army was mostly full of trash anyway, so it's all good. I was really worried there for a second. Grimgore has the same strength ranking as you. Yeah, Grimgore is very strong. He confederated Azag. Why is Mortal Empires better than Immortal? Not by like a ridiculous degree, but the, the pacing is better. Um, the mechanics in general are better. There's some quality of life improvements in Warhammer 3, for sure. But there's also a lot of downgrades in Warhammer 3. There's a lot of things that are just wonky and just don't work very well. But it's always going to come down to this. Some people are going to prefer Warhammer 3 and some people are going to prefer Warhammer 2. Don't take my word for it, just, just make your own fucking decisions. Thank you. My Warhammer 1 sucks. But it's, it's completely outdated. Everything in Warhammer 2 is better than Warhammer 1. So there's just no reason to play Warhammer 1 at all. I don't care if they take Toran Lake. Do you think eventually Warhammer 3 will get better? Yes, of course. It's just not there right now. Not quite. It's close. It's not there right now. Can I right Dirthu win? I can't. I don't have the mission for it. Good, we can get some more spell singers. Proud daughter of All right, Apple this Lord. is not something that looks like I want to stick around for. <laughs> no mm. need my warp token stash. How are they going in here? Oh no! Oh no! Arguilon, not Arguilon, um, they need my help. Alright, I need to have a look at this. Dwarfs. Clan Angwin's not that strong. Alright, they're not at war with Arguilon, so I guess it doesn't really matter if these two both get wiped out. Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's getting constantly sacked. No new enemies. But yeah, the dwarves are invading Atheloran. However... Look at what I found. I get to inherit the jungles of Cheyenne. Yeah, just don't bring in the others. This will be fine. Because I'm going to send them elsewhere. Oh, it gets rid of their armies. What? 
did they do that? It deleted their fucking armies. Alright. Alright, well, we're here now. So, what do we want to get? Let's get this to tier 4. Let's get this to tier 3. Let's get... Yep. Yep. Nope. Yep, 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 yep. Is there anything I'm missing? Let me have a look. So this one here will reduce upkeep costs for forest spirits, which doesn't really matter that much. Recruit rank for forest spirit and flying monster units, really good. Yeah, this is so good, this one. Uh, what are we doing here, though? So we got all those, that's good. Oh, we don't have Spellsinger building. What else? Well, we're not going to build that here. So there's still room for it, we just need to get to tier 4 and tier 5. And we already increased the capacity for Spellsinger, so that's fine. Yeah, it takes a little while to get the, uh, the settlements. Let's have a look at what we should build with, um, with the, uh, with the ambo, because we're going to get some soon. So we can get reduced construction time, um, missile resistance, that could be good. Uh, ammunition, yeah. Growth, recruitment duration, that could be good. Hmm. There's some okay stuff in there. Alright, let's have a look at how strong Nakai is. Whether or not we... Well, I do need to go down that way, but I just need to have a quick look. Oh, look at all the green skins. They're all smashed apart from Grimgore. Uh, lizards. Defense is a great plan. Okay, they're not that big of a deal. If we encounter them, that shouldn't be a problem. What I think we'll do is send uh, two armies down there. So yeah, we'll go two armies this way, and two armies this way. Yep, that makes sense to me. Then it's salt. Uh, do we need to do anything here? This will allow me to globally recruit here really quickly. I think I'll just, uh, just locally recruit triads. Because I need the global recruits elsewhere. This is fine. Uh, we could also go and do that. That'll provide us with... Um, some forest health. Okay. Spell a building, I suppose, can go there. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, how long have we got on this? Five more turns. Okay, we could either do the Shrine of Cain, or we could do another quest battle. I'm going to do the Shrine of Cain. Come on, auto. Auto, auto. I don't want to... Okay, let's have a look here. No need to get wiped out. Good, I don't want to fight a... I hate this map. Let me just check it. I've always hated this map. Although, oh, it's a minor city battle. Nah, no, <laughs> no thanks. We got high replenishment. Yeah, we'll be fine as long as Nakari doesn't come down this way. Um, sack and occupy it. Dry can get one turn treatment. Yeah, she can. Good. Extra hit points for him. That's good. I thirst for the hunt. Lord of the forest. So we can build this. What does it provide us with? Income from post-battle loot, 15%. It takes 15 turns to build. Recruitment rank all provinces. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So I will build it. How much does it cost? It doesn't cost that much, but I don't expect to hold it. If we hold it for 15 turns, great. If we don't, I don't care either. God King of the Deep Wood. That'd be really handy. Looking good, looking good, looking good. By the way, just a bit of feedback. How are you guys liking this campaign so far? You enjoying it? Or are you like, eh, start something new, it's too easy? <laughs> Alright, um. 
Yeah, yeah let's get it back over here. Alright, since these armies here are so badly damaged, they're not going to be coming back for a while. Let's send them to White Forest Hall and start using the, the new tree. Yeah, bring this one in. I'll bring this one in. That way we're replenishing about as much as we can there. Alright. Noctilus is still just circling the drain trying to find some way to get at me, but I'm not giving him any ground. I think we need to... I think in five turns we should um, go back to Athel Lauren. I, I, need to, I need to stop this. Well, I'll send an expedition to try to stop him. So yeah, in five turns, four turns, we're going back to Athel Lauren. But I'll have, in four turns, I'll have four more full stacks. So that'd be good. No, I'm surrounded by fools. Bring it in. Yep, just keep getting more lords for now. And if we end up failing, then easy come, easy go, because it's um, fairly easy and cheap to recruit these full stacks. It's just not a problem. Alright, cool. So we've already got three stacks here, but we always need to make sure we've got some forces remaining so that we don't lose the guy in Vale, because I got rid of the defensive buildings. Didn't really need it. Yeah, keep recruiting here as well. And we're not, uh, yeah, we're not bloated in terms of our upkeep. All right. Defender of Trading yeah, just using these guys Gun. to keep an eye out for um, what's going on. So from here, if we just going for yeah, keep them in these spots. Guarding. I'll know when to actually make an advancement. I definitely want to get the Shrine of the Syrian back, but look, if we just maintain the status quo here, then that's good enough. Protector of the Oak. But yeah, it's time to expand in Cathay. In three turns, we can locally recruit Treekin here. can do Dryads now, but I think we need... I'm just going to go straight to Treekin, so I'll wait. Oh, you know what? No, you know what? I shouldn't be lazy. We should put somebody in here. Alright, put someone in here and help protect the settlement. Okay. Get our global recruit slots up as well. Is Vlad or Isabella a better hero in your opinion? Mm, I think it doesn't really matter. Kind of like asking what's better, salt or pepper. Uh, yeah, look, just whichever one you prefer. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I would usually pick Vlad as my starting lord because of campaign movement range. Campaign movement range for all characters is one of the most um, valuable things you can get. Alright, getting Kadai will really help out our Winds of Magic. Uh, what are some other things we could potentially do? Reducing construction cost for, for buildings is not a big deal. We've got so much money, it's just not a problem. But yeah, if we have a look at other things that we can get. Um, gain additional forest health for winning battles. Yeah, that's okay. Well, in those areas. That's good as well. That's okay. Global, global recruitment duration minus one. That is good. But yeah, like I said, I really want our uh, life magic to be a bit cheaper. 
That'll make a big difference. Nine turns until tier five. Moving on. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we're okay. All right, Nakari's back, which that's not good because we haven't healed yet. And we're not going to heal next turn either. It's not going to be enough. So. I may have done myself dirty there. Salt is obviously superior to pepper. Look, look mate. Don't get too controversial here, okay? We don't want to upset people. <laughs> okay? We're trying to make a family-friendly fucking channel here, alright? The last thing we need is ultra-controversial topics like what's better, salt or pepper, okay? People are here to have a good time. They don't want to be... They don't want to be harassed with inconvenient opinions. Yeah, Marienburg likes us. Well, we haven't fought them at all. We've had the most back and forth going through here the entire campaign. Yeah, they took it back, and that's fine. That's fine. Did they just take full control over Lustria and now they're like, yeah, let's go to Ulf 1. Yeah, the vermin tide is real over here. So, just while this stuff's going on, just some, like, back-end video stuff. Uh, today's video, I didn't actually expect it to do so well, but it's ranked 1. So it's actually the best video I've released in the past three or four weeks, right? Which is weird. In terms of, in terms of like, views, like, YouTube is like, yeah, you did a good job, right? Um, and it was just a fucking no-nothing uh, Doomstack video, right? However, yesterday, I released a disaster battle, which was... Not the easiest battle ever. And it got one quarter the views. People have often been asking me, why don't I do more disaster battles? Doomstack videos get like three, four times the views of a, of a disaster. So, just in case you're ever wondering why there aren't as many disaster battles, um, they just don't do as well. But also... I think it's the ogres. Like, every ogre video I make doesn't do well. It was fun? Oh, that's it's fine. I have no problem. Like, I'm happy uh, with the views it got. But people often do ask, Why are you not doing more disaster battles? Man, Doomstack videos are so much better. I will eventually run out of Doomstack videos, though. Because of... I just want to cover the same ones twice. But people are usually wise enough to doing that. Are because people are looking for easy solutions to their campaign? Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Ogres are lame. Yeah, ogres are not popular right now. Uh, Sans Pure 91 did a trilogy. Jet Garlic Powder is where it's at. Too controversial, man. Too controversial. Um... I actually like the ogres, and I thought the ogres were popular, but I've I've recently discovered they are not popular, which is weird because they're a DLC race. Yeah. 
We knew that was coming, that's fine. We all want kill gas, please? Well, we'll see. They probably should have released Chorce before the Ogres. Yeah. Um, I, uh, well... Who knows? Who knows what they should have done. I spoke to CA yesterday, and they said that, um, the, that there are no Chaos Dwarfs coming. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Speaking of ogres. All right. Well, we're still we're still got no upkeep cost, so that's good. All right. Um. Your secrets are mine. Yeah, we're we're in a situation here where I kind of need to get the fuck out of here. I I really got myself trapped. I guess I could potentially ambush them. This one can't reach us unless it goes into force march. I reject your. Petty desires. And we did beat the shit out of him last time. And he's got a lot of chariots in there. Ready to serve. Alright, let's do this. Let's stand here, oh, go into ambush dance. You have my blessing. And we'll see if we can catch him. An affront to a rival. An impossible path. Cause yeah, we just need to replenish. Oh, here comes some more vampires. Yeah, we just can't expand. All right, and then there's yeah, you know, more of these guys. I also know that there's a clan scryer army right over here somewhere. So we're gonna deal with that. How do you confederate with the sisters? Well, I'm, I have to get the Oak of Ages back if I want to do that. There's no way for me to confederate them without doing that. Uh, but the way to do it is you get the Oak of Ages, I think, to tier 3, and then you have to beat off, um, so beat up, beat off, a bunch of Skaven armies. Which is not difficult, given the situation. Okay. If you don't know where Nakai is, just uh, just play it safe out here. Who has the oak right now? I think it is dwarfs. No, no. Um, Widrioth owns it, but the dwarfs. I think they keep sacking it. In your enemies? I wonder if these guys even have an army, or I'm just so much more powerful than them that. I don't know. Bamboo Crossing is part of the same province. Fu Hung, tier 2, tier something else. We can cover more ground by using this stance. Let's do that. Keep them together. Losing Wiley Village is fine. Uh, in fact, I can recruit another lord to. Um... Hmm, I actually can't recruit treatment fast enough at this rate. Uh, yeah, you come over here and just recruit some dryads. Till I got available. So if we have a look here, we are not really gaining good amounts of it at the moment. Of, um... Of forest health. We need to get more of those settlements. 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So. Evershale is not important, but if it comes, if it lands here. Yeah, just just wait and see if it lands. I'm gonna come over here, go into ambush dance. Just keep recruiting more armies. So yeah, three turns until we go back to Athalorin. Send an invasion force. And I think Tree Kin should do okay against dwarfs, as long as we're fighting in forest. We get lots of physical resistance and ward save. So at the moment we've got three armies ready to go, and a fourth is is coming. Now. All right, I know that Clan Scryer is coming up this way, but what they can end up doing is they like they close off your ambush with one, like they get ambushed with one army, and then Pestilence comes in, and then they get fucking hit. Um. And then that, sorry, they hit you because they've got ambush attack. So we need to get back to about here, I think. Everyone goes into ambush dance. And just wait for that Skaven army to come up this way. This is not the time to attack, we just gotta defend for now. And these guys here just keep getting more dryads. I'll bring in reinforcements when I can. Finish. Couldn't you just send wave after wave of armies to conquer Ulth one like a true Skaven? Mm, that, yeah, I could, but that would probably lead to less conquest and less overall strength by doing that. See, what I'm trying to do is just get more and more power uh, through my armies and then make a big push in places that are important, like, um, uh, what's it called? Um, Athaloran. Me gaining Lothurn or any of these settlements here, it doesn't matter. But what we've got is a choke point where all of their armies come up through here and get ambushed. So the amount of territory that we've got in Ulthwan is totally fine. Alright, so taking more territory right now just it just isn't a priority. Because yeah, with twenty-seven armies, we still have completely free upkeep costs. Uh, no new enemies, right? And the Taravash. You know, let's just start getting replenishment. Cool. So yeah, seems like the vampire tide is more or less over, but it's yeah. Also, I don't want to wipe out Argulon, so what we're gonna do here is take the Oak of Ages and probably stay only at the Oak of Ages. I don't see any point in taking oh look, they took that one. Um and just try to get it developed. That'll give us missions to um, confederate Argwalon. Because all we're going to do is fight dwarfs three times. So it might be best not even to take to take King's Glade. Because that way I can sack it three times and then get Argwalon. Because I kind of feel like the clock is ticking for them. Which is why I want to get to Ath... Uh, yeah, I need to get to Athaloran quickly. And it might be best for me with the Amber that we're getting to go with uh, construction time. We don't need the upkeep cost reduction, but getting construction time here will allow us to build up Athel Lauren really quickly, relatively quickly, and um, allow us to make the confederations that we need. Same thing with the Sisters of Twilight. Because we're fighting Skaven, um, if we get this back, we can uh, get the mission for it. We're not going to be able to get the mission for Draka. She's dead, but Draka is the least useful of the legendary lords. Um... As 
But yeah, the main thing in Ulf 1 is just maintain status quo. Maintain. Let's see how we go. Couldn't you just... I oh, know, I read that out. Icor93 became member for 10 months. Uh, keep up the awesome work. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate that. The funny thing as well is that if a bunch of factions all come in through here, whoever owns the region will get will get pissy at them and probably declare war on them. You know what's funny? The Eagle Gate is a way in, but they refuse to take it. Uh, Terry Tarkle B did a ten dollar super chat. Uh, I'm about twenty minutes behind the stream, and you asked how you were liking it. Best stream in months. This campaign looks fun for you, and has been very entertaining for me. All right, cool. That's not good. I appreciate that. Thanks for the chat. Go to the Southland Street and counter Kairos. <laughs> no, no thanks. Oh man, the pestilence forces. Ugh, last thing we want is to get ambushed constantly as well. Although they do seem to be shuffling around a lot, so that's okay. Like I said, just maintain status quo. Nobody wants to occupy Lothurn. Hopefully the scry clan scryer army just goes straight up there and gets wrecked. Come on, move. Let's see. Do you get a mission for Dracos Talson? Yes, you do. You have to fight, surprisingly enough, you have to fight 10 battles against wood elves. <laughs> Which, it's kind of difficult to do. You can just diplomatically confederate her when, you know, not doing it as a total war campaign. Is there any way to get Coadil? Apparently not right now. Apparently he's bugged. Aerial can reduce construction time, right? Maybe. Yeah, that could be useful if she does that. So sending her to Athaloran seems like a good idea. Still got like three more turns until she comes into it. Oh, we didn't hit Nakari. He just stood still. Okay, that's good. For a ton of Wood Elves in this campaign? Yes, but by the time I would get that mission, the Wood Elves would be gone. That's the problem. <laughs> I have fought a ton of Wood Elves, but I'm more likely to confederate Arguelon before I even get the mission for Draka, because Draka's dead. So in order to confederate Draka through a mission, I would have to bring Draka back, but then also bring back a different Wood Elf faction. Dryka's ass. Oh yeah, maybe. Sack Dryka. Would that work? She's technically a wood elf. Huh. Beat her ass ten times, and then you can confederate her. Ikit owns Lothan. Ah, oh, right. Well, I was wondering about that. Ikit owns Lothan. Alright, fair enough. Did they ever fix that tree man bug? I don't know what tree man bug you're talking about. It would be really helpful if you said something along the lines of, um, did they fix that bug where that happens? If, if like, if you just come in here and say, hey legend, did they ever fix that bug? I don't know what you're talking about because this these games have always been completely bug ridden and what you're talking about might not even be a bug. Oh, you got bushed. <laughs> Walked straight into it. Yeah, I'll take the replenishment. We don't really need money. We're pretty good for it.
go to Athalora and unblock the entrances with heroes. I can't get that many heroes playing as Wood Elves. And also, people can still jump in the Underway. You know, Skaven, Greenskins, and Dwarves can all jump in the Underway. It doesn't protect against that. You know, it was okay when we did that in the Reichland campaign, because I could get like a bazillion heroes, but I can't do that in this one. Oh, whatever, I don't care. There goes the Ursan Revivalists. Alright, we're still free of upkeep. We're up to 27 armies. Yes. Lord of the Osprey! Your secrets are mine. The only thing is here, we should really try to make sure that somebody else gets the win on Nakari, because um, Orion's already got it. He's still replenishing. So why don't we recruit a Lord here? A uh, Spell Weaver, I think, will do. No, Glade Lord? Yeah, let's get a Glade Lord. Uh, how about you? What do you need? Put him in here, and this one will launch the attack. No. Wait for Orion to show up, and then Orion will win the battle. And that way, this one here will have the trait that's defeated Nakari, so we get more experience faster, which is very nice. Alright, well, we've got a lot of shit going up over here, but we're okay. This army here came out of ambush. Your orders are acceptable. You know what would be really handy here, actually? A Cunning Lord. Let's have a look, what do we got? Yep, there's one. Blessing. So you just sit there and be cunning, that way increase all of our... ...stuff. Keep recruiting dryads from here. Alright, we have two turns until we go to Ulf, uh, Loth uh, Atholoran. <laughs> Pick your forest. Alright, so this is switched allegiance. Okay. Should we try to take this out? Because that'll give us a good amount of forest health. But it'd be better to get rid of these because it's actually reducing the forest health constantly. So yeah, let's just move over here. Just keep an eye out for... Um, Keep an eye out for what's his face. Lizard face. Keep yep. And we're gonna go and hit this. Should be an easy order resolve. Have you finished the frontier of this video? You mentioned some streams ago. Um Sort of. So just just be patient for it. Okay. Yep, that's a lot of damage, but it's okay. Alright, this guy here was nowhere near as damaged as this one, so you sit in there and get the heals. Okay, good. We're starting to gain forest health now. That's good. Yep, all good. Alright, alright, alright. So, let's see. Orion is still in encamp stance. I mean, in ambush stance. This one over here is a new full stack. That's good. Um, bring it over here. Over here. And I can only get so many ancient tree men. I can only get one additional tree man per turn. 
So I'll put it into a spell weaver for now. My song grows louder. Okay, the invasion force towards Athel Lauren is looking real beefy. Real, oops, real friggin' beefy. Yeah, we've got our attack force. We're, we'll be ready to go in two turns. So yeah, we're going to land here, take Athel Lauren, which... We'll take the Oak of Ages, and just hunker down. Don't bother to capturing the other trees. We don't need them. Just hunker down and get it developed. That'll give us the ability to confederate the other dudes. Specifically want um, the legendary lord, so the sisters of twilight and um, Durth, uh, yeah, Durthu. All right, I think that's all we can do this turn. So over this end turn here, it'd be good if we um, where is it? Yeah, we're just in ambush stance here. The forest calls. Yeah, we'll see how we go. All right, let's move on. Oh, hang on, I always forget. It shouldn't be a problem, but I always forget to check to see if there's new enemies. Nah, we're all good. Yeah, the number of factions has been reduced. So, if we're at war with 100 people, that means our global upkeep cost is reduced by 400%. So, we only really need to be at war with about 40 people, I think. But yeah, if we can take back Arthur Lauren, that'll give us back some, uh, that'll give us some more reduced upkeep cost. Give us a buffer for the supply lines as we increase. Because, yeah, if we start having to pay probably about 10% for each of our armies, we will go broke straight away. <laughs> so, that's not going to be good. We need more factions to exist. We're, I think we're actually getting fairly close to the point where we'll start seeing upkeep cost again soon. There's still more factions out there to declare war on. But i got to go and find them. Uh, one specific one is... Um, <laughs> Um, Kairos, which I hope he's dead. And a little good nuts for us to see more of this tomorrow? Yes, it is. Yep, we'll get you'll get another one tomorrow. Oof. Send one army up here so I can bloody ambush you. What we might actually have to do, if we're, if we're dealing with Skaven, we might be better off going into Encamp Stance so that we prevent them from um, uh, ambush attacking us. Because if, if the ambush fails, they can then attack us and that could be a catastrophe for us. Whereas the Vampire Counts, we didn't have to worry about that. They can't ambush attack. Stay away from Kairos. Oh yeah, I fully intend to stay away from Kairos. Just a settlement swapping? No, settlement swapping is actually not that big of a deal. Um, for Kairos, if he halts faction, that can ruin us. Yeah, we are completely gridlocked in um, Athel Lauren now. Uh, psh, wolf one, completely gridlocked.
So two fact two warriors of chaos factions we haven't met yet. I don't know why they do that. Have fun with that. The rats will likely ambush you anyway. No, no, no. We got 75% ambush defense chance. They're not going to ambush us. They, they don't always recruit. They won't get cunning because cunning only works in local owned region. So if I stay in my own territory and go into encamp stance, there's no way they'll ambush us. They'll need to have... They'll need to have 75 base ambush success chance. No, 76% chance just to be having 1% chance. And there's a technology we can get, which I probably should go towards soon, that can give us an additional 20% ambush defense. Faction emerges. Good. That doesn't matter. Can I declare war? Whatever. Alright. Let's have a looky here. Where the hell did Nakai go anyway? So, I'm gonna have a look at Lizardmen. I wanna find out what the hell's going on. The thing is, you can't really know where Nakai is. Oh, so. Yep, gaining some forest health. Alright, looks like they wanna recruit an army over here. Need to get over to Fu Hong. Should be fine to force march. Yeah, we can see that there's an army there, but the Cathayan armies, they're not good, so. Should be able to handle it. In more global recruit slots. Keep this going, it's just there to help defend. Yeah, we're still good for money. There is Nakai. He's only rank 10. I think he's been stuck out in the water for a while. <laughs> so, alright, that's not so bad then. What an idiot. Or maybe he's actually on his way to attack the jungles of Cheyenne. Well, we'll see, won't we? Okay, 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 okay. So that'll help the forest growth. Okay, one more turn until we return to Atholoran with a very large attack force. It doesn't bother me in the slide if, if they come down here to Evershale. Evershale has no value to us whatsoever. So, apart from having a little bit of money. So why don't we let them do that? Otherwise I'm gonna go chasing them everywhere. Oxygen Thief to the five dollars chat. This is what those dang wizards get for littering. Yep. Thanks to the chat, dude. Okay, that way we're pretty much all in. He's in ambush stance. And we'll lure them down here. Okay, this one here just locally recruits. Cool, we got more lizard, uh, tree lords. Keep them coming. Wood elf spell that. Yep, still free up upkeep, but then that's with that's with 31 armies. Okay, I'm gonna switch out Lady here from being in 
Ambush stance to being in a camp stance. Yeah. Get rid of her. She actually is a liability now. So with reduced ambush defense uh, success chance there. Um, look, if they want to come up this way, they can. Otherwise, go find somewhere else. But I can't attack them. And I don't think they'll want to attack me. But we just have to gridlock ourselves in here while we go do other things. Because um, I, I just can't push against that. You know, it'll be an absolute nightmare to fight it. Over here, we're fine to stay in ambush stance. I think because we were in ambush, they decided to move all their forces up this way. Alright, and then we've got this battle over here to do. Let's have a look here. Proud daughter of Athelon. Thomas Rotten did a five year submission. Hello Legend, thanks for the stream. No worries, dude. Thank you for the support. Alright. And then we bring Orion in here. The reason why this one here needs to launch the attack is because um, it, it can get Orion, uh, Nakari's defeat trait, so that it can get the extra extra character experience. And then we'll just need to make note of it. All right, let's have a look here. Still says valiant defeat. But if we don't control large armies, what we can do here is just take away one of these units at the start um, when, when they actually come in. And we can deny them a bunch of units just so that it doesn't uh, take up too much space on the battlefield. I also don't need this one on the battlefield either, but at least we got a few shots, so... Let's see, here we go. Um, the map seems okay. I think I can work with this. Let's do it. We've already bit eaten the Kari before, and we can do it again. See, we're going to do that whole, um, if you guys remember, there was a disaster campaign ages ago. This is back in Warhammer 2 days, like three or four years ago now, where somebody sent me a disaster campaign where they had abandoned Athel Lauren and gone to Nagarond. And they were like, let's just save my campaign. And I had to slog all the way back to Athel Lauren and reconquer it. And it took like three episodes. But people, people loved it, they said. Child of okay, so we just gotta wait a minute 18. There's no way they'll defeat us in that amount of time. They need to give Nakari some damn armor. Okay, so... Yeah, okay. That's the camp performing. Oh, it's still okay. It's not great but it's tolerable. All right. We've arrived. All right, who are we... Get this one off the battlefield, maybe? I just don't need it. Orders acknowledged. All right, she's fast enough that she can cast some spells for us in this battle. Ready. Yeah, if we withdraw this one, then we can get... Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to need this in the battle. Okay, cool. Alright, let's start with some spell casting. We've got some magic, not heaps. Yeah, it's a bit of damage. Not that big of a deal. But that'll probably get them triggered. Oh, I totally missed that. Oh, I did a little bit of damage to them. Alright. Bunch of um, chariots on the flank here. Go. Seeking quarry. 
Like I said, I'm not too fussed about uh, being super efficient with the magic. It was mainly just to get them to charge at us. Because that's how we get them. Lord should have kept that one not firing. Mage. With haste. Wild Riders. Awaiting orders. To battle. The hunt begins. Ready. Oh, it comes to Kari. Okay, Orion should be okay to duel him a bit later down the track. Okay, go for it, go for it. Now that he's kind of isolated, what I'll do here as well, throw a blob down over here, and I'll put down my... Oh, no, wait, I don't have any blobs blob available. Is how much damage he's doing? Not that much. At once. Uh, okay, okay, I don't know why he's doing that, but okay. We stand ready. Yours to command. Ready okay, pull them to out serve. of that. It is done. Yeah, I don't know what Nakari was doing there. That just Winter seemed really silly. And he is fast as fuck, boy. Alright, I need to get these fuckers out of here. This is just really, really bad for them there. Unfortunately, Rampage, I can't get him out. Ooh, took a bit of damage. Getting some of our units kind of nuked. Okay, we got reinforcements coming out over here. Here, uh, this one here, get her off the battlefield. She's just a liability, I never should have, um, kept her in. Yeah, go and take out Nakari. He's doing too much damage to, um, to Thingy the Bob. Yeah, I maybe in hindsight should have been a little bit more careful with my magic. Okay, I gotta heal Orion. Alright, so far Nakari's just about gone. Killing him's gonna make a big difference. Orion sends me by Okay, my wizard. I need to get some ones over there. I think Nakari's just about gone. Okay, send these cavalry over here to help. Yes! Okay, Nakari's crumbling. Let's get going. Let's get going. Get out of here. Swiftly. As you say. Your command. Go. With speed. Oh, man, I, I hate rampage go. so much. Now. I will. Rampage is so bad for a cavalry-based army. Write them down. As Ray may. But you know, it's their ability that's doing it. Wait, did he actually survive? Oh my god, we've got nine health left. You come the back over here and just shoot him. Shoot him once. Awaiting orders. Wild riders. Good, Nakari's gone. Awaiting orders. Orders acknowledged. Hurry! Orders received! Hunting. All the units over there. Very We've already well. had quite a few units retreat. I still feel like we're fine. Because most of their fast units are defeated now. And that was the big... Most of them, not all. That was the big problem. Swiftly. I will. Cavalry. To get rid of all their fast units, that'll give me complete mobility over the battlefield. Uh, Tallulah P did a t uh, 30 PLN super chat. Hi, Legend. How could I make Cathalus boring to play? It seemed less fun. It seemed like fun, but then I got stuck with peasants and jade warriors for like three quarters of the game. 
I don't know how to make them more fun for you, dude. Um, I actually don't play Cathay very often at all, so I just, um, I, I don't mind Cathay, but yeah, they're not one of my favorites campaigns, so I just, I don't know how to answer that for you, unfortunately. You have to figure that out for yourself. Thanks for Super Chat. Wind Weaver. Okay, this one here and this one here, taking too much damage, get off the battlefield. Protectors of the forest, at once! Setting up! With speed, wild riders. Okay, most of our remaining units are in pretty good shape. With haste, swiftly. But yes, these fucking fast With units. Speed. If I could just get rid of them, I can properly Commander. flank, but they pin me down properly. They pin me down. Can't fucking flank properly. Oh, what's he doing there? Swiftly. Yours taking too much damage, get it out. Wild riders! Get out of that blob. Orion. Okay, Orion should be fine to stay here Ready and fight for a bit. Come on, get them out of that oh, fucking rampage again. Your orders. Wild riders. Swift. This Moving swiftly. Good. Come on, stop rampaging. Hear the deep wood. Wild riders. Lady of Laren. Yeah, Orion's fine there. He can pin them down. All right, most of their fast units are now gone. Battle ready. All right, good. Leave the battlefield there. Alright, he can't stay there for too long. He is taking damage. But oh, he does have this the Stone of Isha thing. So he will start regenerating when he's down at 25% health. You get out of here, you're done. My yeah, it was a huge mistake for me to waste that Winds of Magic at the start. That was a huge mistake. Why are you shooting? Moving out! Glory of the hunt! They've still got one more Seeker of Slanesh. Yeah, this will kick in soon. You can start getting a lot of regen. Ready to serve. We're going to be fine. Yeah, he's going to kill heaps here. We're going to be fine. I don't think any of our units got wiped out. We're fine here. Okay, should kick in real soon. Okay, there it is, kicked in. And it's a lot of regen. Oh man, it's it's still kind of fucking him up. Oh, I need to get him out of there. The words rage! Oh, he's he's angry. come on, when's that rampage end? Come on, I can't use his abilities while he's rampaged. Fuck no. Okay, get get over here. I've got to help him out. Yeah, he's got extra ward save, but it just wasn't enough. Come on, move, 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 move. Okay, we got him back. Hanging on by a thread. Get him out of there. Come on, get out, get out. Okay, good. He slipped out. Nice. All right, we're all good. Yeah, he'll keep regenerating now. Yeah, this was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be, but I think we got it. God, Slanesh is so quick. Yeah, we got this. Go fight that lord. I think not controlling large armies was the right call here. Hawks, talon, hungers. Slaughter them. Yep, there we go, we won. Definitely gonna be a Pyrrhic victory.
Well, half our army got wiped out. But I don't think any of our units did. But if they did, I could just globally recruit them. Good, no units got wiped out. Cool, cool, cool. I thirst for the hunt. Alright, it doesn't look like there's gonna be any forces going to attack us, so we should be fine to occupy this. And this one here. Good. Got uh, the trait. Nice. <laughs> More global recruit slots. I need to make a note of this one. Cool. Alright, now over here, we should go with replenishment to try to recover as quickly as possible. Forbid this ah, dance. fuck. Yeah, that army can attack us, so I actually need to take that back then. So yeah, you don't get a gate settlement. Uh, let's have a look at this. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of anti-large in the army, but if we're fighting in the forest... Is this one even any good? High magic. 100 wins. Soul quench. We're probably better off fighting over here than at the choke point. Let me just see. If I can put some items on this guy, I think it could make all the difference. An impossible part. They've got fuck loads of ammunition as well. Okay, if I just bring this one in, we probably will be able to auto-resolve it. Oh. Got intercepted. We can win that. I know we're in Force March. We can win that. With two armies, I can win that. This, this is ridiculous. Let's do it. God doesn't have the 20% ward save. Yeah, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Because I'll have numbers on my side. We'll pin down as many of them as I can. And I'll go send the dryads to go and hunt down the uh, the archers so they don't shoot us. It should be fine. No point having loads of ammunition if you can't shoot. So we'll just overwhelm them with numbers 2 to 1. The Dryads will be a little bit slower because they're on Force March, but we should still be able to outrun these ones. Intercepted by Settlement, that's a thing? Yeah, it is. Yeah. With Gate Settlements, if you besiege it with one army and try to, like, uh, pass through, it doesn't let you. You intercept the, the, uh, the army. 
Alright, we've just got to wait for reinforcements before we do anything. They might come charging at us, but we have to wait minute 48, which is plenty of time. Yeah, they're going to come charging. No, they're not. I'm going to put the healthy ones over here and the unhealthier ones over here because these guys are going to go through the center. They need to tank. If they want to stay there, that's fine. Tool sample did a two dollar super chat, mid battle message. Thanks for the chat dude, appreciate it. So yeah, the Dryads, their job is to catch up to and destroy the archers. We can slow them down a little bit with this. See, it's already playing Wood Elf music. You know, we got nothing to worry about here. These are our cavalry. Good, all that ammunition goes to waste if they're dead. Nice. And we're flanking here as well.
guys seem to want to fight to the death. This one's taking too much damage, pull it out. Let's put some of these back. I didn't cast that. Oh, she had one. Man, imagine wasting it over there. I absolutely wasted it. Ow, bodies. Down properly. There we go, there's the armor losses. Cool. Yeah, that wasn't too tough. Bit of damage, but that's okay. We're fine. I'm actually not sure if they get wiped out because we weren't really the attacker there. Not sure if we wipe them out. Ooh, the game's chugging. I bet it's end the battle. It's fucking chugging. Come on! Look, don't crash now. That battle doesn't take. There we go. <laughs> Stupid fucking thing. Video idea: That battle with the most epic flamestorm in history of Warhammer. Didn't you do like 90k damage with one spell? How is that a video idea? That's already in a vod. It'll be like a 30 second video. I don't do those. Just like clip it and post it wherever you want. People can watch it there. So yeah, a bit of damage, but uh, well, I hope they get wiped out. Otherwise, I could freaking fight them again. Good, they do get wiped out. Nice. Oh, and we. That's interesting. Cool. Well, they just got wiped out. We'll recover eventually. The Slanesh corruption still being a bit of a pain here, just because of adjacent provinces. But that's fine. This is absurd. Shattered realm. Revenge. Great, that was enough. It's okay. We can deal with it. Yeah, just gridlock them there. Gridlock them here. We're ready to go into Athalora next turn. We're recruiting tons. It definitely feels like we're getting more experience now, that's, so that's really good. Yeah, there we go, the ward save. That would have made a big difference in that battle. But they held out pretty well. Uh, double check in Cathay, and then we're going back. We're going back to... Yeah. Going back home. 
They're actually still quite strong. Uh, I was hoping that they would be at war with them, but they're not. Okay, I've a blue rose. Actually, let me double check that again. Do not oh no, they are. I'm blind. There it is. Begging for your life. Kazag. How's things going with Eshin now? Yeah, Eshin's finished. They just haven't finished the job yet. One settlement over here, and the other one is... I have no idea where it is. This says two. No, that looks like one one region. It says they've got two. Can you guys see where it is? I can't see it. Should pop up as like a green area. There's no way they're not here. No, it doesn't look like they're at the gate. Did you guys see where it was? Oh well, it was whatever. It's fine. All right, so I think that's all we need to do this turn. Oh. Open branches. Yeah. I'll keep this one globally recruiting just some other stuff. Takes two turns, but that's fine. And just get the... Actually, if you're globally recruiting, why get dryads? Get some, get some of those going. Okay, this is good. Mountains of Morn. That one, Mountains of Morn. You reckon there? I don't think so. It's not them. Nagashas are. Oh! Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's a, they own Nag um They own this region for some reason. Death Pit. Yeah, look, there they are. Huh. They're like migrated over there. Yeah. I wasn't expecting them to be that far away. That's fine. No problems with that. The further they are away from me, the better. Oh yeah, we got another global recruit slot. Nice. Nice, look at that. Oh, I think we're almost at maximum. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. I'm starting to get a bit tired though. I think you guys are as well. You guys are dropping off. Which is, it's fine, it's late. How dare you not watch me for eight hours straight? Don't you want to support me? Quit your job and watch me. No, so I'm just I'm just being silly. Do you know what the biggest problem with doing a campaign like this? Is that afterwards. Right, we'll do another episode of it, but I'm just thinking, what do I do next? I'm not doing another one of these kind kind of campaigns after this. These are exhausting. Yeah, whatever I do next, people will be like, "Yeah, it's boring." <laughs> That's the biggest problem with doing a campaign like this. I have ad blocker. Do I still support you just by watching? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I don't run ads during live streams anyway, so it's fine.
suffering from success again. Hmm. Uh, it's only meant to be a brief conversation it's just while the intern's going on, so don't, it wasn't requiring an answer. Oh, I am getting buggered. Do you get a good split from YouTube Premium viewers on live streams? Yeah. If you got YouTube Premium, don't worry about having to donate. It's it's all good. I love YouTube Premium. Oh, they're actually going to try it. Oh, they went into Ambush Dance. Look, being that close to us is fine. Because I can just pull them out of Ambush Dance while being in a camp stance, so it's fine. Man, we got a massive bloody vermin invasion coming through here. Holy crap. You know, I might as well bloody go to, to um, the Lustrian one anyway. Might as well go to Lustria. I mean, if if the entirety of the Skaven forces are in Ulf 1, but all their territory is in Lustria, then why don't I just go and attack Lustria? Oh, how good would it have been if I won that battle at the beginning of the stream? That was such a fucked fight. Oh, well. Everything worked out in the end, I think. What's Gavin doing there? Anti-player bias. You know, they're sending all their forces to come get us. So yeah, tomorrow what we're going to try to do is unite the elves. I'm sorry, unite the wood elves. The true elves. Think losing that fight was good? Add to the stream tension? Maybe. How close are you getting treatment? Fairly close. Fairly close. We're getting to a tier 5 now. It's just a matter of time. Oh, actually, no. We don't even need that building. We'll be able to build a landmark next turn because I think the ritual of rebirth comes back. Um, doesn't Orion get a bonus for having Ariel attached to his army? Because I'm pretty sure we're going to get Ariel next turn. Don't we? How long until this is done? Oh, we get we get Ariel next turn. Yeah, we need to make sure we don't come under siege for Rekus. I can get to Torakari. No, we would be best just going back to the Shrine of Cain where nobody can attack us. I cannot rewrite. Yeah, they're on the force march, they won't be able to make it there. Go back to the Shrine of Cain. Clear a path. Yep, just sit there and wait for Ariel to show up. Alright, over here, a bunch of fucking armies are coming. Alright, you go into ambush stance, and our armies are... We're actually able to reinforce. You get Orion's area from Orion's item battles, don't you? No, you get her from doing a ritual of rebirth. 
I think. Wait. I actually don't know how we get her. I actually don't know. take out. That's likely one of the armies they got for free. Four full stack armies. Decisive victory, good. Eh, yeah, how bad's the damage? Yeah. It was good. Bring in the tree men over here, uh, tree kin. Seem to help a lot with auto resolve. Uh, yeah, the damage is pretty spread out. That, that's okay. Taking out one of those armies is definitely good. I think it's the oak ritual of rebirth. No, that's the that's the victory conditions. It's like short campaign victory is um is this one. It should be just any Ritual of Rebirth wakes up Ariel. Cool. Yeah, taking out two rat armies. Now we just need some time to rest. We don't want to go too hard on them or else we'll just won't recover. Anything is possible. I acquiesce to your request. Seeking unseen paths. <laughs> no, Gracia, never wrong. Yeah, they won't be able to get all the way back here. Ugh, they all have to force march back. So yeah, now they just need a turn or two of recovery. We can see Nakai is coming over here, but his army doesn't seem that good. He's only rank 10, and we have more than a full stack here. I can, and he's still got another turn before he arrives. Might be a good idea actually to get some Wildwood Rangers because of the. Oh no. Wait, hang on, hang on. Don't they get anti-large? in the forest. Now nah, just keep going, Dryads. I like Dryads. And I'll have this one come over. Oh, we got a red alert, guys. We got a red alert. I don't think it's gonna crash, but, you know, probably gonna see a lot of dropped frames. We're going here. Right, we still need a little bit of time to recover, so just come over there, and I'll just go into ambush dance over here, because we don't need to take that. Interesting. Is Orion in a settlement? Yes, he is, but he can't come under siege. You know what? That's a good point. We should stay outside the settlement. We, we won't get as much replenishment. These ones here can't reach us. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny if that fucking bug happens to us again. 
God damn. Alright. You go outside the settlement, go into encamp stance, and let this one stay there. Alright, time to. Oh, God. There's, there's a lot of uh, Skaven armies here, but I think we can still justify going. The hunt is on, so it's time to go back to Athaloran. Wrong one. And we got some forest health here as well. Alright, how bad is it? Yeah, there's a few dwarf armies in I'm here. A good lord, not some <laughs> Hang on. There's 19 units in here. Am, am I not mistaken, or is that tier 5? No, no, it's not. It's not. It's just that this one here is providing extra garrison. Alright, we need to get more guys up in here. Sans Spirit did a final super chat. Maybe a stupid question, but I don't have Warhammer 3. Can this campaign be duplicated in Warhammer 2? No. No. No, it's because the faction effect uh, changed for Orion in the la latest patch. Thanks, super chat. Alright, go back to the Oak of Ages. Alright, two armies here now. Okay, uh, and this one over here, this one stays in the region this turn. Another one going to the oak. Kind of feel like it might be bad timing with all these friggin' dwarfs here, but we did come here to save Durthu. Yeah, they're not gonna land with, with that many armies, we'll send one more. Alright, four armies have been sent to Athelorin. No, okay, those, only three armies got sent, they must be stuck. And how strong is, um... Okay, okay, they're not that strong. But still, this army here is in force march. We should probably take it out. Same thing with that one there. Even if we don't occupy it, no, we definitely shouldn't occupy it. Maybe we don't hit the Oak of Ages this turn. Alright, take it out. Three armies. I'll bring the other army in after this. This should be okay. I might have to fight it manually though. Let's have a look. Imagine a bunch of trees charging at you from here. Close victory. They've got so much ammunition. Well, we're 35% resistant to them. I don't have the traits in these guys because they're fresh recruits. Um... So I think you sent the 4th army, just in the... Yeah, yeah, I know I didn't send the 4th army. I've got 3. I'll send the 4th army in a bit. Um... Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna need the 4th army. There he is. Alright. So that should be a much better order resolve. Still close victory. Well, we should take less damage anyway. Oh, no. We actually take more damage with this guy here. What the fuck? I guess I have to fight it manually. Otherwise, Treekin are going to get wiped out. 
Adjust reinforcement position so they come in from behind the dwarfs. Yeah. <laughs> as long as they don't charge at us. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. Well, Denier March, that's yeah, he's in Force March. Yeah. The big problem here is that they've got a lot of um, anti large, so it is the, the required, and it's all just fresh recruits. Also, we can only bring two armies in at a time. Five minutes. Or probably be less with this one. Yeah, four minutes. Okay. Alright. Here's what I reckon we do. We just stay in the forest here. I don't think they'll advance on us right away. I think they'll just wait. And when our reinforcements start showing up, we rush out at them. Otherwise, if they do come over here, they're going to be shooting shitloads of trees. So let's see what they do here. Yep. They'll just wait. This fight's going in the book. Well, I do want to point out that they are invading our homeland. But yeah, we're back, boys. We're going to we're gonna take a, a, gonna try to take Athel Lauren back. But I want to confederate Durthu, so we don't want to hurt him. Don't care about the other two... Wood Elf factions here. And I don't even care about taking the actual uh, other trees. All I want to do is hold on to the Oak of Ages. We develop the Oak of Ages up. And just hunker down. One more minute. Start moving up a bit. Oh my god, I just realized I could have put the other two armies in AI control so they could have had it come in. <laughs> I could have had 80 units on the battlefield. Would have been mad. Oh my god, why didn't anyone tell me to do that? How dare you? Okay. Here we go. Our voice ends out. Go for them artillery. Go, go, go. Yeah, they're too busy turning around at the moment. forward. Fuck these melee infantry. Push forward. Yeah, we're taking some damage. We've got to get at those missile units. Okay, this one here is taking too much damage. Pull it back.
Stop this guy here, he's doing too much damage. Well, having their artillery pinned down in combat without them having done too much damage, I think it's doing a good, good job for us. We get yelled at if we tell you what to do? No, you only get yelled at if you say something stupid. If you had said that, you would be praised. Go on, I, plenty of times people have come up with great ideas, and I'm like, awesome. Plenty of times. Only oh, stupid ideas. Oh, Legend, why don't you, like, go into ambush stance in front of them? Oh, Legend, why don't you send melee infantry at them? Or just some stupid thing. Hey, this baby there, two bands of a chat. Release the river, great campaign. I do. Yep, thanks. The, it's the march of the ends. Yeah, thanks for the chat. God, look at this. Even. Even with this, they are still doing a ton of damage. There you go, these are all fresh recruits, so it kind of makes sense how they're not standing up to a fairly veteran wolf army. Twenty six melee attacks not very high. Should be fairly soon. Problem is, they got an ancestor hero in there, so. Oh, he's nearly dead anyway. Alright, we army lost them, and we just gotta get rid of the unbreakable units now. A couple of slayers. So yeah, way better the results in order resolve because order resolve said a bunch of units to get wiped out. No one got wiped out. Few few casualties, but that's okay.
Spread damage is better than losing three units, even if you have to wait two turns to fully replenish. Well, yeah, because I can't recruit these units um, here right now. And if I had auto resolves, it, I probably would have taken two turns to fully replenish anyway. Slayers. Yeah, it's not like auto resolve would have just killed off three units and left everyone else intact. It probably would have done at least this much damage to other units as well. Slayers. Almost gone. And they got some experience, so they'll be a little bit better next time they fight. Just a little bit. Oh god, just get rid of it. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Uh, fighting dwarfs. Also, the order resolve said close to uh, close victory, so we did better than that. Yeah, the main army took the brunt of the damage. But yeah, that won't take too long to recover. That's much better result than order resolve. Yeah, it was the bloody slayers that got all the kills. Everyone else, oh, and this one. Nobody else got any kills. The artillery. Yeah, this was a fairly veteran army. That's going to be difficult for them to replace. I mean, this guy here is immortal, but recruiting this will take them some time. Do you think order resolve should be partly based off how well you play? No. <laughs> no. Because if that was the case, I'd win every order resolve. With no casualties. I go up to a siege and hit order resolve, and the game's like, oh, it's you? Uh, zero casualties. <laughs> Brass cleaver, that's good. Look at that! Full replenishment. No damage. Absolutely no damage done. So what was that about? Two turns to fully recover? Full strength. And yeah, this guy's fully replenished as well. Alright, we're in good enough shape to take the Oak of Ages. Good, with one army we can auto resolve, so with four we should be able to auto resolve. I'm dying. You're right, the game would just say victory. Yeah, I'd start a campaign and the game would be like victory conditions met. <laughs> Also, coming over here, we'll spread out Clan Scryer's forces because they'll send um, they'll send some troops over to Athaloran to try to stop us. Subject, I can subjugate other worlds. Well, I'm not going to do that. We don't need Widgeroth. So that'll cancel the mission for them. Oh, I didn't actually cancel the mission. Huh. Interesting. Oak of Ages, Tier 1. Now, here's the funny thing, is that we should actually wait until... No, it won't make any difference at this stage, because we have to... I want to get this. Um, but... That, that's not for two turns. So what we need to do here is hunker down until we hit tier 3. Once we, If we have a look here, once we hit tier 3, we will get a mission for... Argualon, Talson, and the Heralds of Ariel, right? 
So then we can actually confederate the Sisters of Twilight and Argulon. And then this doesn't provide anything. Yeah. to be high rank. Well, this provides us with armor-piercing weapon plus 10, so we should probably get some of those. Maybe some more physical resistance would actually be a good idea. Hang on. No, you know what? This guy here is going to be my spellcaster. Just only need one. Good, another global recruit slot, that'll come in handy. Good, all of our armies will be a bit stronger here now, that's good. Just need some time to replenish. So don't worry too much about capturing the King's Glade. Do it if we want, but don't, don't worry about anything other than the Oak of Ages. Alright, let's have a look over here. Are we done for the turn? I think we're done for the turn. Yep. Yep. Yep, we're done for the turn. Yep. Can I offer assistance? Here's almost immortal. Mm, regrowth can be useful. These guys get so much experience. Alright. Alright. So yeah. We got um, a Lithanar coming down this way. But he's not an end game crisis, so I don't know what's going on there. Oh, he's got a lot of territory. And he's not at war with Nagarond either. Nagarond might actually be destroyed. Alright, alright. Yep, just keep holding that there. Keep recruiting. We don't have anyone recruiting here. See if we can trick this Skaven army to land now. Alright, we are about to see if we'll get Ariel, which would be really good. If we don't get Ariel, there must be some other way of getting her, because I heard that she's not bugged anymore.
Alright, any new enemies? Nope, okay, and we're still not paying upkeep. Still keeping an eye on the stuff over here. And let's see how we go. Are, are you gonna start recruiting Waste Talker Army soon? Uh, I'd actually prefer Tree Spirits. I just prefer Tree Spirits. Uh, I guess we could. Let me just see, how, how many turns do Waste Talkers take to recruit globally? No, look, they Way Watchers take three turns to recruit in global. Nah, not worth it. We'd get half as many armies pumped out. Nah, it's definitely not worth it at this stage. There is a technology that can get us local recruitment time minus one. When we get that, we can start thinking about it, but right now, no. Don't stay in the settlement to get aerial. We can't be attacked. It's okay. I put him in a settlement where nobody can reach him. More spell singers to steal research, right? No, we're fine. We're fine. Research is happening. Fast enough, it's fine. Do you have to be outside the settlement to get aerial? No, you don't. No big deal, whatever. Alright, we'll catch him. We need to go back over there because that's a... Heathland, Heathland, I don't know. Doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Now they're just going to get killed by these guys. So sometimes luring your enemy in via a poorly defended settlement can be really good. Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, factions are getting wiped out. It's not good. As you go to bed, so it's not am. I just want to see if we get aerial. That does bother me. Don't you dare do that. I want Durthu. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to bring him back. Aren't you worried that with less factions your upkeep will go up? Yes, I am. Oh my god, here comes freaking Drum Brindle. Yes, that is a concern. But if we're at war with a hundred factions, then that is enough to keep, uh, I don't know, like 80 armies or something? I don't know what the maths is. Our current number of armies, we need to be at war with 40 factions, I think, to, to maintain zero upkeep. But what we'll start to see soon as well is maybe instead of having more armies, instead getting better armies. So, and also we're starting to increase our income by getting the forest settlements back. 
But yeah, even if we're at 4% um, upkeep, we'll probably go broke. <laughs> yeah. Also, another thing is, even if we're in the red, as long as we're making enough money through um, loot to pay our armies, it should be fine. So it's not like if, if we get 4%, we'll immediately go broke, actually. Lol. <laughs> well, that'll make my job easier when I get there. How many wars are you currently in? I don't know. If you want to count how many... We can count during your end turn, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I counted 70, but I didn't quite finish. I'm in, in more than 70 wars. We got Ariel. Supreme nice. So, looking at what she can do. Nice. Looking at what she can do. Let's have a look. So, construct. Let's have a look at her, her equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Berry wine, whatever. Uh, her equipment's kind of silly. Makes her really good as well as below. She doesn't seem to get any benefits for um, being in Orion's army anymore. They used to have a benefit, but they don't seem to anymore. Um, she might be best off attached to a tree man army. Just some random, like Dothu even. Because um, she won't be able to keep up with, with Orion's speed. Looking at her skills... There's the reduced construction time stuff, but you got to be rank 5 for that. That's good. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not going to attach her to um, Orion's army. Because I just think that it's kind of wasted energy. What we want to attach her to is like some tree man army. She'll fuck things up in a tree man army. Or a tree kin army. Also, we got an amber. So, if we go Wisdom of the Pine, we can start constru uh, constructing things a lot quicker. We need to get Ariel over to Athel Lauren so that she can help us um, with construction time. She's not high enough level yet, but she will be when, uh, soon enough. It's Joda. Did a $10 super chat. A morning from your neighbor. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. It's in Orion Skills. Oh, is it? Let me Let me have a look. Lord of the forest. Oh yeah, passive ability guardian when Ariel is embedded. Right, that's not that big of a deal. He doesn't need guardian. That's that's just not a big deal. Yeah, it's 15 extra physical resistance. It's just not a big deal. Alright, we need to save the game before we, um... If it doesn't have lightning strike. Before we call it off for the day, because we might load it up and not have aerial.
sure. Easy auto resolve. Cool. Give me that replenishment. Good. We'll actually recover more than we lost from that, so that's good. <coughs> but yeah, we've got uh, these guys coming in to attack us on a pretty regular basis now, it seems. If I attack that, he'll just run away. Well, that'll take him out of encamp stance, so he won't get as much replenishment. So Both of those armies there are not a concern. I think she provides ward save to attach lord or something. Yeah, but she can provide that to anyone. I'd still... Because um, Orion uses a fast army, she's just not going to compliment him um, in terms of abilities. It, boosting stats is great and everything, but she's just it's just not a good fit. Yeah, um, Orion's strong enough. She, he just doesn't need her, whereas another army could actually make really good use of her. Also, Orion doesn't make as much use out of magic because his army's fast. And also, Orion gets killed every now and again because of his stupid cavalry army. But it's good that we've got uh, one Ritual of Rebirth sorted. And yeah, we wanted to get this technology here done. And um, yeah, it's, it's time to call the day. We're almost at eight hours. I'm exhausted. I'm going to start to get cranky soon, which nobody wants that. Because I need my beauty sleep. Big baby. Um, let's go check our host over to somebody. We'll be continuing this tomorrow. Uh, assuming I live stream tomorrow, I might need to take a day off. We'll see how I go. But I feel pretty good at the moment. But we'll see. Alright, let's try to host over to someone, and we'll call it a day. But yeah, I really appreciate all the support, guys. You guys have been great. Let's chuck it over to Skaven Dan today, who is doing an Aranessa Ultimate Crisis campaign. Um, so, Skaven Dan is a supporter of the channel. Look at this. Skaven Dan is currently at 859 subs. We, If we can get him to 1,000 subs, that'd be really good. <laughs> So go over and chuck a sub over to Skaven Dan and help him get to 1,000 subs. Yeah, we only need like a handful of people to go and do it. Okay, good. We got redirect privileges. All right, cool. All right, I'm going to get some rest. Appreciate all the support today, guys.